Hi, it's Yvonne at Village Fabrics here. I just wanted to share another row of the Village Street row a month with you. This time we are doing foundation piece trees, our topiary trees with some embroidery and the Village Shop where you can personalise to your heart's content. Uh, on the uh, TV show I will be showing you how to do the foundation piecing and giving you some ideas as to how to personalise it. I do hope you'll find the time to join us and uh, have some fun. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 pm to 1 pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Roxana's just left a message on Facebook Live saying, um, I've got a recovering ironing board. And I was like, oh, the poor ironing board's not well. She's recovering her ironing board. He's not poorly on the sofa. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Such a lot to sell you this morning. Didn't sleep, had my hair cut, can't do a thing with it. Not to do with, not been everything. Well, no, it's a bit, it's a bit kind of, anyway, it'll be fine. I've got no product in it, that's the problem. And uh, we've got, to, oh, Hannah's very sad about her friends first today. Uh, we can't go into it. It's all right, he's all right but she's just very sad about him. Today's early bird, today's early bird is here. Now you're gonna love this because it's your blue and white gingham, the small gingham check there. It's cotton poplin, wait to see the price. 1.99 for half a meter, I know, I know, I know. And it comes off the bolt, it comes off the bolt. Oh, oh Hannah. I think that's a little bit wide. It might be, I haven't measured anything for a while. Let me have a look. I might be wrong. I've, I've been known to be wrong before, but let me have a look. Always. Oh, no. 44 inches wide. It's because I haven't measured 44 inches for a while. That's what it is. Uh, early bird special. Blue checks. Oh, oh, they're blue checks on white, apparently. How are they not white checks on blue? Um, 
I think it's printed. Or is it woven? Hang on, I can't see. No, look, it's white there. Oh, I think it's printed. I'm going to say it's printed. Anyway, one night out, little school frock. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Yes! Oh, you didn't hear that. I do apologise. It's very dusty in here today. Uh, one pound, nine times half a metre. Remember, we're cutting it off the bolt for you. So as much as you want, you can have. As long as it's in an increments of half metres. Half of today's stock is gone. Everyone's checking out multiples. Everybody's checked out multiples so far. And remember, once you pay to P&P today, on this meet, once you pay to P&P, that's it for the day. So if you come in and you buy the row of the month, if you come in and buy an Elder sewing machine, if you come in and buy a book, if you come in and buy some Sashko thread, if you come in and buy some cork, oh, no, I've got no cork. One ninety nine. One ninety nine half meter. While you're all checking out, I just oh my word, so many messages. Pam Mini Harney says good morning, and says good morning. Lovely to see you, John. Lovely to see you too. And oh, no phones in the gallery, please, Emma. Uh, looking forward to joining for a while, says Isabel. Kate says good morning, John. Watching from France today. Oh bonjour, bonjour. Ça va, ça va bien, merci. Uh, Stuart says morning, John. Grotty day here, so watching from bed on a day off. What day is it? Tuesday? How come the shop shut on a Tuesday? It's not poorly. Grotty day, he says. That's all. Jan says, good morning, gorgeous. Can't wait too long. Can't watch too long this morning. We've got to take the dog to the vet for an operation. Oh, Jan, you're having a busy week. 60th birthday, and then you have to take the dog to the vet. Claire says, good morning, John. All smashing shirt. Ancient shirt. Ancient shirt. Uh, bit grey here. When's the heat wave arriving? I don't care. I'm going to Greece. I'll be lying on a beach when it happens. Lucy says, good morning. I hope everyone is well. Barbara says good morning. Sue says good morning. Uh, Judith says good morning. Jackie Lewis says good morning. Wet morning here in the Wirral. Oh, bless you, she said. She must have heard my sneeze. Uh, Sue says happy birthday, Vaughn. She's, not even, she's in the other room trying to hear you. Happy birthday, Vaughn. Laurie says morning, John. Love to have you back. Love your shirt. I've only had two days off, Laurie. And I did, two fa oh, did a Facebook Live in that time off, didn't I? Uh, Jane says morning, John. Enjoying the show. Brilliant. Brilliant. That's only the first four minutes. Lorraine says, morning, John, love to see you. Kat says, morning, happy birthday to Yvonne. I won't be watching for long as grandson arriving soon. <gasps> what do you mean, arriving, arriving? Or do you mean arriving? Anyway, 199 for half a metre. Sold out. <laughs> Menu. Here we go. Kat says, morning, John, happy birthday. I've done that with you. Elaine says, oh, is it Elaine Page? Oh, no, Elaine Pipe. Miserable day in East Yorkshire. So we're starting off with pre-cuts at 8 o'clock. Nine o'clock, we've got Village Fabric Sew a Row with Yvonne McAtamney. Uh, there it is. Now, which one's five? Which one's five? There it is. It's the little shop at the trees. There's some FPP and there's some applique and all sorts of goodies like that. Then, back to the menu, we've got sewing room tools, including Sashko and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lovely book in there. There's all sorts in there. Anyway, come in and have a look. Uh, then at, at Yvonne's back at 11. Now, uh, we're doing Christmas with Yvonne at 11. <laughs> look, gorgeous. Aren't they lovely? They're already selling. They're already going. Look at that. Aren't they lovely? They're small. I'll show, can I show them in real life? Oh, can I show them in real life? There they are. So they're not bed. They're not double size. Well, I suppose they could be if they're little Paul's bed. But you know what I mean? He's only got a single bed. He's got bunk beds. Anyway, back to the menu. And then, oh, now. Now, 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 now. Now, 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 now. You know, today I've been going on and on and on about the 680 plus back in stock today. 680 on Tuesday, 680 on Tuesday. Don't, it's my machine, 680 on Tuesday. Not here. We don't know if it's on a ship or on a lorry, but it's not here. Jane's coming in, so we'll grill her when she gets here to find out where it is. But she's going to do the 780 and, oh no, she's doing, um, is she doing an overlocker now? I thought she was doing the 550, but I think she's doing an overlocker, isn't she? So she's got the 780, an overlocker and the 550. Well, she's going to be busy. All in one hour. All in one hour. Uh, right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. They're the ones that uh, Hannah will read out in my ear. The ones that I've been shouting out are on Facebook Live. I'll just do a couple more. Uh, Cousin Susan says, good morning. Oh, no, Stuart's well and dandy. Oh, okay. 
He's not, he's having a day off day. He's just keeping the shop shut day, doing his online orders today. Make sure you check in and see. Um, uh, what's it called? Woolpatch in Long Melford. Um, uh, Elaine, I've done Elaine, right. Cousin Susan says good morning. Ellen says good morning. Looking forward to the next round of month. You can buy it now on pre-order. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, Doreen says good morning. Emily says, Yv John, Yvonne, good morning. Happy Village Road Day. Got mine already. Lulu says good morning, John and crew. Have a lovely day. Margaret says good morning. Derek's in. Derek's in. Uh, good morning to John and team. Can't stay long. Oh, he's back at school today. Scotland go back today, don't they? Schools are back today in Scotland. Sue says, morning, John and crew. Looking good in that shirt. Very svelte. It's because the shirt's big. I'm not svelte. The shirt's big. Anyway, uh, back to the website because you can also get in touch with me there. If you go to the website, click on watch the show live. Uh, oh, it doesn't say sold out. You need to check out your basket. Check out your basket if you've got your early bird in there. Oh, OK. Well, we'll see if we go down. Right. OK. There's the box on the right hand side. Hello. I'm upset. Hannah. Are you worried, Hannah? Oh, no. Just kisses. Oh, she was early today as well. Well, I say early. Anyway, scroll down the page. There are two. There will be two columns in a minute. One will be the um, show deals, that's anything we've shown. And the things on the right are pre-order. Now, look at those three pictures. They all look like the same thing, don't they? One's 10 inch, one's five inch, and one's two and a half inch. All brand new, say they're gorgeous. Those two and a half inches will go quickly. And then there we go, look, there we go, there we go. Uh, all these pre-cuts, Christmas for some reason there. Uh, beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, fantastic pre-cuts in the first hour there. You can buy it now. If, you haven't got, if you've got to go, you're like Derek, you've got to go to school, you can buy it now. Put it in your basket. Check out yours. Uh, then we've got, uh, there you go, there you go. There's the row. Right, okay. There ones have been on before. One, two, three, four have already been on. This is today's row. That's the one you want to be buying if you've already bought the others. Now, please be careful because there's only a certain amount available. No more can be made. If you've not joined in, we've got, we've got a, a handful of one and two left, a handful of three, a handful of four, and then today's five is brand spanking new. If you're wondering why one and two are 49 99 it should have been £63, but it was a special deal we did for 49 99 Okay, so, oh, there's the, there's, the, there's the rotary cutter. Okay. Friction pens there. This is tools. Tools, tools, tools. That lovely book. Both those books are lovely. Uh, more books, more. Oh, that book's lovely. I mentioned that on my Simply Sewing page this week, this month. Tools, tools. Now the cork has sold out, I'm afraid. Tools, tools, tools. I won't. Tools, tools, tools. Tools, sewing, tools. Tools, sewing. Sashko, sewing. Steve Roll. There's Yvonne's second hour. These are beautiful. These are selling already. $16.99 and $18.99. There's the rotary cutter again. It's appearing a lot today, isn't it? The rotary cutter. There's John Scott's threads. Don't forget those. They shouldn't even be in today, but there you go. Right, the 780 sewing machine, the 550 sewing machine, and the A864 air threading overlocker. Then lots of other bits and bobs to do with Genomi. We might not get to them, but they're all there. Oh, and my threads again. I mean, twice the threads. And the light box is for Yvonne's hour, and the bonder web is for Yvonne's hour. Oh, <gasps> no. Right, okay, that's really important. That's the A3 light box. They haven't taken the £10 off from the other day when we did a special. And that was one Hayley came in saying, I will be changing this as soon as the show finishes. And it's still there. It's still there. There's only a few. There's only a few. If you want that, go and buy it now. Go and buy it now. She's in one of those moods today. I, I texted her last night and I got a very short, you know, when people do, um, what's it called? Like little words instead of big words. Like instead of and, she put mm, brief, like youngsters text. It was like that. Well, she says she's a youngster. Uh, Elf, Elaine says, good morning, John team. Have a fabulous show. We will. We will. We will. will. Right, make sure if you go to pre-order and you get what you want because there's nothing worse than getting to the show and finding out that it's sold out, is there? Right, we're going to do these. Right, I'll just make a bit of space. Lots of space because it's huge, this. Look, I'll put my finger in so you get the kit. <laughs> Moda Sophie. Is that what it's called? Moda Sophie by Brenda. 
Moda Sophie by Brenda. Home of Acorn Antiques. Does it say that? Acorn Quilt and Gift Company. Now I'll show you the I'll show you the fabrics on the big one in a minute because look. These fly out. These fly out. $6.99 for 42. That normally says that they're two and a half inches square. If they are two and a half inches square, aren't they? Oh well, get off the chair then. Somebody's taking my tape measure. This is going to fly out. Quarter of the stock's gone. If you've already paid for early bird, your post and packaging's done. Or if you buy that, yes, your post and packaging done for the rest of the day. Come in and buy an Elner, come in and buy an Overlocker, come in and buy a book. Half the stock has been checked out now. Half the stock has been checked out. Loads in baskets. Right, we're going to look through the patterns now so that you can see the patterns you're getting for that. But I'll do the five inch one. Now these, I mean, the, the two and a half and the five inch fly out. The ten inch take a little bit long. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Right. We'll put this in now, the five inch, but then I'm going to open the ten inch one and show you the actual, all the patterns look. This is very popular already. Quarter of the stock went on pre-order. Carol's having a trip down memory lane. Oh, she watched the last show of Sewing Quarter. Oh, is, they still that on? is that still online? Um, uh, of Study Lanes. And Ellen says, happy birthday, Yvonne. Ordered my row of the month. Brilliant. That's the way to do it. These are 10 99 You get 42 five-inch squares. Moda Sophie Charm Pack. There's 10 left, 10 left of those. Right, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to show you the actual fabrics that you're getting. They're the same fabrics, but this way you'll see the 10 inch version, that's all. I think I know her. That's Brenda, isn't it? Has she been on, she does other designs. I think I know because she looks like uh, 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 Angela Rippon. I was watching. Um, I was flicking through the channel just today, and there's one where the Angela Rippon sits in a warehouse with two people from Witch magazine. Is it called something like Rip Off Britain or something like that? Um, well, I'd not seen Angela Rippon for a long time. It's what? She was a different shape, she had a different shaped face. Anyway, 44.99. 44.99. Now, this is 42. Now, these are 10 inch square. I'm showing you this now, I'm opening this one now because these are the fabrics you get, the five inch and the two and a half inch. The five inch is about to sell out, the two and a half inch is about to sell out. So if you've got it in your basket, <gasps> you do need to check out. I've not been talking like this for two days. I kind of can't get my breathing right. I'm doing very well. I had such strange dreams again last night. It's because I've moved my bed north, north, south rather than east, west. Oh, these are nice. Very cla Oh, look at the lovely. Can you see that? Can you see that, Emma? Emma, I know she's very worried. She can't focus, that's the camera that can't focus. Look, little sprigs there. Oh, look at that gingham. Has it got flowers on the background? Hang on, hang on. Was that from, from the, no, it has no flowers. There, look, it's beautiful. Then you've got, it's very traditional. It's, oh, look, and then the green, the lime green or the apple green. Apple green gingham. Apple green. Now, some of them you get two of, and some of them you get in one of. That's nice, isn't it? It's not funny. I can see the pale green, not the kisses in the dark green on that one. Oh, yeah. Good morning, John and all. Happy cake day to Yvonne. Oh, she brought loads of cakes in, Jan. She brought loads of cakes in. Hang on. Oh, there's that lovely. That's very essence of Laura Ashley, that one, isn't it? I'll just put it into shot. Look at it on the pink as well. Oh, well, hang on. Loving the pink gingham. Hang on, I'm missing one out. There you go. There's the pink kisses. There's your pink gingham. Your pink dits. Elliot says, you say. Oh, yeah, we're all right, mate. We're all right, mate. Oh, look, that's pretty. I can't see him because the mannequins are in the way, which is unusual because he's a lot wider than the mannequins. Is he there yet? Oh, he's, oh, Elliot, don't. What's the matter, Elliot? Come here. Come here. Come here. He's come to say hello. 
Can we give a wave to everyone, Elliot? You have to go to the other set. Oh, now I was watching another shopping channel yesterday and they were standing next to each other. I wonder when we're going to start doing that. Here's Elliot, everybody. Lovely Elliot. Yeah, 44.99 years, and you'll get four out of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely old Elliot. He does put up with a lot from me. Lovely old Elliot, old and, Yeah, old and fat. Yeah, we'll have it. Uh, Elliot's 44.99 if you'd like him for the day. That's pretty, isn't it? Kisses that. You won't get kisses from Elliot, obviously, because he's got a girlfriend on the red. His girlfriend's lovely. Amy, his girlfriend, she's really... It's not Amy from marketing. She doesn't work here. She, we used to work with her at Rocks & Co. She used to be a director at Rocks & Co. She's lovely, his girlfriend. How, um, how she puts up with him, I don't know. Oh, oh you heard that. <laughs> I said, how she puts up with you. Uh, message on my bottom, hang on. Good morning, John and team. Woohoo, was early enough to give... Uh, to get the two and a half inch charm pack. Have a lovely day. Viv, Vivienne. All right, Viv. I love, what colour would you call that? Taupe? Mushroom? Oh, Jackie says, well, lovely to see Elliot. Carol says, hello, Elliot. Ah, It ladies he's spoken for. Oh, hang on. No, there's, there's um, wrinkles underneath. So, I'll, let's get rid of the wrinkles. Look, 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 look. MTV. Oh, no, but and now, now, they've started a new Cribs. Okay, right, so there's Todd, Todd, is he called Todrick? What's the dancer, singer called? No, no, I've only seen the advert. I haven't watched any. It only started last night and I was in bed. But then they go to all these um, fancy American houses and then they go to houses like Huddersfield going, don't step on, to oh, don't, the builder's made mistake on step. Like this, and I was like, who's she? Who is she? And then later on she goes, Pimp my ride, baby. On the back, on the front of a truck, and I've got no idea who she is. No idea who she is. She must be somebody's mum, I think. Anyway, 44.99. Quarter of the stock has gone. Lovely to see Elliot. Nice to put a face to a name. Ah. If the others come in, because did you see Ryan in the photo last week? In the in the Yarn Lane um photo of Christmas jumpers, that was young Ryan. He's the heartthrob of the company. And then there was lovely Amy, for, not Elliot's Amy, Amy from marketing, with the one when the other um, thing. And then there's these two slim, very beautiful people. And there's Rebecca Reed like this. And me like that. I mean, 44 nights. Like, did you see the single ones, though? They were even more embarrassing. If Elliot can do the jobs I hope he can't, 44.99 is worth it for the day, says Viv. <laughs> oh, no. He's only good at cameras and things like that. And black coffee. He's very good at grinding coffee. Anyway. Oh, oh, hang on. Julie Vaughan says, morning, John and team. Uh, message from Kate. Morning, John and team. Love the moda. Very seven bride. Oh, seven brothers. Uh, yeah, hang on. Florals and plains for ladies and gingham shirts for the men. Now, look at you, costume designer. For some reason on YouTube yesterday, uh, um, the Seven Brides, Seven Brothers came up with the Regent's Park one where they all wore white shirts. They didn't wear their coloured shirts at the barn range. Thing. Anyway, I still watched it. Right, this is your 10-inch one. The 5-inch one. Hold on. You can't hear that, I know. Single figures on the 5-inch. Oh, sorry, there's the 5-inch. More people got that in baskets than are available. And the two and a half inch. No. How many have I got left? No. These normally fly out. These normally absolutely fly out. I need my um, vacuum cleaner, don't I? Elliot's good at putting up shelves, apparently, says Jenny. How would you know? How do you know? How do you know that? At uh, 6.99, these are two and a half inch squares. If you do an EPP, do a little mini quilt. Six ninety-nine. I can't put up a shelf, Jenny, for love and the money. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence. I'm surprised I've got any of those left. 
It's cute, isn't it? Look. All the different fabrics in your two and a half. Uh-oh. Here we go. Hannah doesn't understand the message. Hello, John. My wife, Sue, is a fan and the crafter and watching you now and will you surprise. Right, okay. So, my, Sue, your husband, who hasn't put a name, I'm going to surprise you. Sue, where does she live? Rhonda Sinontaf. No, but he, he, she, he's used her account because that's her, isn't it? That's Sue's account. He's not put his name on it. It's for Sue anyway in Rhonda Sinontaf. Uh, Barada. <sighs> Sally Ann Harrison's watching everyone. Pretty miserable here in Bristol this morning. Loving the quilt over your shoulder, John. That's that one or that one? This one here is the row of the month. They're all available. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. The, well, the, I'm prepared for later because when Yvonne leaves at, uh, no, at 12, she takes all her stuff with her, so I have to have things on the shelf ready. That's why the bear's sitting behind that one. Oh, no. Poor little thing. Right, where am I going now, then? Christmas! I oh, know. We thought Christmas was over, didn't we? Uh, three fat quarter bundles here from John Loudon. Is that 89? You see, normally the floor management take the, um, floor management, floor per person takes them out the bag for me. Floor person this morning was very concerned. She's got too much on her mind. Oh, the rest of the message has just arrived. Hi, you. And a half a message. It's Sue's birthday. Please say hello. You still haven't said your name. You still haven't. Sue's husband is saying to Sue, happy birthday. She's crafting. She loves the show. She's watching right now. Happy birthday. I don't know what happy birthday in Welsh is. No, Dolly Cloward. Happy Christmas. That's happy Christmas. That's the same thing. Or probably come. Probably come. Probably come. Do what? What's Anna say? Uh, Mikrowave. No, ping. They say ping, don't they? They say ping in Welsh. Ping. Yeah. Ten nine. Because Welsh is not a dead language, but no new words being made. So when I first started working at Theatre Clued, I'd go down to the shops in Mould and they'd be chattering away in Welsh. Cornflakes. Ping. And all the words that didn't have... That was supposed to be a Welsh accent, by the way. All of the, the words that they didn't have words for. They Anyway. This is 10.99 for five fat quarters. Who won the Elf Prize? Jenny, I think it was somebody called Harry, wasn't it? Harry Tate or Harry Waif or something like that. Uh, morning, lovely John, says Michaela Michaela. Nice to put a face to Elliot at last. Loving the charm packs. But I've overspent on fabric on the weekend. Went to buy two metres and bought 14 instead. What fabric were you buying? This fat quarter sold out. Moving on to the next one. I oh, know it's loud. We are doing what? Rollerblading upstairs, yeah. Green or green and white? 67, yeah. This one's nice. They're all nice, these. I don't know how you choose which ones you like best. Here we go. Oh, yeah, look. Holly. Big Holly. There's that one in gold and white. And then you got, oh, that one there. And then that one there. Elizabeth says, morning, lovely, chilly here in Wakefield. I'm going to lag my legs. Is the blue stuff toy behind you hiding or it is in disgrace? No, it's just there. So when I take the quilt down, it'll, there'll be something on the shelf. Here you go. Buy these. 10 99 Donna says, good morning to everyone. £2.19 a fat quarter, that is. Oh, no. Elliot looks like Daniel Rag... <laughs> Elliot looks like Daniel Radcliffe when he had a beard. What a handsome, beautiful team of presenters, team and guests. Right, first of all, uh, Elliot... I don't know what his title is. What's his title? Studio manager, I'm going to call him. He's old enough to be Daniel Radcliffe's dad. I interviewed Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe doesn't have the same accent. Anyway, what a beautiful team of presenters and guests. Thank Oh, and team. Oh, I see. She's classed him under team, yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. I, I think maybe... Do you want me to get you a, an appointment to Specsavers, Elizabeth? 
Oh, now look. Wait, oh, Misty went in to be spayed yesterday. Only to discover that she is a he. No, so she, uh, June's had her cat for months now. Misty the little girl, it's Misty the boy. Anyway. June. Did you not, could you not tell, by the way, went to the toilet? Anyway, 10 99 This is green Christmas fat quarter, pack of five, for 10 99 Yep, thank you. Now, who did we have in? Let me have a look. Let me just double check. No, 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 it's me talking to myself, don't worry. I sort of recognised this, and I think it was because one of the guests used it. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Something quilted up and down on the fabric. Oh, come on, John. No, no. Day before. Alison Marion. She had this fabric and this fabric and she quilted up and down it, didn't she? Do you remember? Were you not watching, Hannah? I'm very upset. I thought you, she was so concerned about me. I thought she'd watch every day, but... She slept on Friday. It was the Friday Alice and was in. You were, here, you were here Friday. Saturday you were here, Emma, yeah. All the days are merging into one. Carol's just put, organises her scraps. Do you mean, and you tried to say, um, Susie Duncan. Susie Duncan hasn't been in this week, I don't think, is she? Anyway, look. Yeah, what are you going to lag your legs with? I think she just means put woolly tights on. 10 99 for five fat quarters. Morning, John and team. Just bought the early bird from Sarah in Deal and Kent. Well done, Sarah, because lots of people missed out. Lots of people missed out on that one. 10.99 for five fat quarters. Yes, fabric chains. Yeah, there you go. Alison Marion says she made fabric. I knew, all I can remember, Alison Marion, was you, you put them together and quilted up and down them, didn't you? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I'm getting so confused by the days. For me, I think it's next year now, because we did Christmas last week, didn't we? So the noise upstairs is really loud, so I do apologise. I know you can't hear it at home. Uh, distracting. Today. Yes, yeah, she's very concerned. She's on a short fuse day. Anything could happen. And we're not having coffee this morning either. 10.99 for five fat quarters. Oh no, Jan said it happened when I took Princess the Rabbit for his bait and he came home as Prince. Yeah. How can you not tell? Is it not obvious? Flo always says you just turn them upside down, don't you? Anyway. Anyway, that's moving on. Message from who? Oh, so he said, message, message from Father Christmas. Because they, ah, oh, you've been a good boy this year, John. What would you like? Ten-inch charm pack, Freya flowers. Flowers for Freya, you mean? Yeah, yeah. June what? Oh, June. I won't read that out. Oh, I know when I had Norman and Nelly um, done, that when it's a boy, they just go plip, plip, plop, plop, and they're out, you know. Whereas Nelly had to have a full-on operation. She had to have a, one of those on for a few days and everything. <laughs> 44 99 you get 42 pieces in here. These are flowers for Freya. They're 10-inch squares, and they're by that lady who looks like she was in um, House of Elliot. Lindsay Cole McRae, she's called. I love these. I think these are fresh. Look, very fresh, the colours in here. Look, that's nice. This is Moda again, good quality fabric. Oh, 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 o
I'll have to count if that's one of them. If not, I'll be a reject. Oh, look. Thick tights is leggings, all leggings. An electric blanket. Don't go shopping with an electric blanket. She's not putting the heating on. She says, yeah, you don't want to put the heating on. It's only August. Yeah, they're up north though, aren't they? Trouble at Mill in Wakey. In Wakey. When I lived in Wakefield, when I was at college there, you used to have to walk through the prison to get to the library. I know. Not through the, not through the inside of the prison, but, but through the exercise yard bit. No, no, but they used to get they used to get their tin cups and go like this when you, when you clang, 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 clang on the window. You'd be like, because that was the way to the library. Mm. <laughs> Everybody. I've also filmed in Pentonville Prison when we did a Poirot there, and we were all in the court, the, the exercise yard. That time, that your whole film crew, all lovey, lovey, darling, darling, cup of tea, fag, all that sort of stuff. And then they suddenly let all the prisoners out for exercise. And we were like, OK, OK. And then all these guard dogs were there. We all, Kirsten, my friend Kirsten just sat there really, really still. At this, and the dog came over and went, oh, what a lovely dog. And it nearly took her hand off. Anyway, look, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They're now, that's more grey than taupe, that one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's lovely. What do you think they are? Carol says, good morning, everyone. That's lovely. Look, blue and white. That's funny. Did, was that in other colours? don't remember that one. Oh, yeah, there was. Look, yeah, 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 there it is on the green. Beautiful colours. This goes my shirt, like that one. Oh, yeah, loving these colours. Look. Uh, hi, John team. Thanks for cheering me up every morning. Not well at the moment, so can't do a lot, but keep adding to my stash. You're addictive. Oh, Mandy, you get better soon, my lovely. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, Michaela, Michaela, that's lovely. Oh. That's lovely. Look, that one. I've got the blue. Oh, that's nice. Look. Uh, morning, John and team. So excited about the dolls tomorrow. Have a fabulous day from Fiona. Fiona, so many people are excited about. It's Polly Duda. De Polly, what? No. Polly Dolly Duda. Polly Wally Duda. No, Polly Dolly Duda. Yet yeah, Cheryl or Sherry, Cheryl's coming on from that. A lot of you are very excited about that. Tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. One. I'll count them later. Forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Bretton Hall. It was Bretton Hall. Elizabeth, I went to Bretton Hall College. Uh, and it's, well, they're supposed to be turning into a hotel, but they've been turning into a hotel for donkey's years, haven't they? Hey, happy days. Flowers for Freya. Ten inch squares. Then all the things you can do with it, look. Cut four five inch squares. You can cut them into four quarter squares. Four four by four finished circles. Beautiful. Forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Though. Moving on. Where am I going next, then, Hannah? Alison Glass, fat quarter pack. These are fat quarters. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful colours, aren't they? Only I've been on air once before. They're lovely, these as well. Look at the look at the prints on here. 
The colours are very pure and vibrant. Look, here goes. This is the fat quarter. And then look at the drawings on there. You've got... Oh, I'm upside down, I think. Sorry, I'm upside down. My bad. You've got a moth, a thistle, a paintbrush, some pills. Is that some pills? Are they pills? Oh, no. No, it's a paint palette. Thought it was like my hay fever pills, that. Rose a rose. Frog spawn. A flower with a heart in the middle, a sparrow and a star, an octopus. I wonder what she was thinking of the day she doodled this. Acorns. Snake's head flowers. Pencils, safety pin, shamrock, or is it a clover? An aeroplane, big house, a strawberry. God, it goes on and on and on. Seahorse. <coughs> so many different things. The terrace of houses, like where Hannah lives. Here, down here, look. There, there, Hannah lives there, the one with the red front door. Well, apparently she's got a red front door. I've never been invited, I wouldn't know. No, no, again, I've never seen the outside of it, because when she lives, she can't drive down a road. I've told her that the sea's out the front. Hang on, the different prints... That that's a different print, that one, look. This one's called Stitched, this one. Look. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, you do get nine fat quarters in here for £30.99. pence. So you get a green stitched, you get a red stitched, you get a pink one of those, an orange one of those, a blue one of those, an orange stitched, uh, a green one of those. Is that the same one? Yeah, a green one of those, a grey one of those. And then this one, completely different, cross stitch. There you go. Oh, no, Tra was it say Tracy? I'm so sorry, Tracy. She, she was so happy because she thought the 680 was going to happen. Not going to happen. It's pouring down with rain where she lives and she's going to go for the fab sort her fabric stash out now. I oh, know, I was a bit disappointed as well, Tracy. Beautiful. Oh, did we say somebody, there was somebody, Kate, did Kate say she was in France earlier? Did you have to have a PCR? Was it Kate? No, they don't live there. Hang on, I'm sure it was, oh, hang on, we had so many messages. Sorry if I've not read out your message. Take, yeah, Kate, good morning, John, watching you from France today. Kate, did you have to have a PCR test? My friend Arabella's flying to Billy, uh, not Billy's. Where did I say she was going to? The very posh place near Saint Tropez. Anyway, um, she thought she didn't have to have a PCR test. Anyway, uh, who am I? Let me move on. You can. In the in the fat quarters, Moda Balboa fat quarters. We cut these. Lovely colour range again, look. It's not the whole range, just a smidgen taste of them all. A smidgen pigeon. 27.99, you get eight pieces there. Yeah, eight pieces, all fat quarters. Oh, no PCR, it's fully vaccinated, so Arabella was right. I worried my friend Arabella yesterday again, which says on my website here, you have to. Oh, you see, now I thought they weren't letting... I don't know. What do I know? I'm hoping by the time I go to Greece, we won't need them either. 27.99. Beautiful. Winky Pops, that's this one here, right? Is that, that that one by Jen Sandwell? That's Winky Pops, isn't it? Yeah, this one. Now, this one um, is from Australia. 
and she's got a shop on the beach in Australia and she sends her friend out to take photographs and she came back with all these amazing pictures and then this is the fabric range that came from it. There were other colours as well. We only chose to do the grey and green range. Uh, now you get nine of those for £33.70. It's a funny price, isn't it? £33.70, and 70 pence. you get eight, nine fat quarters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine fat quarters, yeah? Lovely, aren't they? Really lovely quality cotton as well, those. When we sold it by the half metre, it was very, very popular, I seem to remember. Wonderful. Moving on to... Beth Studley book. This has six uh, sewing patterns for the contemporary crafter from Beth Studley. Has the air con switched itself back on again? It's, it's gone freezing cold in here. Yeah, please, if you don't mind. I think when you switch yours on, mine switches on or off. Eight ninety nine. Now look, how much does a Beth Studley pattern cost? Four fifty at the minimum, right? 450, you've got six patterns in here, that's 24, 24, 27 pounds, isn't it? You get the whole book for 899. I oh, know. It's a brilliant price. So in here, you do get all the different projects, right? You see that one there, we sell the pattern for that for four pounds fifty. Yeah, cute pattern, but you can get it in the book here, right? So all material. Right, so the, here are the projects. Picture Garland. Geraldine, hi John, hope you had a rest on your day off. Just wondered what's behind the little quilt on the shelf. Oh, it's a, hang on, I've got to, it's causing, it's causing so much grief. It's all right, Emma caught him. Picture garland there, first of all. Then we've got the reversible trinket bowls. They're reversible, don't you know? There they are, reversed. Then you've got your petal pin cushion. Petaled pin cushion. Lovely little gifts. I'll start making them for Christmas now. Then we've got the hexy needle case. Then we've got the curvy coaster set. It's nice and it could all fit together in a pattern look. This is paper piecing this, paper piecing. Well, no, because what you do is you put them on the table together like that in the middle and then people can just take one that they need it, you see. Uh, then we've got the... Oh, hang on, I've, I've jumped a page, sorry. There you go, the Natty Notebook cover. And you can never lose your pen or your pencil because you use the pen and the pencil to do, up the, to do it up with. Janice made that once. Janice has done it and someone else has done it, so I can't remember who else did it. Oh, FIFA on my bottom. Is it from Janice? Love from Beth inspired you to make several useful items this little book of mini patchwork projects. Good value from a crafter in Northumberland. Thank you very much indeed. And then you've got all your techniques that you need to know here. Your foundation paper piecing. You've got all your templates there for your reversible trinket bowls and your petal pink. Oh, no, isn't that funny? I didn't think it was going to be that shape. Petal pink cushion. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Well, I never. Every day is a school day. Morning, John. Sorry I'm late. Been ironing our festival outfits ready for Rewind the weekend. You've been getting ready for Rewind for about three weeks now. Are you going to a festival with all those people? Oh, there's a pattern correction. You'll get that in the book on page 36. But... You do get six projects for eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Amazing. Alice Caroline, I've got two oh they're all two and a half inch squares. I've got pink, blue, and I've got rainbow. Rainbow. Now these are Tana Lawn weight. Always very, very popular. But look at these, right? There are only two of these left 
There are only two of these left. You get 36 two and a half inch squares for 9.99. Geraldine, she's already posted a picture of them in their wigs. It's a bit worrying. 9.99. No, low and Jeff going to rewind. <laughs> well, we are like husband and wife, aren't we? Hannah, really. Sold, 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 sold. Right, then I've got it in. Pink. Make the boys wink. <laughs> Here we go. So again, you've got your two and a half inch squares, 36 of them for 9 9 10. These be a lovely little present because you put these in an envelope. Can't you just send them to somebody who may be still isolating? Hannah's got a friend who's isolating. She's very concerned. Nine ninety nine, but the rules have changed now, haven't they? She, she doesn't need to isolate, does she? Well, anyway, each to their own. Nine ninety nine. They're pretty. All the different shades of pink in there look, but there are other colours as well. It's just ma the majority or the the predominance of pink. Nine ninety nine, Alice Caroline. They're Liberty. They are Tarna Lawn. Some of them are traditional Liberty. Some of them are Liberty recolored by Alice Caroline. She's allowed to do it. She works in conjunction with Liberty. Oh, hang on. Loving the fabrics. I'm paid up with. Oh, hang on. Paid up with ligament tab. Oh, laid up. Laid up with ligament damage. Can't sew. Went paddle boarding and fell off. I should know better at 59. I'll stick to sewing. Oh, Anne in County Down. Are there any pictures? Are there any pictures? No, have you paddle boarding? Is paddle boarding the one where you have like a, a, a surfboard and you go like that? And then you stand up. It's, it's very good for your core. It's very gentle because Alistair did it on Escape to the Country that one time in Norfolk. Right, moving on. Oh, sorry, moving on. Now I've got it in blue. Blue's very limited, apparently. Graphics playing up again. That, you know what happened last time? Nine ninety nine. Blues. I love that one there. That's called Ros. That one. Morning, John. Nurse Julie here. Loving the motor fabrics. Just bought more. Now up on feet for the first time in six weeks with crutches. Nice to see you. Oh, Julie, you take care. You take care on those crutches. Um, I fell over somebody's crutch the other day here, didn't I? Yeah. Nine ninety nine. About to go those. Beautiful. What's next? Time saving quilts with two and a half inch strips from Annie's Quilting. You know Annie's Quilting always very very popular. All of these are made with two and a half inch pre cut strips. I think on some of them you might need uh, some backing. Oh, yeah, because on that, that's not made with a two and a half inch strip, is it there? Uh, now, look, it's a pound. It's a pound a pattern. A pound a pattern, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. Wee, these are nice. Oh, yes, I love this one. There you've got Cristal. There you've got Spot On, darling. Spot On. At midnight. No, don't be singing that, you know, Elaine Page. Reflections of Fall. Hmm? Well, Judy Dench was doing it first, wasn't she? Stop, drop and roll. Then you've got Star Bright, like Kelly Bright from EastEnders. That's nice, that's lovely, isn't it? Pinwheels. We all love a pinwheel, don't we? 
Then we've got Jardin Bleu. But I suppose if you used uh, yellow, it'd be Jardin Jaune. Or red, Jardin Rouge. Jardin Vert, green. Right, here we go, stripping X's. Hello, baby. I don't know why the stripping X's are French. Then we've got Galaxy. Oh, I'd like that one, but different colours. And then your quilting basics at the back. Fabulous, eight ninety nine. That is eight ninety nine. Got some design rolls here. I've got some Kafe. Got three Kafes, haven't I? Oh, Prism, Equator, and is it Equator? I'm guessing. Yeah, Equator and Cool is that one. Right, let's do prism first. Look at this. You know what prism is, right? When the light goes into a prism, the white light goes in and all the colours of the rainbow come out the other side. Look. Prism. $44.99. You get 40 strips. They're two and a half inches wide. They're width of fabric. There's the picture. Good morning, John and everyone. Sorry I'm late. Been up most of the night with my poorly dog. Got to sleep at 6 a.m. Oh, no, Susan. The dog's fine. Always the way, isn't it? Who's that making all the noise in here? It's Von McAtamney rooting through our boxes. This one's called Prism. It's a design roll. 40 pieces you get in there. Lovely colours. I think we only had the 10 inch squares of them open, didn't we? Oh, you got one? It was Hannah being very high pitched. Okay. <laughs> is that is that one equator? Thank you. Where's the where's the prism one? <laughs> that was in shot. You find nobody knows what happened. So Hannah just threw the through. I don't even know where it is. And she knocked my water bottle off the table onto the floor. No, it, it, it's just leaking. It's all right. It's seeping out. Ah, sorry, everybody. Yeah, but where's where's the fact? Where's the um? Oh, it's gone all the way down. To here. <laughs> oh dear me. She's got a lot of emotions that she needs to expel today. But I'm gonna, I can't open this one, can I? Okay, here you go. This one's the prison one. I've just realised the time, look. This one has not been opened. I'm not going to open it, look. I'm not going to open it, look. Look, beautiful colours in here, aren't they? This is prism. So they're all two and a half inch squares. They're all width of fabric. Paper fans. Um, lotus leaves. That's that lovely jazz folk dance, isn't it? Now, this one was called several things, wasn't it? It was called paperweights and it was called... Um, uh, what's it when you slice through? Uh, oh, I can't remember now. Beautiful, aren't they? Just gorgeous brassica. There's your Missoni esque knitting pattern. Dots. Colours are lovely. There's your blue brassicas. That one's leaves. It's lovely. I love that one with the black background as well. £44.99. You get 40 pieces, two and a half inches wide. That's your prism. Got to get it on. Then I've got Equator. I'm not going to open this one. There you go. Oh, I love this one. Colours are exquisite, aren't they? Rich, beautiful colours. Graphics will come in when they're ready. There's your chrysanthemums. There's your spots. There's your Missoni. Is it? 
Paper fans, there it is, $44.99, this one. That one doesn't look the same. I haven't got pink jumbles. No, I, oh, oh, I've got, was it jumbles on, on? Oh, yes, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have. Yeah, I think it's just been taken with a flash or something, making it look a bit different colour-wise. Uh, Lynn says, morning, John, looking forward to watching Yvonne today. She'll be on in a minute. It's her birthday as well, so she'll be on in a minute. One more, one more, one more, which is the cool. Graphics are coming in. I promise you, they've just been a bit slow this morning. Very temperamental. Luckily, next hour, we've only got one graphic. Forty-four ninety-nine. There it is. The cool design. I mean, it's far. I mean, it's cool as in cool, man. But it's also cool. But it's got lovely blues and greens there. But you also got flashes of other colour, like oranges and pinks and everything in there as well. Forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Make sure you go through for that. Right. How are my two and a half inch squares going? Okay. Very quickly, I'll find those. Before we go. No, 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 no. I've, I've got those very quickly because I've got to go. I've not just seen the time. Right. The thing we launched the hour with, the item we launched the hour with, were these two and a half inch squares from Moda, from the Sophie collection, designed by Brenda. Now, normally, these fly out so quickly. I've got single figures, but that's all. Brand new today. Single figures. 6 99 Mini charm back, two and a half inch squares. Six ninety nine for forty two of them. Make sure you check out. That's all I'm going to say. Right after the break, we've got row five. Row five. It's the shop and the trees. It's a plique and it's a foundation paper piecing. A third of the stock is already gone, and you know how many of those we sell. And remember, please remember that there's only a uh, there's not an infinite amount of them. When they've gone, they've gone. So please be careful. Uh, anyway, so I'll see you straight after this break with Yvonne here on her birthday in three minutes from now. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family run customer service team are on call 24 7. they're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible and not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out Hi, my name is Yvonne Makatamne. My passion is patchwork and quilting. 
and it's also my privilege to own Village Fabrics, Patchwork and Quilting Shop in Wallingford. Um, my sewing life began whenever, before probably I, before I went to school certainly, and probably before I could uh, read. Uh, my mum was always a sewer and with two big sisters we would, every weekend there would be a new dress made and I was allowed to do certain pieces and as I got older I started to make some dresses. My top tip is you don't have to be able to draw to design. The place that I always start is with a children's colouring in book. They have good bold outlines and then you can trace that and adapt to your heart's content. Anybody can do it. My claim to fame is that last year, when things were good, we had Jenny Doan from Missouri Star Quilt Company come and do a meet and greet at my shop in Wallingford. We had a really enjoyable day and good fun was had by all. So I hope I'll be popping into your living rooms on a regular basis as we go forward with Sewing Street here. We are intending to bring you some absolute beginner kits as well as some of our more intricate designs. See you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Yvonne is here in its row of the month number five. But first of all, we have to say, happy birthday, Yvonne. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. You've had loads of messages. Alison Marion says happy birthday. Carol says happy birthday. There's loads of ones further up there that I'm sure you heard me shout out. Susan says happy birthday. Um, lovely to have you here on your birthday. Uh, now, what we're going to, she's already told me, she's got a lot to do this hour, so I'm not to chat. So I'm going to introduce everything that's for sale, and then I'll be quiet, all right? Row of the month, for those of you who don't know, it's a quilt that Yvonne has designed for us. And here's the whole quilt. And we've done row one and two, three, four. Today it's five, which is the little shop and the trees. There it is. You can watch all of them back on YouTube if you so wish. We've actually got availability still of one, two, three and four. Not many, not many. But while we've got stock, then we can, we can still bring them to you. Today we're introducing row number five, which is the trees and the shop. And I'll let Yvonne explain to you how you can make your own, you, you can make it your own. But £31.99 for row five, you get the shop and you get the six trees and you get the two bay trees go either side of the shop. Half the stock has gone already. Half of the stock has gone already. All I need to tell you is that Yvonne only uses the top, top, top quality fabrics. Uh, everything you need is in there fabric wise. Everything you need there is in there fabric wise to do this row, right? It is the shop, which you can make a village shop. You can make whatever shop. You can a butcher's if you wanted to. And then you've got the lovely trees here. 
31.99. Morning, John Livon. Happy birthday. Love you to spend it with us. I placed my first order, first thing for the next row from Claudia. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> That's lovely, isn't it? Right, OK, so that is row five. Do you quickly want me to go through four, three, two and one and then we can keep coming in for five. Keep coming in for five. Uh, here's number four, which I wasn't here for number four. This is the houses. Sorry, the graphics are playing up a bit this morning. Margaret says, happy birthday, Yvonne. Laurie says, happy birthday, Yvonne. Lucy says, happy birthday to the very talented Yvonne. Oh, I don't know which Ooh. Yvonne she's talking to. Oh. <laughs> well, the bribe worked, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> right, row four was done on the 27th of July. If you want to watch it on YouTube, it's the row of houses. There it is. Again, you can put them in any order you want to. Row three with the flowers. Now, row three is a bit difficult. Row three, each row teaches you, teaches you a different skill. Row three has got loads of threads in it. So row three was the flower row, which was applique, bias, cutting, and all sorts of things. 22nd of June, that one was on, row three, if you want to look it up on YouTube. And then when we launched it, one and two came together. We did a special deal for one and two together. So one and two were the little squares at the bottom there. And then you've got the zebra crossing, crossing. with the cat on it there, which is all, can also be a garden fence. If you want Thank to you, be. John. 18th of May, that one was. You do get row one and two for 49.99. There they are. And everything you need is in there for row one and two. Okay, lovely kit and extras well, lovely fabric, extras needles and cottons from Wendy in Cambridgeshire. Yes, okay, Wendy, it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant kit. Right, so Yvonne, I'm going to leave you, I'll put number five back in, and I'm going to leave Yvonne now because she's got lots to show you. Happy birthday, Yvonne, says Julia. Lo says happy birthday. Kate says happy birthday. Uh, anyway, this is row five, and Yvonne's going to show you how to make it now. Oh, there is so much paper in this pack that you really need to be very orderly. I'm thinking about, I think this is maybe why I need an extension to my house for this particular oh, okay, row. Fine. But, um, there are two different techniques involved. You're going to do the foundation paper piecing for the trees and then a uh, machine applique for the house, um, house the shop. shop. Feel, yeah, but it just feels like my home, that shop, doesn't oh, it? Oh, does it? Um, so, there are many pages. The first page and a half is telling you what to cut out. Now, the key to this is you must, must cut in the order listed. And for that reason, we have also included a cutting diagram for oh the blue fabric, okay? Yeah. So this is for all of the sky. So you have a background for, if I just pull this yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you have the background piece that the shop goes on. So it's really important that you cut that big piece first. Right. You then have dividing strips that separate the trees. Uh -huh. If I just point to this on the, yeah, of course, the one you behind. Yeah, where you like. Right? Yeah. So, um, you have the foundation piece trees and then in between these you have some long strips okay uh -huh. so that is the second thing you cut right then everything else is for the sky that goes around the individual trees so as i always say at the beginning of these things don't do as i do on the show here do as i tell you to do in the instructions <laughs> but Cut, refer to cutting diagram and cut in the order listed in right. bold, okay? Then work your way down through the cutting instructions for the trees. When you look at the trees, you will see that there are a total of six trees, but tree one and tree six are using the same fabrics, Ro uh, tree two, and five same fabrics and three and four are the same fabrics right. and all that has happened is they have been reversed oh yes okay? yeah so if we now you've cut all your pieces you've read some of the words 
and then the this short piece here is all about the applique for the shop. Okay. But in the pack, you will maybe, yeah, here we go. In the pack, you will see that you have a total of four big sheets of A3 paper, okay? Uh -huh. And two of those sheets say reference copy. So this, just set those aside. We felt that we would give you foundation uh, patterns that you could reuse. So these are for your reference. Right. You have another two sets that are exact, another set of these two sheets that are exactly the same. And those are what you're going to cut up to make your individual foundation okay. patterns. So there, for example, here is, I've chopped up tree one and tree six, right. which is, um, you can see they don't match up. I just, these are just reversed. Okay. So you need to chop everything up. Mm -hmm. And we felt that you should still have a reference pattern to go back to because you can use these as your foundations. Um, you can buy foundation paper if you want. I think it's a waste of time, <gasps> personal life, because all you really need is a, a reasonable co uh, weight of paper, nothing too thick. and Just like your photocopy paper? Absolutely, your sort of 80 gram photo, uh, photocopier paper or um, old jotter paper. You know, that slightly poorer mm -hmm. quality. So you can use the, the uh, paper that we have included in the uh, pack because you have your reference. Of course. Set. Okay. But if you make in the future, photocopy them because if you want to use your yeah, reference, absolutely. that's it gone. Absolutely. Lovely message there from uh, Felicity saying you're a brilliant teacher. Oh, that's too kind. It's just, uh, I enjoy sharing. Uh, the information that's in my head. Uh -huh. no, not all of the information. No, we don't all of it. Head. Thank no, you very that much. Would not, uh, uh, we've had loads, loads of birthday messages, but we won't read them out because we know you've got lots to do. But thank you very much. For well, I am back in an hour's time. So oh yes, we, we, we have, should like be that. a little bit easier. All right, then, perfect. That, uh, so, um, foundation, foundation paper piecing gives you really accurate sharp points. Um, you can see I've made some trees. I have not made all of them yet for this row. But um, let me say that if you are an experienced foundation paper piecer, then you do it the way that you are most comfortable with. Um, it's The key to foundation pie piecing is always to make sure you have sufficient fabric. In our patterns, we have given you the inner line which is the where the seam will be when you join this onto another block or onto mm -hmm. your dividing strip but you actually have to make sure your fabric goes to the outside line because that is your seam allowance that little piece there is your seam allowance and you need to cover that with fabric so it, it is available to then become the seam allowance in the block that it is being attached to um, whenever I'm foundation piecing, I like to cut the pieces in advance so that I know the piece, the rectangle square that I've cut, is going to be big enough to cover the area. Some people just have one big long strip and attach as they go. That's not quite orderly enough for me. So um, this is um, why you have this um, comprehensive list of cutting instructions uh -huh. for the pieces. Um, you are going to go in numerical order, so you are going to start with piece one, two, three. Then move on to the next row, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then finish it off with the top row. Mm -hmm. So this is where you will find that a light box comes in very handy. You are going to be working on the reverse side. You're going to be placing your fabric on the reverse side of this piece of paper. You're going to be sewing along the lines that you can actually see. So to start with, um, this is slightly different. But do I need, do I need you, to move Do you mind sizing it just a little bit across? Will that mess, mess you up? Oh, there you go. Okay, so 
So this is going to be, I, in the past I've just held this up against the window, you uh -huh. just need to hold it up to the light. Whenever you are starting, as always, the aim is that you have two pieces of fabric with right sides together. Mm -hmm. So the very first piece that you're going to put on, piece number one, which is the trunk of this tree, you're going to put over piece the area that has number one in it and you're going to have it right side up because the second piece that you're going to be putting on which you're going to put on to go along the line that joins area one to area two is going to be there okay mm -hmm. now i would then pop a pin in that In month one, we have included a pack of sewing needles. Mm -hmm. By the time you've reached this row, you might be ready for a new needle. needle. By the end of this row, you definitely will need a new needle in your machine right. because you are going to be stitching through fabric and paper. And of course, nothing blunts needles and scissors quicker than stitching through paper. I have now, I now have a pin that has this, um, the two pieces of fabric covering the entire area and I am going to just have a little wriggle because I want to make sure that I have covered my, the area with just about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that's where I'm going to be. Um, because you are going through the paper and the paper will be removed, you want to make that process as easy as possible. So your stitch length, you want to bring that down to probably a size uh, a two. It's uh -huh. it, it's a two on my machine. You might be thinking about something even smaller than that. So make sure your fabric is flat in below. And that's because I've got the pin in the wrong side. I, I could see you put it in. I thought, I'm not going to say anything. No. She told me to be quiet in this yes. hour. Yes, but I don't actually expect you to be quiet. Jim. Oh, you didn't expect I me to I have no me. expectations of that actually happening. They do. I, no, <laughs> no. I would much rather you were enjoying the process I with me. I am enjoying it. Enjoy the process with me and tell me whenever I get it wrong. Yeah, all right. So, then. sewing machine. Your stitch is going to be at a two. Uh -huh. You are going to stitch on the line. There's no gauging of where a quarter of an inch is or anything difficult. You are simply going to sew along that line. Okay? Do you go right to the end? Yeah. Well, yes, I have a little bit extra. Um, oh, gosh, what's happened? Oh. Oh, what's happened? I don't know. Oh, no. Something very interesting has happened. Oh, I've got, it didn't sew. Oh, that could be why then. Well, so shall we try that again? Yeah. Has your bobbin in all right? I think so. I think it just uh, had got itself caught. I think. Right. We'll see. cut that bit out when we push that line. Ah. Oh, you know what? Because you've I've got no used, bobbin in. No, I've used a matching thread and I can't see the, <laughs> the stitches. Oh, so it had stitch. It had stitch. Oh, honestly. Oh, I know that. But you see, I've gotten a, a lighter coloured thread on the back so yeah. that people could actually see. But because I'm stitching on a black line with dark brown thread, I couldn't see. Oh. Oh, it's old age, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're, the sun's gone round the earth another year yeah. since your last oh, one. Okay. So what I'm doing now is making sure that I have pressed that that away uh -huh. and we have to create our seam alliance so we are going to just fold I'll fold that one no I'm actually pretty much okay size wise bec yeah. because that is what we have gotten you to sew um, we've gotten you to sew that and the piece that we have told you to cut is fairly much the size yeah. you need but that is beyond what I need. So we're looking at just trimming that off. We're not, uh, we're keeping the paper 
on. The paper is really going to stay there fairly much until you have everything joined together across right. the row. So we have pieces one and two attached. And that's and there's that horrendous that's bit of thread. That, yeah, that had got it sat caught under the sewing machine uh -huh. once the scissors had operated. So we are now looking at piece number three. Yeah, piece number three. And I'm going to uh, fold the paper back along the line and this is where I'm going to create my quarter of an inch uh -huh. so that it's going to be easier whenever I attach my piece number three on. Uh -huh. Okay, so you do have to always consider seam allowance. So I'm covering piece number three. I'm going to be putting that right sides together again, so I'm putting that down there. I know the line that I'm going to be sewing along. So if I do if I do that, you can see that there's the yeah, the quarter seam, inch seam yeah, allowance. the quarter inch seam allowance is going along here. And also it's covering this line across here where oh, they're yes, all yes, going yes. to join a, up to piece number four. Mm -hmm. So let me hold all of that together. I will pop that pin in again just to hold things together. Okay, so this is piece three. And I am sewing right from the edge. Now, right. I have a little excess piece of paper at the bottom here that I hadn't trimmed off. But from the, uh, the black line that we have indicating the quarter inch seam allowance beyond the block size. Mm -hmm. Okay, scissors. I always feel as though I should ask for a scalpel at that point as well. No, don't we're, not, we're not doing an operation. Oh. And hence, oh, there we go, we just keep plodding on now. So uh -huh. we are going to trim that off at the outside there. And what we're ready for is the uh, dealing with the joining line between items one, two, three, and piece number four. Oh. Now, I have been finger pressing this. I do actually have an iron here, and I think now that I have those pieces. Is that a compressing board? Ah, uh, you see, that's why you're here, John. <laughs> yeah. This is why you're, uh, this is why you are in the big box, isn't it? I wish. <laughs> yeah, because you want to keep it as precise, because the actual foundation paper itself is so precise that pressing it there will keep it really yes, sharp, won't it? That, that's it. And, you know, we pop it on there. You can see that we have, um, we need to just trim Emma. that uh, Emma, a can lot. we see that from above? Oh, sorry. Can sorry. Yeah. Can we, can yeah, we yeah, see yeah, that? Yeah, there you go, there you go. So you can see that currently the seam alliance is a bit in excess along here, yeah. so I'm going to fold it back along that line. So sorry, I need to be over here. So I'm folding back along the, the line. Remember the light box got 10 pounds off today for some reason. It was a special deal we did a few weeks ago. Shouldn't be 10 pounds off, but it still is. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. Mm. Um, I don't actually have an A3 one. I've oh, only got 10 pounds off, Yvonne. Yeah. So we now have created our quarter inch. And the next thing we're doing is adding the next uh, layer of tree, which is this nice green fabric here. And you, you build up. Um, I find this um, 
quite boring to be honest. Boring? Yeah. I'm I I get bored very quickly. Okay. It's just one of those things in life that um I just don't enjoy repetition like this. Uh-huh. Many people find it very relaxing, very satisfying. Yeah, it's all about mindfulness. Well, it is, but... So why did you design so much uh, foundation paper piecing in this row if you don't like it? Well, it's a technique that is really very useful. And if you want to do something like a mariner's compass as uh -huh. you go through your quilting journey, that's, uh -huh. that's the very first thing I ever foundation pieced was a oh, mariner's my compass. Word. Um, and that you need to have gotten on top of how this actually works so yeah. that you can do something as complex as that. And that is where the benefit of foundation piecing yeah. comes in. You see, I've, I've said this story several times. My friend Shimoya Mary hadn't done sewing since she was at school. When we first opened sewing quarters, she tried lots and lots of different projects and didn't like any of them. Then we did the balloon quilt. Uh, in foundation paper piecing and she absolutely loved it and you know my uh, skirt from Arl which you brought some blocks in very kindly this morning she's yep. done foundation paper piece roses and she finds it the easiest but most satisfying thing to do yeah and it is so precise and she loves it she loves the repetitiveness of it and the, and the kind of the fact you can lose yourself in it by the, by repeating yourself yeah and it, it doesn't work for me no. that that um, the but then there's something you'll love doing that she hates doing. Do you absolutely, mean? because all... I'm I like to have my hands busy, not necessarily sitting at a sewing machine. Yeah. But whenever my hands are busy, that's whenever I get the opportunity to relax. I think it's I think though it's worth it because the the finished effect you get a foundation paper piecing is so precise and so lovely, and that it would be too difficult to do it as a piecing, you know, to get that precision with oh, just normal yes. piecing. And this we we had designed this as a learning journey through mm. these rows so that people get the opportunity to try different methods of different uh, techniques yeah. because whenever you come to right we are going to create the seam allowance for where we're going to attach piece five and piece six so I might just do these two pieces show, um, show you what this might look like finished might yeah. look like finished and then mindful of the time we'll move on to of my, course. my happier places. The thing is, though, the thing that's lovely about this quilt is we've done um, like log cabins, we've done lo little piecing, we've done bias strips, we've done applique, we've done flowers, then we did pieced houses. So each strip is a different technique, but yeah. also it's not too big to get bored but it's small enough to get you interested should you want to do that in future. Yeah. So if once you've done this row, you might think, oh, I love foundation paper piecing. You move on your journey down that route. There is enough repetition each time for you to have learnt the skill yeah. and to have improved. Um, I I try and post my second um, making of the quilt. Yeah. On oh, of course, because you hate doing anything twice. You've oh, made that one on the wall. Which is why this one's slightly different, the one I've got on the table here, because instead of a cat on the zebra crossing, she's got butterflies. She's got a, a ladybird on the flowers, and she's done her houses in a different order. Yeah. And ladies um, very kindly also send their, uh, post their pictures. Yeah. And we have some ladies who are actually needle turning the flowers on the flower row. Oh. Where I've done it as machine. Applique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they are needle turning there. But if that's what they love doing, then well, why not? this is it. And this is why this particular project is great for whatever skill level, because you can create it in whichever way suits you best. Mm -hmm. So uh, piece five we're going to put on. We have just created that seam allowance there. We're going to make sure that we have fabric covering. Um, our connection with line four and up to line seven. Oh, uh, you've got lots in it, line seven. Lots above line seven. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll trim all of that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to turn it over, make sure it's flat. Should put a pin in, but I'm going to be daring. Okay. Uh, 
And do you know, I'm so used to sewing my quarter of an inch from the edge of the foot that actually you don't have to have your machine at a quarter of an inch here because you are stitching on the line. Uh, yeah, you've got the line to follow, haven't you? So you just are in your middle position whenever you switch your machine on. However, if you're like me and you're that used to sewing at a quarter of an inch, I have to actually reconvene myself to I'll over a bit. Over a bit. Because it's not quite where I'm used to seeing yeah. the needle go. But we are remembering that we are doing our smaller stitch. I'm going to trim that up along there. And I'm going to do this other piece on here and then we'll do the tidy up across the line with uh -huh. line seven in a minute. So we're going to just turn that over, lay it on there. Yeah, we're fine. We're covering seven. We're between four and six. A question from Anne. She said that, happy birthday, Yvonne. Birthday girl, do we make each row and leave them to the end to sew together or do we connect as we go along? Um, you connect as per the sample that John has there. That is approximately half the quilt. And I would suggest that that is all that you do. This tree row that we're doing next, uh, that I'm doing today, I think you make that the start of the second half that you're going to stitch oh, together. Okay. Um, so that we're going to really assemble two halves. So you get this far with this together. one, stop yep. and then pretend this is row one of the neck of the top bit. Yes, because we have quite a few join uh, uh, seam uh, lines across where the stars join onto the flying geese. Uh -huh. And we think it's easier for you to stitch those two rows together, then add the trees on and then join the two halves together. So if you've gotten yourself up to and including the houses, yeah, go ahead and join those together. Um, I suppose the only other thing to say is depending on, if we look ahead, depending on how you think you want to quilt this, again, you might want to think, I can put half of this quilt under my domestic sewing machine, or you might be happy to construct the whole of the front uh -huh. before you go on to th consider quilting. Emily says she loves watching you doing paper piecing. I've never tried it before and looking forward to giving it a go when mine arrives. Happy birthday from Emily. Thank you so much, Emily. And that, you know, that's all I'm about here. It's encouraging people to try something different, but to find something that you find is your creative space mm. and that you enjoy. So I'm going to do that. Then we're going to, I do, you know what, I need a half and half board, John, don't I? Not, not a turnover board, I yes. need a half and half board for this. So again, making sure that I'm nice and flat. Then we are going to go along line that joins on to seven. Mm -hmm. And we're going to trim all of this off. And that is all I'm going to do on this particular piece because okay. I want to move on to... Oh, yeah, yeah, because we're just over halfway. Yeah, yeah we're about halfway. So basically, do you just do the whole of the tree there? Oh, here you go. <laughs> Say nothing, John. I do, I do try and do this Blue Peter thing. Uh -huh. So this is effectively this tree, okay? Yeah. So... This is the final piece on, so this is tree four. Just mark everything up, yeah. e even if you're just marking it in pencil so you can rub it out again, or a Frixian pen, whatever. Just keep marking things, because there are lots of pieces here. So you now um, need to just finish off this to make sure you've gotten yours, um, your outline, exact, your, your fabric, the exact size of your foundation pattern. 
so I'm just stitching everything off. Now, if, again, we have included the foundation uh, patterns on ordinary paper, some people like to transfer that onto greaseproof paper. Uh -huh. Choice is yours. This one happens to have found, happens to have some greaseproof paper on, so I can show you. Right. What you're going to do once you have done all of this, given a good press, it's then time to take the papers out. And oh, so you don't sew them together with papers in? I yeah. don't. Right, okay. Um, it's too much of a fiddle because we have joining strips between them and those joining strips are about an inch wide and you start getting a lot of bulk into your okay, seams. So we're getting rid of the paper so now. So get rid of the paper now. Now, just tug gently. Tug gently. Is that a yeah. bit of an... Okay, so you're tearing this away. This can be very satisfying. And messy. It irritates me. I just don't like this as a technique. This <laughs> is not my technique. <laughs> this is not for me. Maybe you should have sent one of the ladies from the shop I should have done, shouldn't it. I? Yeah. yeah. Um, look, I, in the right place, this is a wonderful technique. It is very... I like to do things once. Yeah. And this, you're, you're repeating process. But anyway, you're tearing all of this out. Get, yeah. You know, get your frustration out on yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. Oh, getting, Hannah um, needs one of those today. Uh, yeah. Cherie says, happy birthday from New Zealand, Yvonne. Oh, my gosh. We've just hit lockdown from tonight. You know oh. what that means? More sewing, more gardening. Love this quilt. Wish we could get it here. Maybe, Cherie, we'll send her to New Zealand. She could oh. do it out there as well. Oh, I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. Oh. And, you know, um, you know that this show that I'm doing in Belfast, I'm yeah, doing yeah. it with two other ladies. And one of those is a New Zealander by birth. She came across here and married an Ulster man, so she's been here for many, many years. Um, so I've always wanted to take a trip to uh, New Zealand. If you watch the next show, we'll talk more about Yvonne's show during the next show, because I know she's got lots to do, but there's a show in Belfast from 1, 2, 3 of September. Tickets available now. Right. So. Lots of trees. Repeat yep. making trees until right. you have a total of six trees okay. made. Okay. And I then, when I was uh, redoing this at the weekend, I then set all of that to the side and simply had out in front of me my full-size pattern for the shop and the... Um, associated background uh, elements. Uh -huh. Now look out for some subliminal uh, advertising in a minute. Oh yeah. Well, I do kind of live at my shop whenever I'm not. Uh, um, 21 years now I've been in no. that. <laughs> so it's like... Party? Well, maybe, maybe, maybe 25 years will do oh, something, okay, do you then. reckon? Crikey. Yeah, I know. So having remembered that this blue piece is the first piece you're going to cut out of the large piece of, of blue fabric mm -hmm. that you have in your pack. You've actually gotten 24 inches of blue fabric across the width of the fabric in that pack. Uh -huh. So this is the first thing you need to cut. It's the biggest piece. So um, one measurement that I noticed we hadn't put in the instructions, um, inch and a half up from the bottom of the blue. Right. No, I beg your pardon, inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter from the edge of the blue is to position the building. Right. So this is the the main piece of the shop. Okay. Okay. So you want to just position that. Now all of the work that you're going to do initially is going to be on this cream piece of fabric. Um this is where you get to make it your own. Follow the uh, alphabetical listing. So A is your cream piece. Uh -huh. B is your roof. Remember to get your roof tiles the right way round whenever you're cutting out the, the roof. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. there's tiles on, uh, printed they, on there. You can't see it very well on our screen. There are tiles printed yeah, on there. Yeah, so just make sure your tiles are coming down the right way. Then set your roof aside and you're now looking at how you're going to deal with the uh, windows, doors, uh, awnings, etc. So 
the door, the blue piece of fabric. Uh -huh. Leave, leave the paper on the. These have been bond webbed, so you, it stops them fraying around the edges. But leave the paper on the back of the door to do the next piece. Right. What you're going to do is piece C is the door, piece D is the window. So cut D out with bond web on it. Peel the paper off the back of that, apply it onto the door, uh -huh. and press it on. Right, which is why you're keeping the paper on the door. Otherwise, you're going to have a messy ironing board. Yeah. and we don't like that. We don't. It's very... So then, simply a couple of lines of machine stitching to create the window panes uh -huh. in the door window. A um, couple of lines of stitching to... Uh, do it by hand or machine, I did it by machine, um, to create a little hanger for your open sign. Now, to create your open sign, you need to embroider that before you put the bond web on the back. Of course. Okay, then put some bond web on the back, cut out the little shape, and Hopefully, that is the situation I find myself in at this point. Right. Thank goodness I wasn't trying to do this with my grandchildren yesterday. No. No. Did we, you have them over yesterday? I did. We made bunting instead yesterday. Aww. Alphabet bunting. So that uh, Isaac, who is heading off to school soon, gets the opportunity to do as, as our base oh. says. Aww. Yeah. Oh, oh! I did, didn't I? Oops, Oops, don't let Elliot know. It's all right, I got it off in time. That's right. what you don't do, okay? <laughs> so I now have a door that is ready to pop onto. There we go, now the door has to be down on the ground. Uh -huh. So it has to be down at the edge of your yeah, otherwise it'd be the same level as the windowsill, wouldn't it? That'd yeah. be silly. So at, uh, that's all laid out in the diagram here. Okay, so I'm going to just set that there. And yeah, definitely need a bigger space here. Yes, you sure. do. I do. I, I, um, let me try and get myself into some kind of order here. At home, of course, I have a, chop, I have a chopping board, a chopping board, <laughs> and <laughs> the, the sewing machine, and an ironing board, and another space. So uh, yeah, and you don't have to worry about staying in shop the whole time. You can wander around as much as you like there. Here, you've, we've got to have you where you are. So um, let's attach the door on. Uh huh. Now the. Uh, this would then be stitched around either with satin stitch, a blanket stitch, a zigzag stitch, whichever you're most comfortable doing, mm -hmm. um, or by hand or machine. Okay. The alphabetical listing shows you which order you need to be attaching pieces. Right. So if I just go over the layout for the second window and if you pop your cream piece on top of that on top of your light box uh -huh. you've got a really it, yeah. easy um, level of construction um, because life is too difficult why don't I just do that if I put a ruler there then I know that is where I'm going to uh -huh. need to put so now F's come before G's on the little construction here. Yeah. So that means I'm going to be tucking. Oh, I see, yeah. That there and there. Now I'm not going to uh, stick these in place. I've got the papers behind it still. And then that's over the top. And I need to just push that over a bit. Now, I have obviously started to personalise this a bit. Mm -hmm. um, 
So it's as simple as that, okay? You just right. align yourself. Now, that actually needs to be a little bit further up. If you don't have a light box, you can just use your ruler to make sure that you are level on both sides, cool. yeah? So there's always ways and means if you don't have the ability, if you don't have the gadget or for whatever reason, yeah. okay? And I suppose you have to be careful you don't go into your quarter inch. Oh no, because it's going to be appliqued that. It's not going to be so sewn, is, is it? A, so it doesn't so matter about that, yeah? This is uh, appliqued yeah. on using whichever stitch you are happiest with. Yeah. Some of it is so fine, you might even just want to be uh, using a, a standard running stitch uh -huh. on your sewing machine. Um, so that is what your construction is going to look like. Again, I have embroidered, and you need to embroider on the back of, oh, sorry, you need to embroider the cream fabric, generally before you start popping all of this this on, yeah. yeah. So what I've done to make sure we can stick down this piece is I've only, I have cut pieces of Bonda web and simply put them about a depth of a half inch around the edge. Uh -huh. So I'm not impinging on any of the area where I need to to be stitching. So that's the, that's the back of uh, my embroidery. Uh -huh. Um, find the middle of your shop, find the middle of your background and align them, okay? Distance between your edge and the bottom of the shop is an inch and a quarter. Um, make sure that your pots are level. We've used the same fabric for the pots as we've used for the roof. Okay. So we've got that nice range of colour, so pulling your eye in, but got some little um, highlights at the side. Um, you have a reasonable amount of fabric left from your trees. Right. So, choice is yours as to what colour you want to have your little bay trees. Okay. Yeah. So, I've... Um, oh, that's nice. You know, I've just cut a couple of... Oh, you've gone a bit off-piece there. Well, this is the second one, isn't it? You know, <laughs> I'm supposed to even green. <laughs> well, precisely. Um, perhaps um, just to point out that on the sample we have done French knots. Right. On the uh, on those little trees, you don't have to. Well, you got different fabric to me on yours. Is that that one? It's that one. It's the. Just it's a bit yeah. darker on your on your sample. No, well, just it. Uh, but as I say, you have a you have a range of you're going to have some little bits. Okay. Left. So what are those little French knots then? Bay berries, are they? Well, it's whatever those little trees want to be. It could be a tomato plant. Oh, okay. It, it could be a could, small. Yeah. It could be a miniature apple or right, something. Then. You know. Yeah. I'm just having crazy trees. I thought for myself. Now, where you can really have fun in the sample, we have simply stitched some window panes on the uh, on the windows uh -huh. here but you can put whatever you want of course. i you know i'm sure some ladies are going to pop a little cat on there oh yeah i i am going to have a a window box across what have me. you got is this it's a replica of your shop what have you got in the windows of your shop your real one well the outside of the shop is red yeah and uh, we decorate the windows so currently there are bags in one window um I think we have a blue window as well. Mm. Just so, so you blue. could almost put little rolls of fabric and things like that in the window. If you've called it Village Fabric, you can make it a cake shop and put cakes in there. Anything you want, this can't you, it. really? I, I thought there would be quite a few, uh, maybe teacups for some people, because it could be a nice little... So tea, uh, yeah. yeah you know? if on, uh, no, uh, uh, Hannah is going to do a photocopy of you on Threads Fabric. So it's a picture of you and she's going to sew you in the window. Oh, first. my. Oh, no. I... Waving like this. <laughs> But whatever you want, I'm really looking forward to seeing what ladies are going to do. Well, sewers are going yeah, to do yeah, with yeah. this. And I have, of course, also got my little butterfly ready to go. Oh. I've cut a little tiny, tiny butterfly out. So, isn't that just... Oh. Yeah. And this, this is what makes it easier to, to make up the samples. Yeah, of course. So that's, that's the plan. Right. 
Do I need to chatter on a little bit? No, 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 no. I was, I, go, I was just going to ask a question, and I can't remember what I was going to do. Right, but what I'll do is I'll just recap everything that's for sale, and then I don't think we'll have any minutes left because. Um, but uh, so then, no, oh, no, I know what I was going to say was so then, when you've got your six trees and your shop, do you literally just you choose, or you can do whatever, put them in any order you want to put them in. You just make a row like you have done the last few months. Yeah. Um, this is all that um, I have a few trees completed Oh, here. crikey. Did you make the ladies in the shop do those? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, Linda, who has played a big part in designing this, uh -huh. um, has, enjoys foundation piecing. Oh, good. So um, we have, because these can be biased edges, we did think it would be a better uh, option to put some straight pieces oh sashing for stability yeah exactly yes and so that is let me see if i do that i think that is one side but again it's your it's your yep. design you could put four on one side and two on the other if you wanted and things couldn't you oh yeah, Ooh, yeah. you just need to make sure that your final width it's 40 inches. Of course. So um, you make sure that you trim back the piece of fabric that we tell you for the uh, central shop. Yeah. Because whenever you're working in embroidery, machine applique, whatever on that, that background piece can warp a little bit. So we always get you to cut it a smidgen bigger so uh -huh. that you can trim back and some sashing between the trees. You have a total of six trees, but you know, perhaps, perhaps you want to arrange your trees. But you definitely need to put the sashing in between, don't you, for stability? You do. And to make it the right size, obviously. And to make it the right yeah. size. Um, I suppose one, two, three, four. I suppose you could, I'm not sure you're gonna have enough fabric to okay. put another tree in. But no, if fit you, it. Well, if you took the sashing out, if you were confident oh, that your <coughs> piecing you was going <coughs> to be okay, but yeah. I say not, that's not for a beginner, but yeah. if it's someone who's doing this just because they, they like the design, then yeah, obviously play around with what we've done. And, and just, as you say, we like, we, we love to see what you've done oh, with, with your versions. Absolutely, because I know there've been some, there, uh, there's a couple of psychedelic cats around sitting on the fence. Oh, are there? Yeah. Best uh, place to be. Well, absolutely. Anyway, block five, block five, row five is available today. It's that one, thirty-one ninety-nine. It is the shop and the trees, or the trees and the shop. Make sure you check out on yours, because obviously there's only a certain amount of them. Thirty-one ninety-nine for row five. Now, if you've just seen this for the first time, you're thinking, oh, I wish I'd been here four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Well, you don't have to worry, because we've got all of them so far. We've got all of them leading up to row five. So today is row five. We also have row four, which was the, um, oh, hang on, the houses. Here they are. Row four of the houses. That's still available. You don't get both of these. It's, that's the row. That's the close up of it, though. They're the four different blocks, and that's how you put them together. Thirty-one ninety-nine. That's the row four of houses. Then you've got row three, which is the flowers and the applique. And that one, you get lots of threads in that one. Oh, sorry, there's a, there's a light, isn't there? That's, that's there you go. So that's block of the month flower row, thirty-two ninety-nine. And then last but not least, the very first one, we did both of them. We did the fence and we did the grass uh, as a deal where you get two rows, two rows of the month. So you get the one at the bottom here, which is like your courtyard steps and your um, log cabin. And then you get your strip there of your garden fence. 49.99 that one, if you've missed out on those. And you have your needles and your... Oh, it, uh, yeah, what I need to say, this one is... Yeah, I was opening this one, that's why the iPad went flying over the yeah. place. So you do get a quick and pick, you get sewing machine needles, you get thread, you get everything, in, and that's in row one. So you've got a whole pack of needles to get you through the whole project, really. And then all your instructions and everything like that. And it's beautiful, top-quality fabric as well. 
No cutting corners at all. Right, so Yvonne will be back in an hour's time where we're doing uh, two Christmas projects. Uh, we are doing the Robin and we are doing the, oh, look me, the Nightscape. Now, we've decided that one could also be called Winter. If you don't want to call it Christmas. If you're not interested in Christmas Day, you can call it Winter as well, that one. It's lovely, isn't it? Uh, so that's Yvonne in now's time. Don't go anywhere, though. I'll be back in uh, about three or four minutes, and I've got a oh, workroom tools and bits and bobs like that. We will see you. Thank you, Yvonne. We will see you in about four minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine. Um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her, she's, uh, she, she's I just love her, her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them, I've got one here, um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theater, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough. Um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com 
and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! You're right, Han. Oh, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Uh, anyway, I've got gorgeousness going on here. Gorgeousness, gorgeousness. Uh, uh, any questions, get them in. Uh, if you want to send messages for Yvonne for her birthday in the next hour, then please do. We didn't get to read half of them out in that hour because it was, she was very, very busy and concentrating. But in the next hour, she said she's, she'll have less to do. So she, she'd like to hear from you. She said, do you let me talk in the next hour? Right, OK, so we're going to do uh, all sorts of bits and bobs in this hour. Sewing for Absolute Beginners book. That's here, right by my side here. So this is by Caroline Smith. Uh, Sewing for the Absolute Beginner. So it's, oh, now this is nice because this one's got lots and lots and lots of tips in it, this one. So I'll have a quick show to see. So look, you see, you've got here, you've got the intro introduction, fabric know-how, equipment, hand stitching and sewing machine basics. Then you've got seams, hems, patterns and scaling. Then you've got some projects, simple pillows, table runners, tech, tab top curtains, tablecloth bolsters. Then they teach you mitered corners, buttons, loops, ties and zips. Then you've got other projects like duvet cover, cube, roll up shade, uh, ch children's TP um, and a pocket storage. I don't know what that is. Pocket storage. I have to look at that. Remember page 94. Then we've got bias binding, bias strips and piping. Then we have peg bag, apron, nappy, diaper stacker and eyelet curtains. Then we have applique using trims. And then we've got duffel bag, cafe curtain, mini mean bag, mean bag, bean bag. <laughs> A mean bag. It's like a bean bag, but mean. And tote bag. Then we've got quilting techniques. Then we have placemats, oven mitts, beaded throw. See what I mean? There's so much going on in here for the beginner. Oh, look, there's all your projects. There's your introduction. Fabric know-how, all the things I just told you about. Then look, look how easily and how well presented it is for you to see everything that you need to know. That machine there is a very basic machine. Uh, and, oh, and also, if you are tuning in for the 6.80 this afternoon, or 12 o'clock, and sadly it's not arrived, somewhere, it's somewhere in transit. We have no idea where it should have been here by now. And you've got hems, you've got blanket stitch, lovely big pictures, patterns and scaling. Where's the project? Here we go, simple pillows. It's very scandy, isn't it, that one? Then you've got... Um, Table runner. Well, it's brilliant because if you are just starting off, we just presume that everybody knows what we mean. Table runner with a straight edge, table runner with a pointed edge. Then you've got your tab top curtains. So it's got... Yeah, practical projects, not just small projects there. Then you've got your bolster pin, pillow. Hannah loves a bolster. Then you've got to teach you how to do mitered corners, you see. We might get this for Janice. Then we've got how to do buttons. Loops, ties and tabs. Oh, actually, I meant to say to you, will you look up when Janice... Not now, but will you look up when Janice is in later? 
Because it seems to be forever, and people were asking me over the weekend where she was. She's definitely coming back. I just don't know what date she's on, that's all. Duvet cover for a kiddie's room there. Oh, that's nice. Big cube. Look what they've got inside. It's covering a cube, really. Oh, they're nice. Look, roll-up shades, because they're really... You know what? Blinds are quite frightening, aren't they? But that's actually a really, really lovely way of doing your first blind. No, not blinds are frightening. The making of blinds is very frightening. <laughs> oh, somebody's heading for a metaphorical slap of the legs. Look. What? A metaphorical? I'm not going to do it. Smack the back of your legs, but not. Bias binding. There, look, look. Sweet, isn't it? Oh, nice little peg bag. I've got a peg bag that Crazy Lorraine made for me out of Tula Pink fabric, and it's, uh, I use it in my house, in my office. Put receipts in it, because I, I haven't got a washing line, you see. That's put your nappies or your diapers in, Hannah. Eyelet curtains, applique. There you've got your trims. It's a really lovely book, isn't it? Covering lots and lots of very simple ideas there. Uh, oh, again, should be £12.99. £9.99. £9.99. Should be £12.99. Okay, single figures left on that one already. Single figures already. I think we've got squirrels in the roof. Oh, can you hear them? Can you hear them? Oh no, Princess. Morning, John. Bit late this morning. I'll be mad if I sleep through my alarm tomorrow. Yeah, eight o'clock, the dolls tomorrow, Princess. Don't be late. Right. Right, next. Now, Karen bought this last time I had it on. She says it's brilliant. She says it's absolutely brilliant. The Dressmaking Technique Bible. A complete guide to fashion, sewing, techniques. That last one was more like uh, for things around the house, wasn't it? Household bits and bobs. Whereas this is your dressmaker. Love it because it's on a ring by just so you can make it nice and flat. It's Why is it bring it back? No, no, no. Oh, oh, hang on. Right, it's not the ring binder I thought it was. Yeah, like a final fact. Rather, don't bend it back. She'll ruin it if you do that. Sorry, my bad. Right, look. Textiles, fabric manipulation, techniques, embellishment. There's so many things in this book for dressmakers which are fantastic. This is how to use the book. Getting started. Marking tools, measuring tools. Overlockers, doing an overlocker later on today at 12 o'clock. 14 99 this book. Needles and pins, thread, haberdashery. How to use a pattern. Adapting a pattern, which is very, very useful, isn't it? Uh, large tummy, small tummy, large seat, small seat, waist, large bust, princess line, small bust, back adjustment. It's got everything, and it makes them simple. Makes it uh, so doable, this book. It's really good. Then you've got your stitch director with all the different <laughs> stitches. Running stitch. Double stitch, slip stitch, hem stitch, <laughs> lock stitch, ladder stitch. I'm sorry, I'm giggling. It's just one of those days. I'm not going back. Overcasting, hairy bone stitch. At 14 99 slip tacking, tacking, pad stitch. Oh, they're pad stitch. You do that in um, tailoring. Uh, anyway, these are machine stitches now. Fantastic, because it covers every single... We often say, oh, put a line of stay stitching in. Don't explain what it means. This is what it means. Stretch stitch for stretch fabrics. Tacking, blind hemming, everything on the machine. They are just... Uh, it's not just for a beginner, this book. It's if you're going back. You used to be a seamstress or a sewist or a sewer, and you're going back to you think, oh, what was that? Again? How do I do a blind hem again? Can't remember. It's all here. It's all here for you, see? Then we've got Textile Rectorator. I love this because this has all the different fabrics in it. I'm saying all. It has an awful lot of fabrics here. But tells you what they use for, how to use it, sewing suggestions, everything like that. 
It's a really, really good little book. I mean, it goes on for ages, the fabrics. Oh, hang on, let's go there. Then we go on to seams, you see. So you've got your plain seam, your French seam. And it's funny, I went for a walk with Dulcie uh, on Sunday. And Dulcie and I went to Wimbledon School of Art together and did the costume course. And we were talking about the very first lesson with Fran Bristow. And we had to do seams. We had a piece of calico and Fran would say, go away and do a French seam. Go away and do this seam. Go away and do that seam. And we kept doing it. And all the other people on the course were already trained seamstresses. And I had no idea what I was doing. So I kept getting sent back to my desk going, no, do it again. No, do it again. Anyway, the frightening thing is, was 40 years ago next week, or the week after, beginning of September, 40 years ago that we went. That's when Dulce, and I said to Dulce, I can, sm I can still smell the, the workshop, the room, you know, that we were taught in, the studio that we were taught in and everything. And it's, it's frightening, isn't it? How that much time can fly back. But you can remember, and we started talking about all the different people in the class with us and everything. And it was just, I wonder where they are now. I wonder if they're all grown up yet, because me and Dulcie aren't. Anyway, all the different seams, seam finishing and things like that. Then we box pleats. I think this book is brilliant. Darts, pleats, quarter pinning, sewing in elastics, everything like that. Gathering and easing. I mean, it's, it's just brilliant. Carries up cover sewing. Then we've got techniques, you see, putting waistbands in. Elasticated belt carriers, two-piece waistbands. There's so much crammed into this little book. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. A yoke and how to put a yoke in. Strapless boned bodices. We've got shoestring straps, wider straps, bound neckline, halter necks. You know what I mean? It's just, it covers everything as well, because it covers like evening gowns, but also t-shirts and things like that. And that's how to do your yoke there, collar stand. I noticed Derek was wearing another shirt last night with a collar stand. He won't be watching because they're back at school today. I mean, it's just got so much in. There's lining of a dress. And then, and then we change to a different colour here. Hang on. So there we go. Lining a Chanel style jacket. Lining a jacket. Trouser pockets. Then we've got embellishment ideas. Like couching, fringing, quilting. Okay, brilliant. Right. I, I just need to explain something to you before we go any further. The graphics are broken again. Everything is available on pre-order. I'll carry on showing you things, but everything is available on pre-order. So what you need to do is go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Click on Watch the Show Live. And then scroll down, you'll see two columns. There's the column, today's show deals are all the things I've shown so far, right? And if they're sold out, it'll say sold out. Then if you go to pre-order, these are all the things that are still to come, all things that we didn't quite get to do in the 8 o'clock hour. But you can still buy them, still buy them. So there's this hour, there's this hour there now, you see. Books and clappers and the cork sold out, I'm afraid. Everything's on pre-order, so what you need to do is you need to click and add it to basket because we can't put, we can't put in the graphics at the moment. Till Elliot sorts out, we can't put in the, we can't put in the graphics at the moment, you see. So I carry on talking and I'll tell you to go there. Or, if we're on something, so what do you say I'm moving to next, you say? The clapper, right? So if I'm talking about this, you don't want to go on the web, you can just ring the call centre, then we're allowed to put the number up. Oh. No, I can't put the number up. Can't put the number in. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Do what, sorry? Oh, Willie. Okay. There we go. We were only talking about how that was an issue, didn't we, earlier? Anyway. There's the number. 0800 001 4433. That's the number to ring. That's the number to ring. Or you can just go on the website to go to pre-order to buy it. Now, if you've not got your clapper yet, why ever not? Why ever not? This is brilliant. This is your point presser here, and this is your clapper here. <clears throat> it's made of hard wood with a very, very close grain. And what you do is, when you want, if you want a perfect pleat, a perfect seam, she used a lot in tailorings. So when I first saw it, when we did, when we trained to do tailoring at college. What you do is you iron your garment full steam, full steam, full steam, full steam. And then literally, it can, doesn't have to be a garment, it could be denim. On the, you know on the bottom of jeans when you're turning up jeans? And you get to that really, really clumpy bit that doesn't ever fold over. Well, this, you iron lots and lots of steam. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Straight on, like, oh, it's a bit loud that, sorry. Straight onto there. And what happens is, is the wood, a bit like the wool, a bit like the wool pressing mat, the wood absorbs the water 
but leaves the heat in the seam. Do you know what I mean? So it really, really creates a really lovely, uh, sharp, sharp seam. What, where, in, where in curtains would you need it, Han? Oh, she's gone. She's gone. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Um, but anyway, it's brilliant. You know, like for denim, for wool worsteds, for any fabric like that. Um, don't use it for when you're doing a first, when you're piecing a block together. Because you, if you use steam, it all, it dis, not distorts the fabric, but it fixes the fabric there. Use a dry iron for steam. Then when you've finished it, use a, use a steam iron and then that will just f set it really. Um, but it is a, br this one's made of beech wood. It has to be a, a, a wood with a very, very close grain. It's £19.99. Oh, hang on. Yeah, £19.99. The point presser and clapper in beech wood. Oh, it's working again. Thank you, Elliot. There you go. There you go. £19.99. It's lovely and... Lovely and smooth. What are you saying, uh, Emma? So it was just as well. It was 19 99 John Scott. Anyway, this is brilliant, isn't it? Uh, if you've not got one, I don't think you'll realise. It's one of those tools where you think, oh, I don't need one of those, don't need one of those. And then when you, it's like an overlocker. And then when you get them, you think, oh, I haven't had one of these. I needed one of these years ago. Fantastic if you're doing bag making, little children's uh, clothes. You just slip them over the edge there to get the points. Point presses on there. You can use this as a little seam, you know, just pressing open a seam there using steam. I know, £19.99. Fab you less. Hell, it's muttering now. We had lots of ladies messaging earlier, Elliot. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Right, I'm going to move on. Right, so I've got the ham and I've got the sleeve uh, presser now. Let's do the ham first. This is brilliant if you're doing dressmaking <coughs> or anything with, a, oh, excuse me, <coughs> anything with a seam that's just not, if you're doing a dart or something like that, something just needs a little bit of shaping. Again, you can steam, steam, steam. The sawdust inside there always absorbs at the, um, at the steam and takes it away from the garment. Now, in the past, I've only ever had a ham that's made of like calico or twill like this because you didn't want to colour. This is completely colour fast. This won't come out onto your garment if you're using your garment at all. It's really, really good. Now what you do is you just dries naturally. You let the um, sawdust inside draw, just dry naturally. Brilliant for children's clothes, brilliant for shoulders, brilliant for darts, brilliant for princess seams. Anything that's got a bit of shape to it, you can put the garment round it and then press around like that. Uh, and it works really, really well. Um, every, every workroom should have one, really. But if that one's, if you're thinking, oh no, I, I want to do dolls' clothes or children's clothes or jeans, got, oh, got to doll tomorrow, we? first thing in the morning. Polly, Dolly, Duda at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Right, so this is brilliant if you do trouser hems or cuffs on jackets, eight pounds and nine, ten pence. It works on the same principle. It's got your sawdust inside. Uh, press away as much like with as much steam as you want and it just absorbs all the steam away from the garment and really good if you're like doing hems on trousers it's a bit like having a free arm on your sewing machine it's the equivalent of that the pressing equivalent of that sewing for absolute beginners the book sold out and there's only nine of the dressmaking technique book left well done well done for getting those Right, we're going to do a bag making by no bag making boutique. You mean bag making boutique? Well, the Bible's is by a different author. That's why. Yeah, here we go. The bag boutique by Debbie von Grabler Crozier. It's only fourteen ninety nine. This book. It's a lovely book from Search Press. There she is, looking very happy. This bag here, very very popular shape. That one. Right, so here we go. 20 brides and beautiful bags to sew. <coughs> Victoria Pete knows her really well. Hmm. Right, here we go. So what materials you might need, trims and embellishment, threads, all the things you need to sew. Right, this is important, right? So at the beginning, <coughs> excuse me, it has these techniques like the installing of a magnetic clasp, installing a twist fastener. These may appear later on in your instructions, but you just refer back to do that. So the magnetic clasp or the twist fastener. Um, and then the equipment you might need. I'm not sure why you need crochet hooks. 
Oh. Techniques, seaming, patchwork, binding, putting a zip in, making box corners. See, it's got everything that you might need, bias binding, piping, patch pockets. See, all the different, there we go, embellishment. This is what you'll need your um, crochet hook for, maybe. Felt flowers, embroidery. Lazy Daisy embroidery there, applique, French knots, crocheted flowers. That's a, that's not a, that's a strange picture, isn't it? Adopt adapting charms, not adopting. <laughs> Don't adopt the charms. Adapting charms to make brooches. You see, we haven't even gone to the bags yet, and we've got so much. Now we're onto the bags. Here we go. We've got the Lawler. We've got the Liesel. We have the Shirley. It's a lovely big bag, that one. Then we have the Tilda. It's very popular shape, that one. Hannah. So Claudia. Claudia's a bit posher than Hannah, isn't it? Lotta. See, so there's that shape again, that very lovely um, kind of handle shape there. Then you've got the Mina. Anna Lena. I don't think there's an Emma, is there? Margaret. Krista. Ingrid. Hannah loves this one. She really, really wants that bag. The Ina, Gertrude, <coughs> very colourful. <coughs> Whenever I show this page, I always talk about the house on uh, Eel Pie Island. It doesn't have flowers in the garden, it just has lots and lots of plastic dolls like that coming out the mud. Trixie, Sylvia, Daughter, Kirsten, it's nice, isn't that one? Helga. Oh, I went, talking for Helga, I went to buy tickets for Cabaret in London, the show Cabaret in London, you know, with Eddie Redmayne in. I'm not buying them. Karen? Well, they were £325 each to go to the theatre. Um, and then all of your templates that you need, your full-size templates in the back there. It's a brilliant book, this, for £14.99. And she's a very, very expertise, uh, uh, expertise, expert bag designer is uh, Debbie von Gabler Crozier. Twenty, there's twenty patterns in there for fourteen ninety nine. No, back dad's five already. Well, you're very, you're loving, you're loving the um, the books today. So the dressmaking bible, this one. There's four of those left. This one sold out. So you're loving your books today. Four of those. They'll go. I mean, I'm not saying they'll be gone, gone. We'll get more. We'll get more, I'm sure, if we can. I'm sure we'll get more. Oh, I like this book. This one's called the Moda Blockheads book. Now, these are shown in very traditional fabrics. But if you imagine these blocks... I mean, if you love traditional, then that's fabulous. But if you want more contemporary, just look at the plink of the blocks in bright, beautiful colours. It's 48 quilt long block setting here for finished quilts. Look, I'll show you. These are lovely, aren't they? This is um, Lisa's. That's Joe's. That one's Jan, Betsy, Lynn. And Carrie, I love Carrie's. Right, but look, what it is then, it shows you all the different blocks. So there's your Aunt Dinah. There's your Forex. It tells you what you need to cut out, how you put it together. Now, I just need to check, are they all 8-inch blocks, these? I can't remember, I'm just going to check now. No, six inch. Six, though these would be the measurement for a finished six inch block. Perfect for um, my little project at the moment. 
Whirly gig. Then we've got B skep. Coronation. Turnstile. See, look, they're not all they're not all piecing. See, that must be applique, mustn't it? That one. Applique. Then you've got square in a square in a square in a square. Then you've got your, <coughs> excuse me, flower and basket. Now you see again, that's made with very, very traditional fabrics. There's a traditional mode of fabrics. If you were to make that in bright, bright, like um, cave fabric, something like that, that would look completely different, wouldn't it? Lisa Star, Puzzled. Bowtie Quartet. Ohio Star Variation. Lawyer's Puzzle. Then you've got your flags. Tea block, corn, no beans. Corn, no beans. Uh, half square triangles, look. Trial, trail, trail of tears, trail of tears. Devil's claw, Hannah. Night flight, the flangies. Uh, flangies variation, variation. Then we've got Rocky Mountain puzzle. Then you've got bird, you see, then you've got birdhouse, which is all applique, isn't it? Winnikin Star. Basically, you get 50, twice the friendship, look. That's Emma and Hannah. Big star, little star. Anyway, look, there's 50 different blocks in here. Oh, now, I do, I do, I do find one just a tiny little bit dubious. I know. Anyway. So there are 50, there are, oh yeah, I couldn't say who it is. Jan, Jan did that one. Anyway, look, so you've got 50 blocks, but then what they do is they tell you how you can put the blocks together into quilt plans. So there we got Betsy's blockhead quilt, piece by Betsy and uh, quilted by Maggie. And it tells you how she's put it all together to create that look. And then it's got all of them, all the designer, Joe's, Carries, she's put, she's put, Carrie's put flying geese between them all, look. Bag Boutique is now sold out. And there are two left of the Dressmaker Bible. Oh, that's nice. Now you see, Jan, where's the dog? Where's the dog and cat? Oh, there they are. Coming close, Em. I had to put them on there. Oh, yes. Well spotted, Hannah. So she's done a plique in each of the corners, a plique in each of the corners, and then all of her, her pieced blocks all round. And then that'll be a plique in the middle there, won't it? But that's not six inch, is it, that one? That's, what, six, twelve, eighteen inch, though, that is. Oh, yeah, look there. <laughs> it's eBay, it didn't need to count, it's written in the book. The blocks are six inch square, the centre applique block is 80 and the finished quilt is 54 and a half by 60 and a half. Anyway, that's all their different ideas in there. You see now, Lisa's is quite nice because it looks like they're all floating, but they've got a little star look in between them all. In she comes. Oh yeah. She's just stuck to a colour theme, isn't she? Yeah, Hannah. Hannah's very um, deep today. We could all be given the same tools, but come out with a finished arc at the end. She wants to do a Noah's Ark. You know, don't they? Oh, it's not there because it's not Christmas anymore. You know the nativity that we did the other day, Rebecca Reed's nativity. She said to him, she went, could you do the ark? And then we could do, each week we could do two animals. Every animal ever. Oh, now uh, Pedro the Armadillo at the zoo wasn't well. 18, 19. Oh, it's Tuesday, is it? It's tonight. Episode two tonight. I will, I'll be in bed. I didn't sleep well at all last night, so I need to go to bed early tonight. I don't have blind. I don't have blinds in my bedroom. But I think Jeffrey next door was up very late clanking around in their gym. And then he left at half past four this morning. He normally leaves at half past five at the same time as me. And he drives... Um, like, what's that thing Elliot drives? No, <laughs> not the car, the big Land Rover GP thing, right? And I was, I was lying in bed, I heard the car, his car start, and I was like, oh no, it must be half past five. 
So I was like, anyway, it was Hopper's fault. So either he got it wrong. I don't know. Well, no, I, th I thought it was him coming back from the night before, but it was definitely him going out to work. 1899. Mo de Blockhead's book by various contributors. <laughs> Lisa, Betsy, Lynn, Joe, Jan and Carrie. I know you notice the dogs don't make it to the front cover or the back. Oh. Okay. Now, I know we shouldn't be talking about Christmas. Well, we can because we had Christmas in August last week, didn't we? This is a brilliant present. Brilliant present. Now, if you go to the caravan or to the motorhome, wherever, you take your sewing away with you. This is a brilliant, brilliant little kit. Look at the price, right? $19.99. So for that, you don't just get one of these, you get all three of these for 19 99 You get the cutting board, first of all. It's inches one side, centimetres on the other side, self-healing cutting mat. You've got your 45 degree line, you've got your 60 degree line. Goes up to a 16 inches by 10 inches. Keep flat. Keep out of the sun, don't iron on it. I know. And then you've got your little ruler. It's in inches. 12 by 6. You've got your 45 degree line there, your 60 degree line there. You've got your increments in quarter of an inch on there. Yeah, yeah, these kits, we've seen these kits between 30 and 40 pounds. 39 was the most expensive one I saw. Yeah, don't worry. And then, rotary cutter. Now that's about, that's worth like 12.95 straight away, isn't it? If not more. So it's got soft touch on the side here. You've got your guard there. You've got your 45 millimeter rotor, uh, rotary um, blade, blade in there. Um, now, I think it, it's left-handed and right-handed because it comes out the top. The blade comes out the top, so it can be used by left-handed and right-handed people. That whole kit for 19 99 Now, if you know somebody who wants to start on their sewing journey, you know somebody who's, like I say, going away to the caravan or the motorhome, Fewer than 30 of these left at the moment, just so you know. I don't know about talking about Christmas. I've just finished another Christmas present for a relative, a 14-inch cushion, says Carol. Well, no, no, it's brilliant. It is brilliant. Emma saying, you're very prepared, Carol. She normally nips out to the petrol station on Christmas Eve afternoon, slightly drunk, and thinking, what can I buy for my boyfriend? She might not have that issue this Christmas. She'll be on the M1. M6, sorry, M6. Now, you're going up the M6 in October, aren't you? Well, he might be now. I don't know, what what'd you, what'd you do at Christmas, Emma? <laughs> oh, actually, yes, yeah, yeah, because I've already been asked to do Christmas. Might change. Who knows? Things change overnight, don't they? Here, so it could, might change. Might not be me on Christmas Day. Yeah. I've even been known to re-gift a Christmas present. Hang on, I've even been known to re-gift a Christmas present for somebody else at Christmas. What? The year later, Carol. I'm like that when I get presents. I go, yeah, charity shop, keep charity shop, keep. Do well. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, quarter of the stock's gone. Just so you know. Uh, we plan, we'll obviously plan to get more of those in, but who knows, because, you know, my garden furniture's still not arrived, has it? The man came to measure my doors yesterday, though. Oh, and he was so lovely. Graham, he was called. He had long blonde hair, down not here. Uh, no, no, and he had uh, um, carpenter's hands, you know, carpenter's hands. <laughs> and uh, he... Uh, we were talking about something and I said, I am ordering an awning as well, but I decided not to order it now, I'm having it in the new year. He went, oh, I'm the same with my flying. And I was like, oh, you're buying an aeroplane? And he went, no, anyway, just this thing where he straps a fan to his back, right? No, 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 they have to on Liso Beach, right? You strap a fan to your back, a big fan, you go, vroom, set it off, and then you have a um, parachute thing that goes up, and then you go like this over the sea and everything. And he says, you can switch it off and just... And I said, when you switch it off, don't you just fall to the floor? And he was like, nah. And then I said, you wave to everyone. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, if I see you. So, so if you see a long, blonde-haired man, 
in Cheltenham with a fan on his back. It's him. It's Graham. I know. Nineteen ninety nine. He was very, he was very um, good at his job. So I'll be having. I don't know when the new doors will be fitted, but my front door, my back door, my side garage door will be fitted soon. I'm having. Uh, I can't remember the name of the glass in it now. I'm having Chantilly in my garage door though. Please check out on that. They're flying out. They're absolutely flying out. Right, all the books, apart from the Blockhead book, have now sold out. Got another book. For, I've got two, actually, here. Which one? Right, now, Abigail, Abigail Mill, if you look at my uh, Simply Sewing page this month, it's out right now, I mentioned this book in there. Oh, is it that book? Oh, you see, I've already written. No, 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 it's definitely this book, but I've already written. I'm on to January now. I'm writing my, um, the next one I write will be for the January issue. So I can't remember if it's the one that's out now. Or whether it's in one of the ones I'm coming up. I love the book. Seventeen ninety nine. Now it's not a. Um, it's kind of an inspirational book. It's not a. This is what you have to do to make this. But they give you ideas of what you can do. It's all about layering. It's all about using your scraps. It's all about applique. It's about machine embroidered pictures. It's about what it, you want it to be. Basically, it's such a lovely book. So um, it's, it's basically, you can create any picture you want from fabrics that you've got in your stash. So if you look at this, you see there's all the sandy colour to it. And don't take it literally, see, you wouldn't think, you wouldn't look at that fabric and think, oh, I'll do sand on the beach with that floral print. It's just that if it works, isn't it? So there's an introduction to the book here, what materials and equipment you might need. It's just dyeing and all sorts of things in here as well. So there's your inspiration. Her inspiration for this one was the seaside. She went to school in Southwold in Suffolk. It's near Stuart, you see. Stuart's who's at home in bed. Country Cottage. That would be her dream house, that one would be. I wonder if that's thatched. Anyway, colour, different colours. Dyeing. Over dyeing your fabrics, create different colourways. Loving her. I, now, I nearly got a pair of lilac um, washing up gloves. Hannah was going to buy them for me, then she put them back on the shelf, so she couldn't be bothered. Oh, that's right, they were furry inside. We didn't think that was quite right. So here we go, this is how you start building your scene. You get your piece of fabric, and then literally, you just like the bit of Devore, bit of chiffon, bit of twinkle chiffon. Uh, fabrics overlapping each other to create different colours and things. It's just brilliant. I think basically, see, look. See how, how brilliant that is there. That's just literally laying up little scraps of fabric to create that look. Padded motifs like your umbrellas, mounting and framing. There's your um, summer's day at Southwold with your beach huts. There's your, there's your shop front. So all you can just create... Cre Create what you want to from all your fabrics. There's your uh, split screen ice cream van. Oh, that, now Graham, who came yesterday, has got a 1966 version of the camper van outside his house. He's off to Devon next weekend with his, with his missus. Right, look, cupcake shop. Tea time treats. How many have you eaten? Each. Okay, Yvonne brought some cakes in today. She brought some in for the office and then some in just for Hannah and um, Emma. And Hannah and Emma are beating the office at the moment. Oh, Elli no, Elliot's in the office. Anyway, look, there's your little thatched roof. That looks like, um, oh, uh, oh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Edita Sitar fabric. Bit of Tanya Whelan in there. But it's just about, look, cutting shapes and creating all the different... It's such a lovely book. I just think you could lose yourself. Oh, different roof. Dream house, but different roof. Yes, I like that roof better as well. Look, you see, you've got a stripy roof. 
No downstairs window, sir. Rabbit, owl, hedgehog, sheep, hen house. Oh, this is a dog house. There is a dog somewhere in this book. I know there is. Oh no, I shouldn't really tell you this. Hannah had a pigeon land in a garden, had a broken leg. And I said, you sure it was broken? It wasn't just standing like that. She would know it was sticking out like that. She made a cast for it, right? And the, the poor pigeon just must have just sat there while she did it. Then it sat on a windowsill with this like funny cast on its leg. It wouldn't leave the house, right? And then it left and it flew off. And I was like, what? You can't leave with a cast on it. Anyway, somewhere over Birmingham, there is a, if you see a pigeon with a cast on its leg. Uh, it was made out of an antihistamine box held together with bandages and masking tape. Oh, at least you tried. Yeah, so he couldn't walk before, but then he could walk once he got the cast on. She kept him overnight to make sure he was all right. Here's all your templates. Look, there's the dog. You see, now that looks weird. That, that's a pavlova, apparently. I don't know where the cake shop's gone now. Oh, well. There's the dog's ear. Oh, what? It's a beautiful book. I keep it by my bed. The pictures are lovely and wonderful. Oh, there you go, Patsy. Thank you from Hampshire. Lovely, isn't it? Cottage garden. That's a carrot shadow, that. Where's the chicken? Oh, yeah, look, there you go. Standing chicken's body. I'm not quite sure what tail that is. What tail does that animal belong to? The chicken. That's a standing chicken. That's a sitting chicken. They're their coxcombs. There's their leg. Oh, harbour scene with your boats and your sand. It would be like creating your own um, Helen Newton creation, wouldn't it, with all those? Um, I don't know, seals or tails like that. Oh, yeah, but whale wouldn't really fit in the picture, would it, of a harbour? You've got a whale doing dive bombing. She did embroidery, embroidered textile at Cumbria College. Oh, she must know Jude. Oh, no, I think she was there a bit before Jude. Anyway, there you go. Applique art. Freehand machine embroidered. Oh, there's the seal. Oh, it's because it's, it's actually, it's got two feet like that, hasn't it, rather than a tail like that at the back. Right, I've got my Mini Iron 2, the adapter. Okay, right. I'll show you it first. I'll show, you, I'll show it to you first. That's how it comes. Now, brilliant for dolls' clothes, or, or you know what this is really good for? You know, um, uh, when we were saying quarter, Victoria Pete did them, and I think we've done them here as well. You know when you get your bias binding, like in black, and do a stained glass window or Christmas decoration, and you do it like that, and it's sticky on one side and not on the other. For Have we not done that here? You sure? Right, so. Oh, look, look at that. Look how, how they've done that, like the um, double wedding band. That must be miniature, mustn't it? So basically, it's a plug-in. It's got a long wire. It's got a low and a high and an off button here. Now, please, please, please be careful when you use this because all of this gets hot. It obviously transfers the heat here, and that's where your little iron is when you're working. When you, It's not a little trowel or not putting your makeup on. You see, but basically it transfers the heat all the way down there so that this end plate gets hot and you can literally really get into corners and like I say, if you're doing dolls making and things like that, you can it really, really, and these are, the reason it's called the adapter is this is the one it comes with, but you can buy, and I'll show you them in a minute, different shaped feet. 
to go on. Do we call them feet? It's what, Han? Oh, yes, please don't try and change the end when it's hot. That's, yeah. Like, oh, my, you know, I said to you the other day, my oven gloves burnt. Well, I didn't think about it. The next day I was using my oven gloves. Took a thing out of the oven. Oh, it's gone down now. Burnt my thumb, like, really, really badly. <clears throat> and I knew that it was hot and everything. Anyway, this is how you use it. This is how you put the little, um, that's how you take the thing on and off. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Get a strong man to help you. My old lady, old lady, we're gender, we're gender, uh, what's it here? You see, I need a, a lot. I've tied it out my garage this week. It looks amazing, can't tell you. Got a price comparison? 53 pounds, exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah, you get the stand as well here. Exactly the same, £53 pounds elsewhere. That's your little stand there. But I do need to warn you, that gets hot. And a lot of people said, why didn't they put the guard the other way around? But it's still open there. You see, I'd have filled that bit in as well if I was designing it, personally. Oh, look, look at the price elsewhere. Is that exactly the same again? Yeah, £54. £54. Same make and everything. Really, really, really good price, that. I don't know how it goes back. Oh, no, I'm not putting it away yet because that's how it comes, right? So you get the whole set of that. If you buy the 39 99 you get all of that, right? It is good for patchwork, yeah, Carol? Really good for getting into those little seams. If you, imagine if you're opening little seams when you've done a half square triangle. Like that. And no steam, nice and dry. You don't want steam. Right, OK, so you buy that for 39 99 and you're thinking, well, I want to do other things with it. Well, you can. Well, uh, well see, well, how much was it? 39 to 40 About You saved about 13 to £14, pounds, haven't you, on that? Right, so I've got three other tips here. Which one shall I use? The slim line for doing doll's legs. 10.99, you see that one? Can you see the shape in there? Let me hold it up. There you go. Looks like a fish slice. So what happens is you unscrew this, you slide that in there, and then you have that long thing there. So look, they've got it in a little doll's uh, leg or a sock, or it's a socks or booties, isn't it? I wonder what else you could use it for. Seams or fabric folded projects. Oh, I know. You know the thing that Cara did? The folded star thing. It'd be perfect for that, wouldn't it? You need to have the iron, obviously, to buy that. That's just the adapter. The other trowel, is it called trowel? The adapter iron tip large. I'll show you. Quite a difference. Again, you unscrew that bit, clip that back in. It's only for this though, 10 99 You don't get any iron or anything like that. It's just the adapter. Look, they've got um, like Anna Maria applique leaves there. Sonjar's loving the shows today. Yeah, little bits of applique. In fact, the little house. You could do um, Yvonne's little house using that, couldn't you? Look at the size of it there. Not a house, shop, sorry, shop. Oops. Carol said she uses hers for a half square triangles on her cushions. And then we've got the ball. Now, this is brilliant if you make flowers, you make fabric flowers. Uh, look, see here, you can just, what you do is there's the, the circular spherical end and heat it up and then you push it into the centre of your flower petals and it will fold it up and create that lovely, lovely shape. Only fits this though, only if you need to have this first. 10.99. Okay, iron, there you go. For the iron, you get the, all of this. It comes with the main section. It already comes with, if you don't want to buy those adapters, that's fine, because you've already got one um, head on it to get you going. You've got your little rest there to rest it on. 
and then you've got your screwdriver and it all comes wrapped in here that's what it looks like when it arrives at your ass Got a Sashko book. Now be careful because you see what's happened to all the other books this morning. Wait a moment. That goes there. Where does the screwdriver go? Oh, I can see. I can see a great big section for it down there. <laughs> there we go. What's the matter, Emma? Emma can sort that out later. Sashko! The Ultimate Sashko Sourcebook by Susan Briscoe. Patterns, projects, and inspirations. 11 11 it should be 15 99 just so you know. It's a lovely book, this. Really, really beautiful book, this. So, to start with, she's done a bit of a history of what Sashko is all about. Sashko history, getting started. Then you've got projects. You've got a pattern library, which I'll show you in a second. And then an inspiration um, gallery at the end. So, this is your introduction into your Sashko. Where Sashko came from, because it was a, it was a mix it up, mixing, a fixing. So it was like a fixing stitch, because in the old days, um, oh, what's the saying? Bas basically, you, you, you fix something rather than throw it away. Um, and then, this is where it came. And also, that was really weird. Where, where have you lived? You had different Sashko stitches. It was a sort of thing that developed different in different areas. Um, and it kind of, uh, different regions had different, um, different patterns and things. Anyway, here we go, getting started, which are, now, I won't have time to do all these, but all of these will be on the website in the um, pre-order section. Lots of them are already gone, and the needles and everything are all in, in pre-order. So, here's the book. All the different, look, basic techniques, here's different patterns. How to get started, how to open your thread, how you actually do the sewing. Then we have projects. Uh, Emma can't come out, Carol, because it sounds like um, Emma can't come out and play. She's busy pressing buttons. Elliot wasn't, isn't directing today, so she can't come out today. Christmas cards, coaster collections. These are all your little projects, your table mats. Sampler cushions, tote bag. Uh, curtain. That's such a beautiful book. It's so beautifully photographed as well. There you've got your little bags. Red bag, blue bag, cushions, flower cushion. So you got all your different projects here, but you want to know, look at look, pattern library, that's like a that's like a sampler quilt, isn't it? Um but I just want to show you here. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Here's all the different kinds of stitches. You've got your spirals in squares, you've got your lightning spirals, you've got your square measure sashkos, all your different stitches in there. Circles and curves. Diamond stars. Waves. All the different stitches, all traditional stitches. Hemp leaf. Steps and weaves. That's what I love because you can make your own patterns up. You can make all your own patterns up there. Look, hexes. And then motifs, if you want to make up some motifs, look. Friend. Anyway. There you go, more Sashko patterns in there. Look, it's, uh, there is so much information in this book. And there's your inspiration gallery, look. It's such, such good value for money, this. And what Susan Briscoe does not know about... Um, uh, Sashko and Japan and everything like that, really not worth knowing, really. She's got blue hair. You'll recognise she's got blue hair. There's no picture. OK, in the break, all the Sashko tools and threads will go through onto show deals, so you don't have to go and look on pre-order. 
And the only thing we didn't do is the micro stitch, which will also move over, and that piece of wadding, which will move over as well. Is that right? After the break, Yvonne McAtamony is back. Still birthday, she might be drunk by now, but uh, we're doing Christmas, Robins, and what would you call that one? Night Sky, Winter Village, Starry Starry Night, Hannah singing, we've got to go. I'll see you in three from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, I'm Debbie Harris and I'm so excited to be one of the new guest designers here on Sewing Street. I live and work in Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire where I run my own knitting and sewing business called Mabel and Deb. I specialise in sewing and knitting and crocheting and I've been doing all of those three things from being a little girl when my mum taught me all things knitting, crochet and sewing. Started off just crocheting little chain stitches and granny squares and then actually patchwork sewing little hexagons and they're still my favourite shape to sew now. I used to be a school teacher for over 20 years I was teaching in classrooms um, I just had the knitting and the crochet and sewing as a background hobby but now I get to do this as, as my job and I'm absolutely passionate about it and really want to share all that passion and excitement with you guys. Um, a, a tip that I think is worth sharing with you is always use quality materials so whether that's your fabrics or your threads or wool the difference in the quality of your materials can really make a difference to your finished project and always use the right tools so whether it's a rotary cutter or a pair of scissors that are specially made for that job, that too can make all the difference. My claim to fame in 2020 was winning, being one of the winners of the Great British Make Off here on Sewing Street when I did my debut um, sewing demonstration in November last year. And it was just a wonderful experience and I'm so excited to be here on my Sewing Street journey with you all, bringing you lots of tips, techniques and looking forward to doing lots of exciting projects with you throughout the year. So lovely to meet you and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page
Do I have to take early Varney's back with us? Uh, how much have you had to drink? Half a cup of coffee. Oh, ha only half? I, well, it was strong. Uh, did you have a, a cake? I haven't yet. I have only left? Got, yes, yes. Oh. Though there is much tasting going on. Much tasting, but some much left. Tasting. Right, OK, we've got two projects uh, in this hour with Yvonne. We've got Christmas Robins and we've got Falling Stars. So there is your... Oh, there they both are. Let's look, we'll look at Christmas Robins, first of all. Um, the difficulty level is two bobbins. It's Christmas Robins and you need everything in here for the front and the binding of the... Uh, now, what would you call it? Wall hanging? I think this is a wall hanging. Okay. I think I actually... Do I give some instructions about how to put a sleeve? I don't if know. You, you want to add it. a hanging sleeve? Because you always ask me about that. Yeah. So I have given... Uh, if you want to hang it up... Uh, you know, showing uh, some instructions as to how to put a hanging sleeve. But it also could look lovely just on a table with a candle, you know, and anything like that, yeah, couldn't it, yeah. really? So now, so uh, apparently they're, they're Robins in love, but they've got mistletoe above them, about to have a Robin kiss. Uh, now, in the real world, the Lady Robins are fluffier and rounder than the Boy Robins. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They're very territorial, but not with yes, their husband and wife, Hannah. They, they are very. I've got a, a cheeky yeah. little guy yes, in my does. back garden. I know, I've got loads in my garden. Oh, and they, the woodpecker's back. The mum oh, and dad no. woodpecker are back, but the baby woodpecker won't ever be back. And the family of magpies are back. The mum and the dad and the child of the magpies are back as well. Right. We've got pigeons. I have pigeons, but I don't want to have your pigeon that's arrived yet. I will keep on looking. Right, look, this is Liberty. Liberty Wiltshire Shadow. No, is that what it's called? Yes. Yeah, Wiltshire Shadow in the red and the green. Then you've got Macawa, I'm guessing. Is that Macawa, the green there? Uh, well, it might be Moda. No, Whatever it is, no, it's, it's top, it's top, top shadow quality. Play. I think it's, it's what? It's Shadow Play, I think. So. Oh, is that Shadow Play, is it, that I one? I think. Anyway, you get all the fabrics you need. Then you've got that lovely spotty fabric there, yes. um, which is your background and all your instructions. And let's have a look what else is in here. Third of the stock has now gone. So there's, there's all, like Yvonne always has, fantastic instructions. If you could get the, the stick, well, there you go. And then on that back page there are all your pieces, look. All your template. So basically that's your template as well as your placing, isn't it? Absolutely. One? Which you're gonna see Yvonne doing now. Lovely. Oh, yes, you have called it a wall hanging on this one. Eight by 13 inches. Beautiful. 18 pounds and 19 pence. So that will be the first demo. But let me introduce you to the second project now, just so you can make your mind up now. So the second project is called Falling Stars. And that's this one. Mm, says Emma. Mm. Uh, this one's 14 and a half by 23. Slightly bigger, this one. So look at this. So in here, you get all your instructions. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a lovely charcoal colour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so that's your border. That's your... Folded insert. Folded insert. Couldn't remember. Now, is that grunge? Is that yes, loads that's of grunge? Yes, it's a metallic grunge. Yeah, it's lovely. Plus a piece of embroidery thread. For joining that swirl of stars together. There oh, is, There's okay. some stitching. Yeah. Um, and then, this one's like a little panel. Yep. So I'd say this one was slightly easier, would I, you? Yes, yeah. Oh, it's pretty though. Oh, I see, so the, the, the chimney, the smoke coming out of the chimney is gold. Did you embroider that and then yes. swirl it around the stars? Yeah, Yeah. basically. And uh, added, uh, there's uh, another star up in the top corner. Oh, yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. you know, it's yeah. up to you at that point to... That's beautiful, isn't it? That's so lovely. Anyways, that will make um, the one that uh, Yvonne's got with her there. We'll show you a picture of it. Right, so we're going to start. That's sixteen ninety nine, by the way, that one. Falling Stars, that one's called. We're going to start with a bit of a demo about the robins. So where would we start with the robins then? Well, if you have a light box, which... Um, you should be buying because there's ten pounds off. But there's only two left. There's oh, only two left right, at, the well, at the lower price. Okay. Um, so this is a basically an A3 design here. So all 
that I've done is I've uh, popped it on the light box. Mm -hmm. Again, you have a light background. So if I put that on top of the sheet of paper on top of the light box, you then are all lined up to draw in place the swirly lines that join each of the branches of holly together Lovely. and bring uh, come down through for the mistletoe. Uh -huh. um, this you can stitch in place by hand if you want, which of course would be what I would probably do sitting at home. Uh -huh. But equally, what we what we actually have done in this instance um, is machined it. Okay. So there are a couple of lines of machine stitching to create these uh, these swirls. Okay, got a couple of messages for you. Sue P says, happy birthday, Yvonne, lovely waistcoat. <laughs> Sue S says, happy birthday, Yvonne, why have you changed your waistcoat? Well, I thought I'd better do sort of the Christmassy one. Oh, is this is not your reversible one? They're all reversible. They're all reversible. But the one you were wearing earlier was your was special a birthday one. one. Was new a new one. one. Uh, but this is my Christmas and Halloween one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't have a whole waistcoat that is Halloween. No. Though, but I can do the Christmas and Halloween one. So I thought since this was the my little uh, nod to Christmas oh, in well August. Oh, well spotted Sue S. Well spotted. Oh, Sue, Sue S and Sue P know me quite well. Oh, okay. No. Okay, that. and we've got a message on your bottom. Happy birthday, Yvonne. Lovely morning with lots of goodies from Tracy in Suffolk. Oh, thank, thank you, Tracy. You. There have been lots and lots of messages and we couldn't read them out in the first hour because we had lots to concentrate on. Oh, you can send more through in this hour. Happy birthday, everyone. It's, your birth it's my birthday, day two. Sue used to oh. be in Surrey, now in Dorset. Oh, well, happy birthday, twin. Yeah, um, because oh. it was her birthday, too. Yeah. Uh, so do send any messages in or questions you've got in whilst we do this demonstration. Okay. Oh, a tractor says, Justin, happy birthday, Yvonne. Good morning, John and co. A tractor's got our tickets ready for your show. Oh, wonderful. Actually, let's do that now. Let's just talk about that now. So you've yeah. got, before we get sewing, I think, you've got a quilt show in Belfast in happening Bel soon. Yes, uh, on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, the 2nd, 3rd and 4th of September. So this day, two weeks time for me, I will be on a boat on the Irish Sea going across. Now I know this is just the Tuesday, but of course I've got as one of the organizers together with my friends, Margaret uh -huh. and Helen, we need to be on site. We're up to this evening, two weeks time. I'm going to be crawling around the floor, putting masking tape down to indicate the uh, spaces for the traders who oh, will wow. be coming in to set up on the Wednesday. Uh, Village Fabrics is going to be trading there. So I have to uh, build a stand on the Wednesday. Oh, as well as as, as well, well as organising, as multitasking in a yeah. big way, and really looking forward to going home. I haven't been home in uh, well over well over two years now, so I will get to catch up with family. Oh. But this um, is all about uh, Margaret, myself initially, and then we uh, asked Helen to join us and keep us in line. Um, it's all about trying to give something back to the community that has given us so much over the years. I've been in this uh, craft industry for the last 21 years, Margaret not much short of that and it has allowed us to do many wonderful things and meet some great people. So this is about trying to appreciate the traders who have been very supportive of us over the last 18 months and the community who have stuck with us also. We have hit our pre-sale, our pre-event ticket level that we were hoping wow, for. Wow, fantastic. And we have two weeks to go. But there are still tickets available, aren't there? S still available. Um, please book online. It's just going to make life easier for us on COVID front, yeah? Yeah. Um, you will be able to buy a ticket on the door, but it might have to take a couple of minutes more because we'll have to get, take details yeah. from you for track and trace and this kind of thing. Fine, Though things are moving on in Northern Ireland. Perfect, Island, perfect. And we have been able to, uh, you know, they're opening up, they're relaxing a little bit yeah. more. So it's, I think the timing is good. The size of the event is good so that we have big wide aisles. We have flow of people going through. So, yeah. And goodie bags. And, and, and we have been so lucky that Sewing Street have been, are being very supportive of us. And we have a huge trolley load 
of goodie bags that are going to be shipped across this And last week. question, where do people go to buy the tickets? Because don't buy them from us, we don't buy them from no, us. No, it's www.quiltfairefayre.com. Thank you. And if not, you could just... Uh, 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 presume just uh, we have a Facebook page. Oh, your Facebook page. There's a Facebook page as well. And, uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. You know, Brilliant. big adventure. Big yeah, adventure. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Really and, lovely. Uh, I'm just worried about Hannah. What's the matter, Hannah? A little bit of normality coming back, I trust. Oh. OK, right, let's get on so, with the demonstration. Then. There so, might be a bit of noise because Hannah's going to be getting machines out of boxes. I think it's in the second box down so, there. So um, having drawn on the lines for uh, connecting all these leaves together, all I'm going to do now is machine along the line. It's a bit uh -huh. like the foundation piecing, except we don't have to be uh, on the reverse. So we're going to... Uh, needle down position allows you go to do three or four stitches, stop, move a little bit on so that you can keep that nice curve going. Have you got anything behind? Any stitching nope. or anything like that? No? Nope. Uh, because I'm going to be very careful. I'm not, you know, this, the tension on the machine is really good, so it's not going to pucker. Okay. Good question, though. No, no, because somebody will be asking, that's all. No. You could put some stitch and tear behind it. Or but it's a, not but necessary. It's not necessary. Um, because, you're, as I say, you're, you want to make this a really nice curvy line. So uh -huh. you're going to do it slowly. And but as you say, if, you, if you're a hand sewer, you could do it by oh hand yeah. as well, couldn't you? What um, size stitch are you using? I'm using a 2.4 on this uh -huh. machine, so it's your normal... Uh, yeah, what well, your setting of your machine. Yeah, normal setting, it's what uh, the manufacturer... And of course, if you've got a speed control, just put that down a bit if you're a bit heavy-footed. Yeah. Would you say you're heavy-footed? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> I just have to go with the fact that I don't sew standing up at home, uh -huh. do I? Don't you? No, 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 no. And this is a machine that I use once a month, not my normal machine. Exactly. Bernadette says, happy birthday, Yvonne. And twins, love from Bernadette. I think she means the people on screen. Yeah. Uh, great show today. Lovely for all. Happy days. Love from Bernadette. That's uh, very kind of you. Falling Stars is about to sell out. We haven't even got to the demo of that one yet. We'll carry on. We'll do the demo. Don't worry. But um, just so you know. Now, this is at the, currently, this is just one line of stitching. Uh -huh. What I am going to do is to go back over where I've just stitched. Okay. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, line, as long as it's close by. A little bit of a wobble is not going to be an issue because okay. you've... In um, in real life, um, you know, branches have lumpy bits, bumpy bits. Like we all do. L absolutely. So you're having a birthday tea when you get home later? Well, I got uh, taken out on Sunday by my daughters and my grandchildren and my son-in-law. Must, mustn't forget Tom. No. And we uh, went to Hickory Smokehouse. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, a meat feast of barbecued... Um, what was the vegetarian option? Didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, if you're going to the smokehouse, yes, exactly. you know, exactly. don't, uh, don't try and pretend that they yeah. do vegetarian. So that was your, that was your birthday treat? That was it? my birthday treat. I do, um, I do love some barbecue. And I've got to say, the quality of the food was excellent, as was the service. And what service. part of the world? Is it a chain? Is it um, a I think it's a small chain um, across the UK. But this was the one in Worcester. Oh, OK. And the service was excellent. And whenever they discovered it was my birthday, I had an extra... Uh, Piece of meat? A no, a lovely chocolate milkshake with Oreos as a, as oh. a, as a birthday treat. So... Uh, that was after I'd explained that everybody, of course, has more than one stomach. 
so that you have your normal food stomach and you have your dessert stomach. Oh, I see. So, you can so still there's always room, room for dessert. Always room for oh, dessert. I, I thought you could say like a cow and you have to well, digest exactly. it three times. Yeah. Well, but you know, you can means that um, you can eat healthily, but then there's the other stomach that's available for. Oh, there's always room for pudding. Always. always. Message on the bottom. Have a very happy birthday, Yvonne. Really looking forward to welcoming you and all the other folks at Quilt Fair in Belfast. Got my tickets from Laureen. Oh, that's wonderful. As I say, the, the, the people of Northern Ireland are very supportive of this. It's been wonderful. And the Northern Irish Patchwork Guild are putting on a display. What, dancing? <laughs> um, possibly not. <laughs> um, they are wonderful needlewomen. And uh, they have also, uh, some of them have just volunteered to help us. Yeah. To, oh, so that we I can... think you're going to have the best time because it's like what everybody needs and it's like local girl going home and all, everything Absolutely. about it. And they all know that you're not going to put on a shoddy show. They oh, know it's going to be they kn yeah. a proper full on. I know a tractor's really looking forward to going. Well, I'm so hopeful that Whenever you get the right atmosphere, you have happy traders, you have happy customers, and just the whole thing has a lovely feel to yeah, it. Yeah, no, exactly. If um, I was going away on holiday, I'd definitely come in. Good morning, La Breathy Shona Do It Yvonne. Is that happy birthday in your... It, it, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a Gaelic speaker, so I can only assume that that is, and hope that's... Oh, right, well, yeah, I could have said birthday. anything, couldn't I? You could La have done. La Brithy Shona, do it, Yvonne. Do it, Yvonne, do it. D just do it. Just thank do you, Sharon. It. But she's in Nottinghamshire, she's not even Well, in... she, but she's taking the time oh, to, to... Thank to you. Thank you. Oh, Hazel. Hazel, happy birthday, Yvonne. Already got my ticket for Quilt Chat Belfast. Looking forward to it from Hazel. You know, all these people coming up going, hello, it's, I'm Hazel, hello, I'm Susan, hello, I'm a tractor. I have people come to my shop and do that yeah um, oh. which is just really really nice it's, I um, you know I'm very I'm humbled by it oh. I'm, I only do what I would like other people to do for me yeah yeah exactly exactly um, which I'm sure they would do but yeah but you know what I mean I, I I don't pretend to be anything I'm not and I, I it's really humbling never people appreciate mm. you, you know so yeah the thing is, you're, you're honest and upfront with everybody, and that's what people appreciate, isn't it? You know well, I mean? it's the only way to live your life, exactly. isn't it? So, um, I am only doing one of these lines currently, and of course, as I put out the uh, put the iron across this, just to make sure that I'm uh -huh. just setting the seams. Uh, Beverly, yeah. each kit makes one. You get one in each kit. I'm losing all my lines because we've used a Frixian pen. Right. But there we go, that's going to do the job. And there we go. Uh -huh. A little bit of spray starch may help the situation, uh -huh. I would say. And we are up for little rubbins and the like. So whenever we have a lot of templates in a kit we either number them or we uh, alphabetize them uh -huh. i suppose so that you know which order you should be putting things on so i have a little robin who there are three pieces to a robin right and also <laughs> i'm, ju I'm just I thought that this is a very fat little wing we have here oh. for him, yeah so maybe this is the girl one over okay. here. Yeah, maybe. So we're, we're not being rude, it's nature. The girl robins are always more curvaceous than the boy robins. That's a better word, yeah. isn't it? Curvaceous, I love that. So um, we have a little uh, red breast, which is that nice Liberty. Have these got Bondweb on the back then? Yes, yeah. I have. Um, I've just peeled the paper off. Mm -hmm. So you have used the the full-size pattern piece here to draw around each shape on your bonder web mm -hmm. and as you can see we have reverse you need to draw these in reverse so as they sit on here yeah otherwise they'll be facing away from each, each other. other and they wouldn't be very friendly no. so that's where we are at so c d e uh, um 
is the order that you would be, no, it's not really the order we put, well, actually, you need to tuck the little red breast under, just under yeah. the main body. So, um, peeling off the paper. What are you looking for, Elliot? And we are also going to make sure that you don't actually have them on the branch because you need to embroider some little feet in there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to just make sure that tucks in there. Uh huh. A little bit of tucking is required. What yeah. is this? RuPaul's Drag Race. There we go. And then the little wing. And whenever you put the, whenever you take the time to make the wing as a separate piece, it just does give you a better dimension. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just pop that little wing over there. It gives you some, you know, depth to the whole. You know what? I've got him at the wrong angle. That's better, isn't it? He needs his tail. That's what you say. So if you meant build this on the light box, you'd have been able to see that. Well, I would, but then I'd probably have put the iron down on top oh, of yeah, it. Knowing you. <laughs> and I thought perhaps, uh, perhaps one should be trying to be uh, not take up. I just last hour, I just seemed to be constantly moving yeah. uh, bits of bits of furniture. It felt like <laughs> so. I've left a little bit of space for. There we go for there little go. feet. There are many more lines to stitch in. Yeah. But I am not going to worry about that too much. But we have lots of berries and leaves to pop on. So mm -hmm. um, whenever we have really little tiny shapes like this, I quite often, instead of stitching all the way round, which of course you can, why not just stitch the the vein of the leaf mm -hmm. through the center? Because in reality you're not you're probably not going to wash this very often. Mm -hmm. As long as you have secured it, then you're okay. Yeah. Whenever it comes to the little um, berries, I tend to end up just putting a um, cross stitch in the middle mm -hmm. of them in whichever position. I, you know what? I think this one's going to be free form. Oh, okay. You're Don't not you following think? Any I'm not following any pattern. It's my birthday, John. I'm allowed to. Oh, you are yeah, indeed. I'm allowed to go a bit indeed. off piece is, uh, my, is what I normally end up doing because uh -huh. I like to. Um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue building up a little French knot for the eye on the little robin and uh, little legs. The additional, let me just find my... Oh, yes, you, you know why you're getting a bit confused? Because you've got your bows the wrong way up. I've gotten my... Your bows the wrong way up. I the do. robins are sitting on what looks like well, a Well, this is definitely going to be free form, yes. as I explained to you. <laughs> Yes, you're absolutely right. I've turned myself around. Which is fine. You can do whatever you want. But I could see what you were thinking, this doesn't look yeah, like yeah, my other one. Yeah, this is not. Yeah. And so what I was, what I will have to do in this instance is I'm going to have to draw those uh, branches in so that the Your mistletoe, mistletoe branches, can yeah. still be... That needs to curve yeah. a little bit. Those lines are going to be disappeared. Oh, no, because they're stitched in, aren't they? The, the yeah, one that's got going to yeah. disappear. And that is going to come down there. And we're going to, I think, maybe just curl that one around there a little bit. That's too sharp an angle. But this is the glorious thing about Frixie and pens. You can create and... If it's not quite what you want, you run the iron over and you go back and you you recreate the lines yeah. in the in the uh, shape that you want to. Bernadette thinks you do it upside down on purpose because you don't like doing the same thing twice. Well, you know what? You're probably right. <laughs> I'm just going to get some little stitches in. 
So these, of course, are then the, the mistletoe leaves. Mm -hmm. And we have even tinier white berries to pop in there. So I think these would simply be a couple of French knots in, the, in white in the center uh -huh. of those. So while we say that this is um, a machine applique, project I think you could do a lot of this by hand. Oh yeah if I think it'd be a lovely project to do by hand. Yes yeah. and, and something actually starting now you would have it c completed for Christmas. I should hope so yeah. Oh, well it depends what else you're doing. Well you? yeah it does and I'm surprised you've had time to do anything or any of this prep oh. with all your everything that's going on in your life. Well you know? it just <laughs> what's sleep you know. Yeah exactly. Um, so you continue to build this up uh -huh. and let's go back to what you are actually yes, aiming yeah. for. Yeah. So you are looking at having your uh, robins on the, gr on the ground or standing on a branch <laughs> the right way up. Um, holly coming around the sides, mistletoe coming down. Yeah. You then have the a oh. what we call an, a folded insert. Folded insert. I didn't realise that one had one as well. I knew it was on the gold one, didn't I? It was on that yeah, one. so I'm not going to show you how to do that on this one. I'll show you how to do it on, on the, the gold, gold one. one. Okay, perfect. But that little pop of colour just before you go to the border yeah. really highlights it. It's just as though you were framing a picture. You know when you go to a framing shop and oh, they'll yeah, say, yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's just pop a mount around that and you are, just to give you an idea, uh, you're going to do this as the uh, insert. Yeah. And again, with the background, we have again t uh, told you to cut the original piece of cream background a little bit bigger and then we tell you to trim that back so that you make, can make sure you're nice and square. Okay, lovely. And so we have that little touch in there. Then you're going to add your side and look, it just pops, doesn't yeah. it? Just pops. And the, uh, again, both of these fabrics are the Liberty and it just... Uh, it's such a gorgeous green. Well, they're both green and the red. But it's and Christmas. They're like pure Christmas, aren't it they? It really pure is Christmas. your traditional red and Got green Got a lovely Christmas. message for you, Yvonne. It says, thank you for bringing such beautiful kits to the show. Just ordered both of them. Looking good today, John. Mwah, from Marilyn. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. Don't feel it, I have to say, but thank you. <laughs> Oh, well, I had to remember and take the painkillers before I went to bed last night, I must admit. Oh, yes. Grandchildren all day yesterday. Oh, OK. And uh, Grandma was silly enough whenever her grandson said, would you just carry me for a bit, Grandma? Oh. And I did. And I picked him up and carried him a couple of hundred yards, and I shouldn't have. I knew <laughs> at the time. But um, he'd been a little darling, oh. so um, he'd behaved really well when I went to the bank and stuff, so, you know. Just put all your millions in, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh take, my, take, the, uh, take some uh, coins out for the float for Belfast. Oh, of course, you know, yes. All of this. So I don't think there is anything else that I can usefully no. say about yeah. this. Follow, as I, you know, my words always, follow my instructions. Yeah, yeah. Do as I tell you, not as I do. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we'll move on to it. So, that so one, how are we doing robins wise, please? Half an upside down robin. Yeah. Okay, there are 20 robins not checked out, but loads in baskets. So they will go, they will all go stay. It just depends who gets them. Yeah, and lots of you will be watching the demo. Now the demo of that one's finished. So what you get is you get your instructions, which are very, very thorough. Um, there is, um, a, you can go, if you have any issues as well, there's a website. I'm sure you can send a message to one of the ladies in the shop if oh, you have yeah. any uh, issues with it at all. Just phone me, you know. <laughs> um, uh, I've had a couple of telephone calls that w for very many strange things and it's amazing how we can sort it out. There you go, the phone number's on your pattern, the phone number is on your pattern. You also get the, the template and the setting, get yours the right way up please yeah. everybody. Yes do, and it is full size so you don't have to worry about um, increasing the template size around. Brilliant, and then you get all the fabric that you need for the front 
and the uh, border and the binding. You have to supply your own fusible web, your own backing, your own wadding and your thread. But if it's a wall hanging, just put calico on the back or something oh, like that, that. Absolutely. That's what we've done on here. Yeah. And if I, I don't know if this will pick up, but you can see what has been quilted. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, so really highlighting the robins and the holly leaves, really. Uh, then just uh, catching the the border down to yep. round the centre. And Fabulous. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the other one now, then the falling stars. Okay, there's only a couple not checked out on that. They're all going to go. They're all going to go. We're going to carry on with the demo, um, but uh, there's only a couple of them left to go. Okay, so this this is really a very straightforward construction. Uh -huh. um, you again are looking at adding some shapes onto a background. We have uh, oh, let me see. So that's the picture. So each of each kit comes with a full picture your cutting instructions, um, your templates, and a full-size layout so that you can... Oh, hiking. Oh, yeah. We, we, tr we try and make it easy for people. Yeah. Because we want people to do this. We want people to enjoy, s enjoy their stitching. Yeah, of course. And to be brave enough to start sometimes is the is the most difficult thing. Yeah. So you are, so you've this wonderful uh, background fabric with some little snowmen and a few, uh -huh. few little reindeers in there. And we are looking at creating this circle of stars. If you, I don't, think you're not going to see that even through a light box right so, so what okay. you're going to do I wasn't sure whether no, 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 no. whether you would or not so what I would suggest you do is a few measurements so just get um, your ruler out and because this is a full-size uh, photocopy of the panel if you just have a measure I would suggest from the top of that house um, so you're an inch and a half above that central house mm -hmm. is where you're going to put your first star. Right. And your moon is going to go to, yeah, about two and a half inches down from the top. So you put, you know, m those are your, your uh, sort of anchor points. Uh -huh. You have applied Bonder Web onto the back of each of your templates, which are on the sheet here. So you have three different sizes of stars and one moon. Would you draw it on? Would you, uh, so so ha how many stars do you need in total? Oh. Um, four large ones, five medium and four small. And would you draw them all on your Bonder Web and then glue, fix your one Bonder Web to the fabric? Would you draw, yes. trace them off with a pencil onto the paper side like of, of your the bond web. web, rather than cutting out tiny, oh, tiny oh, yeah. stars and then trying to put bond web on the oh, stars? Oh, no, 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 no. Trace onto the paper side of your bond web. Yeah. Then, because they are so small, the, well, the piece of fabric that we've given you... Yeah. Well, it's like a jelly roll. It almost looks like a two and a half, maybe a bit wider than two and a half inches. It? And you're only using one end of that... Uh, of that strip for your stars. You oh, know, because it also so makes the... Makes your insert. Insert, that's it. Yeah. Um, so you really don't need very much. And yeah, I do have a whole little bag of stars. Yeah, 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 here. yeah. So uh, you are applying the, um, the Bonda Web on the back, which of course is sealing the, when you then cut round the shape, it basically seals the edge of the fabric whenever you cut through because of the glue. In the bag. I have so many, John, that I oh, don't think matter. it's All going right, to be too big an issue. And you know what? 
Okay, okay, there's only five left, not checked out, but there's more than five in baskets. These will all sell out in a minute. Um, the other thing as well is, I know you're saying measure here, measure there, but if you wanted to, you could just create... You can have a It doesn't square. have to be a circle. It could be like a... Fireworks. Yeah. yeah. And that was all I was wanting to show you here because yeah. we have given you the gold fabric because I do think it is nice. Yeah. But that is a gold moon. But look, I had a little bit of silver fabric. Where did you get that from? My stash. Oh, Upstairs okay. in my bedroom. Uh -huh. One of my spare bedrooms. I was going to say, do you keep silver fabric in your bedroom? Well... <laughs> Oh, I see. No, it's everywhere. No, it's, uh, thank goodness I have an extension. Let's yes. put it that way. So, you know, do your own thing. Have a mixture. Maybe we c you can have one silver shooting star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I thought, um, really strange. I'm, I'm, I'm waffling a bit now. But, you know, whenever I started cutting these out and looking at this, it took me back to my school days whenever we had to learn poetry. Uh-huh. Walter de la Mer wrote a poem called Silver. Right. And it's slowly, silently, now the moon walks the night in her silver shoon. I learnt that 55 years <gasps> ago, and I still can remember it. It's weird, isn't it, how th uh, things stay in your... It's, and you it won't think about it for no, donkey's years, no, and then it'll suddenly come from suddenly nowhere. Just suddenly it yeah. came through, and, you know, just as I say, cutting these out. So you are going to swirl these around in whatever fashion takes, yeah, whatever takes your fancy yeah. here. And I have a mixture of, I've got a couple of little silver ones. You can also quilt some in, stitch, embroider some in. Uh -huh. Do your own thing. But that is the fun bit, the practical bit that I think I probably do need to, to share with you is how we put this little insert. insert so would you would you at this point place all your stars iron them on stitch them, them on yes so and so they're all done so, so i have a complete picture, picture right. and then i would be trimming down a little bit because i've been working with it i've been doing mm -hmm. a little bit of embroidery i then would trim this background piece down to the size that it tells you you do get a little bit of embroidery in the same gold as the fabric embroidery thread which i'm presuming you split down and then two, do your two strands yeah so that you're going to use two strands uh, -huh. uh for your so we have some gold smoke coming out of uh both chimneys of these top houses the embroidery thread also links the yeah. um, sold out, but we're going to carry on and sold together. Out. And there is one stitch star yeah. there. That's our take on it. So you've done all of those at this point. No yes. wadding, no nothing. No, you've done them all no, at this point. Just, just as is. Yeah. So what we then are going to do is cut the pieces as as you are instructed to in the instructions. Mm -hmm. And these are one inch wide strips, so not very wide. Mm -hmm. And you are going to fold them evenly in half, matching your raw edges. Now, it's important to take your time and do this accurately. Uh -huh. Because you do not have much room for maneuver whenever your one inch becomes a half inch, and you are then going to take a quarter of an inch as your seam allowance. Right. Okay. So just... Okay. Would you use steam to do this in the real life? No. No? No. Um, I'm not a lover of steam, unless it's a steam engine. That's just better fun, isn't it? <laughs> um, so if I do a short one and a long edge, the benefit of these inserts whenever you're constructing a quilt can be that you can add a little flash of colour in without changing the dimensions of your quilt. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes if you're doing a, well, a medallion quilt or a board or a, a, a block to a specific size, uh -huh. you don't want to be 
changing the dimension because you need it to fit up against other things. Mm -hmm. So this background piece, I don't believe, has been trimmed. But it's OK. It looks as though I have taken that into account. <laughs> <laughs> so all that I'm going to do is to pin this in place. In fact, I thought I might have had, I might have had a thread, but the thread has gone into the distance. Okay. Yeah, thread has definitely disappeared. What I want to do is to make sure that I am attaching this within the seam allowance. Right to just hold it in place. So you're probably looking at wanting to stitch this at about an eighth of an inch. Um, many sewing machines will do a tacking stitch mm -hmm. for you um, because this is going to go along here. And then you are going to attach the border over the top of this. Oh, okay. So it's like when you put a piping in, you put uh, your... Yes. Yeah. Um, you have to ensure it's flat though. With a piping, you, you, there's enough of it that it will hold you out, you hold yeah. your stitching out. Here, you can, if you're not careful, end up with a little tuck, a little pleat, yeah. because it is flat. And did you say you'd hand tack that in? I do sometimes. If it's a Sunday afternoon and I'm wanting to sit down, yeah. then I will just um, sit and put a few a tacking stitch. You remember those days whenever you learnt to tack? Exactly. You had to tack everything when I first started. Yeah, me tack too. Everything. I remember people been ha having to take their tacking out because it wasn't neat enough. Oh no. <laughs> we were we were told off we used the wrong colours for tacking. Oh uh, yes. Oh, yes, because you are supposed to be able to break tacking threads, yeah. aren't you? So you're going to, to do this. And also some tacking thread is cheaper and the colour's not fast. Yes. So if you did a wedding dress and you tacked in red oh, and then yeah. you pressed the seam oh, no, with yeah. steam, then it could yeah. the red not, could bleed. Yeah. Not something that you want to do. Yeah. In fact, re red threads, even nowadays, yeah. still can be a bit iffy. So... Mm -hmm. Um, I have uh, I have a pale pink one that I tack mm -hmm. with, and I have a sort of rusty terracotta one that I tack with. But um, it is poor quality thread. It is what it says on yeah. the tin. Or um, now, so I have that there, and all I'm going to what I would then be doing is let me. I'm going to do some more pinning here. I think. So my quarter of an inch is going to be about there. Mm -hmm. I could actually stitch that in place. Would it, let me stitch this in okay. place. Okay. Yeah, talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, we've got time, don't we? Yeah. Would you use a bigger stitch for your tacking down? Um, yes, if I can figure out where it is on this machine. Oh, it's easy. You just Are press... Are you sure it's easy, John? Nothing seems to be too easy today. The right-hand side button, the plus. Oh, just, just yeah. up up. Because m my machine actually has a tacking stitch. Oh, well. And I might actually want to move that over. Yeah. Right. So, let's see. The wonders of modern science. Right? Yeah, now you need to put your foot down. And I've put my foot down and I'm there. So... So we're very close to the edge, but... Not a problem. The shimmer on that gold on that panel is lovely as well as it, it's not brassy, no. bright shimmer, is it? It's a lovely, just a metallic tone to it. There's just enough of it. Yeah. There's, yeah, it's not glitter. It's, yeah, it's not glitter yeah. Message on the bottom. Uh, what a wonderful day, Yvonne. I'm so relaxed watching, relax watching you. Enjoy the rest of your day from Anne in Cheshire. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you.
when you come back from um, Ireland, apart from having a few days off, will you start your classes again soon? Um, no. Not yet? Um, I, perhaps it's an abundance of caution. I don't know. No, no, no. Oh, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Masks and everything. I'm with um, you. So I, I'm looking to potentially start them in January. Nice. No, no, I think that's Because good. we're I heading out of the cold winter months. Yes. We'll have known what this winter is going to bring us. And, you know, no point starting it if we suddenly has a resurgence or something, is there? Uh, uh, that's it. And as I say, it could be... I'm being overcautious. No, no, but no. I think it's really good. I think it's good. But it's, it's my decision. I have to live with. Yeah. And that's how why we are not starting them yet. Good for you. Um, oh, we had uh, because it's my birthday. We have a birthday bash seal at my shop. Right. Oh, this what is. Have it. you lost? Lord knows, John, oh. today it's one of those days. It would appear that I thought I was going to do a short edge, but I need to do a long edge, yes. don't I? Yeah, go on, birthday bash. Um, so I had many, many people in the shop, uh, safely in the shop on Saturday, uh -huh. and many people asking me when I was going to start. Uh, and... Most people were nodding in agreement. I, I agree. I agree as well. You have to be... The, the thing is, if you started it and then you weren't comfortable, it's not, the whole point of doing them is you want to be enjoying them. You want to enjoy them as a teacher and you want your classmates to yeah, enjoy uh, the classes, don't you? And everyone has to feel safe. And, you know, everyone's perception of safe mm -hmm. is in a different place. Um... And she said, it's your business, you do what you want to do and don't be pressured into doing anything else. And um, that's it, mm. you know. Um, I agree. I don't, I know that masks are not mandatory. Yeah. We politely ask people to wear them and everybody is, has been mm. very, they want to. Mm. Well, I went to a big supermarket yesterday and there were, out of all the people in there, there were only two younger people that didn't have them on. Everyone else had theirs on. John, do you happen to know where my quarter of an inch is on the, when I'm moving? Oh, in? no. Three, five, uh, oh, four and a half, four, five, four, five looks about right. Yeah. Okay, but I need to now bring my stitch length back down to there because we're, we do now. So what we have done, I pressed the insert to make uh -huh. sure that it's lying nice and flat. You would actually put the remaining four sides of insert on before you would then go up, move on to do the border. And, and then they just cross over each other. They lie the on top, one on top yeah. of each yeah. other. Um, but just for the sake of uh, being yeah. able to show you. So you do you all four gold bits first, tack yes. them all into place. Yes. Then you start doing this with the, the charcoal yes. bits. Yeah. yeah. And you are now back at your quarter inch seam allowance where you had been within that quarter inch so that you yeah. would be hiding your uh, stitching. That Otherwise happens. you'd have to take the tacking out, which would not be Sue P totally agrees with us saying about saying safe. She's still, still doing her grocery shopping online. I go out, Sue, because it's the only time I see people. That's my s sadness. Um, well, yes, I, it, it, everyone has to do what makes them feel. Yeah feel comfortable and I haven't been in a big city in a very long time yeah. but I you know I'm out at the supermarket and starting to unfortunately think about Christmas presents mm -hmm. it's time and father Christmas needs to know what he's got to get for the little ones well uh, there's a birthday to come yet oh. because Alice is two oh. in September. And uh, my daughter tells me she loves to accessorise mum. Oh. I, was, I, okay. I said, what, what? I saw a little beaded bracelet. Yeah, yeah. You know, with the Claire's accessories still exist. That was perfect for kids well, things like that. I, I don't have one close by. I yeah. was asking... Uh, 
that uh, yesterday. So I'm, I'm on the lookout for some sort of hair bandy things mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, bracelets. But uh, equally, I'm trying to find the time to make her a little smocked dress. Oh, like proper smocking. Need you say anything well, else, Well, no, 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 John, no, because when they yes. did smocking on Great Bridge Stone Bean, I was like, that's not smocking, that's not proper smocking, no, that's no. gathering. You know, this is, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, you get one of those little machines that actually pleats for you, yeah, yeah. and then following a pattern with your embro, yeah. Mm. But it is hand work and it is time consuming. Aww. So I'm aiming for a size three, I yeah. think. <laughs> um, yeah, it won't be ready for a while. It won't be ready for this uh, for this birthday. Okay. Message on the bottom. Happy birthday, Yvonne. The panel is fabulous. The colours go so well together. Makes a change from Christmas red and green. That's from Katie Merseyside. Yeah, I think this has an elegance about it. Yeah. And the gold lifts the the uh, the charcoal because uh, you know sometimes people think black. Beverly says, "How wise Yvonne is! Everyone's idea of safety is different." Happy birthday, Yvonne! Great demo as usual from Beverly in Merseyside. Lots of people from Merseyside watching today. Well, it's North. only a little jump across the water to Ireland, isn't it, from I Liverpool? Suppose. Oh, yes, yeah, suppose so. <laughs> so this is what you should have. Okay. And that little insert just oh, gives lovely, you that pop. No, I, I just think that's really... Yeah. Can I ask about the corner then? What, like, we're going to need to look on the real thing because we're about to run out of time. But so you, you go, this, the, the gold one just goes round with them overlapping. Does the black one go round overlapping no, as well? No, we, we do sides. Yeah. Just down to the end of the panel. So we oh, do so sides, like do a top quilt. and bottom yeah, 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 as you yeah. would do with a normal yeah. quilt. Um, there's no mitering, nothing to make it difficult. Um, so you've got your one... Uh, lying on top of the other for uh -huh. that corner and then the, this is where the seam is along right, here okay, I see. but with this really dark mottled you, you barely see oh the no seams. exactly it doesn't matter anyway just uh, just wonder if it was yeah. a mitered one a straightforward one yeah. and then to, then did you quilt it did you quilt did you do any quilting on this one not a lot but some okay um you could do a lot more quilting down the bottom here, uh -huh. I think, uh, with these, the houses, with these houses, and of course, I think if you were uh, a beader or something like that, you could pop a few little beads on the antlers of the um, of those reindeer. You could uh, stitch some little uh, snowflakes, possibly on the ground uh -huh. around the houses, to just provide Good. some texture across yeah. here. Some um, of those those beads that you can't actually see when you look at them when they catch the light, they throw yeah. off like a mother of pearl or, or something yes, like that. Yes, just that little opulate, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I, 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 this, sometimes the fabric just talks to you. Yeah. This was one of those. Okay, she'd been drinking that day. <sighs> when are you in next then, Mrs. McAtamney? Um, not until the 28th of September. Oh. Um, because I'm not actually back in, from all of this uh, Belfast carry on until um, early in September. Right. And then I thought it was time to gather myself before I had to come in and do the flying geese row of the sower row. Oh yes. Oh, so that's on what date's that then? Just 28th of September. So the next Tuesday. row will be the 28th of September. Yeah, are you back off holiday by I then? Am I back in the twenty? I think I might be back on the 29th of No, no, I think I'm in the 28th. Um, yes, Hannah's saying. You no, know, I think I am because they had me down. Didn't they have me down for 28, 29, 30, and 31? And there's no 31. <laughs> what day of the week is it? It's a Tuesday as usual. Yeah, yeah it's me. It's me. Yeah. yeah so. It's all of us. Same team again. Same oh. team again. Uh, listen, have a fantastic birthday the rest of your day. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in. I hope, I know it will do, but I hope the 
quilt fair just is like the best, best, best ever. But I'm Thank sure, you. I'm sure it will Thank be. You. I'm, I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time. I know lots of people, lots of people are looking forward to it. And remember, where do they go? The quilt, what's it called? Quilt fair, Q-U-I-L-T-F-A-Y-R-E. And book your tickets online. Dot com, yeah. book your tickets Dot online. Yeah. I don't know if I've got anything to round up, have I? Robins. Okay, it's a couple not checked out. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Are you <laughs> supposed to be... <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing things, aren't I? Yeah. Right, okay, here we go. 18 99 for the Christmas fabric Robins. There's really none left. It's just some people haven't checked out. So if you just come in thinking, oh, I really want that. If you come in now, you can get that. But there's only a couple. There's literally a couple left. I can't give you any um, falling stars. But what I can do is remind you, because we were just talking about the row, so many of these have gone... Um, Please don't miss out. If, you're, if you've been collecting this, this is the Village Street. This is the Trees and Shop row, row five. 31 99 So it's a mixture of foundation, paper piecing and applique. Next month, at uh, the 28th, did you say? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, 28th September, it will be the Flying Geese. What are they meant to be? Flying Geese. Oh, Across the Flying the Geese. Uh, but one of them is different in each row. See this one? He's yeah. different. He's folded. He's oh, folded. so he's cathedral window. Oh, no, no, Ish. it's not. No, no. Fold no. over. It's folded. It's not cathedral window. That is a different technique. This oh. is a folded. So you have to tune in for that one then. Well, just. And, you know, and then there'll be one more row and we can get rid of you then. Well, only. Oh, no, we've got to finish it off. We've got to bind it, haven't we? Yeah, but it is just a binding. There isn't a border there. Yeah, yeah but there is talk that I might be doing another block a month for next year oh so we can't get rid of it no then no well there's uh, only so many people that'll put up with you john you know so you know fighting talk <laughs> we have cake in the other room uh, <laughs> we'll see you on the 20th september have a brilliant time and i'll see you, you with jane brogan in four minutes from now In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're
you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family run customer service team are on call 24 7. they're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible and not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you 
heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! No one is more disappointed than me this morning because I've been going on and on and on and on and on to anyone who'd listen about the 680 coming in today because it's the machine I've got, my machine of choice. However, well, Jane will explain. Jane's here with us. She's just sorting her stuff out over there. Um, it's stuck on a container somewhere still. Not our fault. Nobody's fault. We can't blame Jane. We can't blame the ships. We can't blame it. It's just the way it is. And you know it's like that because I've been going on about my garden furniture. Orders it in spring. Some, we just had a message saying it's a change of the season. Autumn is here now. My garden furniture's not here either, is it? So I promise, 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 as soon as the 680 lands, we will be doing it. The thing is, we're not allowed and we wouldn't want to do it. We could say to you, oh, we'll do the 680, but it'll be in some time. We don't do that. We only, <coughs> we only sell what we can ship out to you straight away. So, yes, you can go onto the website and go, oh, yeah, pre-order it date sometime in the future yes we can do that it's like it's very quickly it's like my uh, you know i'm having my new front door my new back door i said so when will it come in to be fixed he said we can't tell you we only ring you once it gets to our warehouse because we've said to so many people oh, we'll fit your new door on the 15th and then the new door, the new door hasn't even arrived by the 15th so i apologize profusely but we will bring it to you as soon as we can. However, we have got the 780, the 550, and a lovely overlocker to go through with you today. So, Jane from Elna. Good morning. How are you? Long I'm time no well, see. I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, Good, I you're know. looking well. Thank you. She was just yeah. saying she had a lovely time at Festival Quilts, oh, all the did, ladies yes. and gents at Festival Quilts. Yes, it was loads Quilts. of people that I haven't seen for a very long time, so it was just nice to have a good catch-up with everybody. And everyone said it was very, it was felt very safe and the whole thing felt really... It did, it was great, yeah. All the, all the people who were going, you could actually look at quilts because it was like massive you know, huge amounts of people everywhere. Yeah. Not that we got time to go and look at quilts. No, exactly. It would have been exactly. nice, but no, exactly. very few, but well, it was great. Great, nice and back. lovely to see you. Yes. So the 780, right, yep. so I've got the 680. Yes. This is the like next stage up, up, isn't it, yeah. really? Yeah, it's a bigger machine. It's got a much longer throat space with uh -huh. it. And it's got a, different things on it as well. So it's got like an automatic foot lift and lots more things that you can sort of program into the machine as it were. So uh -huh. it's okay, a very brilliant. different machine. So the basic, the basic sewing it's the same yeah. as my 680. It's exactly all, all, the same it's the as same, the 680. Um, quality and Pop the style yeah, of everything exactly, on the 680. Yeah, yeah. All exactly the same. It's just a bigger machine. It's just got more more features on it. It's like everything, isn't it? You know, if you go up a grade in your car, you've got more features. Oh, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so. and, and we all, um, the thing is, uh, we want to say, it, all the other machines, we, we like, I love this mm. range, the 550, yes, 560, yes. that they're all the highest quality for they that are. price yes. bracket that we're in. And yes. obviously, the more yeah. expensive you go, mm -hmm. the more you're going to get for your money. And yes. that's the same with this, yes. really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. So it comes to everything you need. So we'll have a quick run through. I'll yep. We've got the large extension table here. Mm -hmm. um, the legs actually, you pop the little top pieces on and these just clip in and out for easy storage. What I would suggest to people is all the little white bits on here and the legs, when you've got them in and got them set to your table level, just pop, put a little number on each one with a marker. So you put them back in the same ones if you have to take them off for storage. Oh, of course, because you've, 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 yeah, you've might you might have to tweak them just to sit to suit yeah, on your table perfect. a little bit better. And because it, it's a free arm, that slides on on the free arm. It slides it? on here. Well, this comes off on the end. So it's your free arm here. Brilliant. And the table That's just long. That's a long end. free it's, arm, isn't it? Yeah. It is great. So we're looking nice. at 11, 11 inches. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, foot pedal again. It's a standard. The large foot pedal. You've also got the little side pedal here. And again, you've got the little plate that these will fix onto. It tells you in the manual. So you've got, an, that's an automatic cut. It's almost like an industrial. Mm -hmm. so you plug it into the machine. You can just touch that. But you don't have to have that if you, you don't, don't want to. You don't have to, no. No, not at all. Um, the foot pedal, the large foot pedal, the cable is tucked in the back. We haven't forgotten to put it in, honestly. Yeah, perfect. So, and they sort of all sit there. I'm going to move those out of the way. And also, we've got the knee lift, which mm -hmm. we've explained before. It pops in the front here. 
Um, and it's handy for hands-free as well. So you just press a knee lift and lift the mm -hmm. presser foot up. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be without a knee lift when I'm sitting so yeah. down. This has got the automatic foot lift as well, so it's like what you prefer to use yourself. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, only because I'm old-fashioned yes. and remember yeah. the old I used lifts. to have industrials with knee lifts yeah, for many, many years. Yeah. 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 yeah, my first singer, big blue, it was a great yeah. big blue industrial machine, had mm. great big knee lift on yeah, it. Yeah, so they do. Feet and accessories. We have the box comes with it. Uh -huh. All the feet and accessories that you could possibly need, including two extra. I'm going to get this the right way around for change, otherwise Elliot will tell me off. Oh no, Elliot's not in there. It's Isn't like it? Oh, I'll be all right. Then I'm safe. Yeah. No, she'll she'll shout. <laughs> Hannah will so you get three needle said. plates. You've in got total. three needle plates. You've got what you'd be used for your standard needle plate is actually on the yeah. machine. Yeah. And then you get the straight stitch needle plate and the HP needle plate. Right. The HP plate, if you look, it's only got one centre hole here. Just look at my little pointy stick out for a yeah, second. Yeah, pointy stick. My little pointy stick out. You've only got the one hole here. It's used in conjunction with the HP straight stitch foot. Right, so when you use the, 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 that professional plate, plate, you must use you that use foot. Use that foot. It's designed to work with it. It's set for the needle position, everything set for and why, it. And why would you use that one? What's that? It's almost, do? if you have a look, with industrial, it looks almost like an industrial straight stitch foot. Yeah. It gives you a fabulous quarter of an inch when you're doing it as so well. So brilliant, brilliant for piecing, for your quilting. Yeah, if you're, if you're just piecing, doing straight stitch, because it only great. does straight stitch, doesn't it? It only does straight stitch when you've got this on. The machine knows if you've changed your foot plates, as well, or the stitch plates, and it won't let you do right, anything you, do you shouldn't. So you come with the HP2. It looks like a little walking foot with it. Oh, wow. Again, that's the HP2 that works with this. I did some curtains for my daughter at the weekend, and that's what I used yeah. to do it. Yeah. yeah. So you only use that foot and that walking foot with that plate? With the HP plate, Perfect. Yes. So keep those They're all together safe. Yeah. yeah. And that's your standard straight stitch plate, uh -huh. which you pop on. Again, the machine knows, um, and you've got a little bit of leeway for movement on your quarter inches on these as Perfect. well. Perfect. So we have got, that's your standard the Aki feed foot and it's, it looks smaller smaller than the one it's, I've got on yeah it's not got the white piece because these pop in the back of the machine right I think we've done a video somewhere of putting oh, have you? somewhere if not I'm sure there's one in the pipeline I'm sure <laughs> we'll ask Elliot <laughs> yeah and the nice thing with these is we can pull the bottom plate off which you can't do on normal you can't do on the others so yeah. you can get a quarter inch or an open toe one or in the ditch and you just bind the plate okay Thing to remember with these as well, with these bigger machines with a nine millimeter stitch width, they're all a category D when you're buying your spares and of course, yeah. I'll put that back in. So there. the one with the machine comes with the regular one on. Yes. If you want the others, the others they're available to them. buy. Yeah, they yeah. are available right. to buy. You've also got the ruler work foot because the rulers are still very popular. Uh huh. Oh use, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 And that that on its own, if you go to the ruler companies, yeah. can cost quite a bit of money. And they're quite they? often. Um, this is a nice solid metal one, and they're not always metal. No. Some of the ones from the ruler companies mm -hmm. they're slightly different. We've got the usual cleaning brush let me whip the rest of the feet out here okay. so we've got the ruler work we have got also oh i can't wait for the day when i'm standing over there oh no you know we normally go what's I this i know what's you this? normally have a test don't yeah. you yeah i could test you on these now when i get them all out no i, I can't see from here <laughs> that's not a good enough excuse <laughs> so let's pop all these out it comes with these standard a foot the presser foot's actually on the machine already yeah. So we'll just can I just talk about the price while James getting those out? £1,999. You can have uh, interest free five split payments of £399.80. So, when this will be, if you bought this today, it's delivered from Elna, it's in their warehouse in Stockport, ready to go. You'll pay the first one when it's dispatched, and then every month after that, you'll pay another one of those for five months. Your PP, if you've already bought something today, it's not an extra PP, it's just one PP for the whole day. Even though you could have bought something else from me here, which will come from our warehouse and it's important we point out that it's a two-year manufacturer's warranty, warranty yeah. so if anything goes wrong with the motor or any of the lights or anything like yeah. that then they will sort yeah. it out if you drop it or fall over it or break it that's not coming no it? unfortunately yeah. not no. no 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 but we have to <laughs> no. you have to state you have that to be quite clear. Yeah. and things like that's normal yeah. bobbing cases and needle threaders aren't covered because yeah. they're, they're clusters consumables yeah. now okay. so they are right so if you have so i've got yet. most of my feet out now there's a few more bits in there we'll get through later so you it comes with the free motion feet so you've got an open and a closed toe yeah. which is great I'm going to pop these back in here and stuff. Yeah, you should them. do them, yeah, because we don't want to yeah. lose them. No, no, we don't. It takes me long <laughs> enough to get them all back together again this morning. <laughs> I think they all sigh when they know I'm coming and going, oh no. Oh no. So we've got the rolled hem foot as well. That works probably up to about patchwork wet fabric and it rolls a lovely little double hem for you. Uh -huh. You can um, do your chiffon scarves like that that you make at Christmas. You can, can't you? yes, yeah, yeah, all kinds of things. And napkins if they're quite lightweight, anything uh -huh. like that. Um, you've also got the in the ditch foot. Right. The over edge foot, we've got an open toe and a closed toe satin stitch foot. 
Why yeah. would you need a closed toe one? The closed toe is a standard one that comes with most machines. And yeah. It's got the little red arrow in the centre, which shows you the centre point where you're sitting. Oh, uh, of course. The yeah. open toe one, you've got... If I'm, I use that when I'm doing a plique and things where I want a really good visibility. And when, when you want to see exactly yes, what you're saying exactly over. Yeah, the other one's going. got the little red mark on it showing the central yeah, bit. But if I'm you know you want to go definitely over a piece of fabric, yeah. yeah. Then you can just pop that one. Yeah, really good visibility. Um, we've got the over edge foot as well, which you, special stitch for that. All the feet have got letters on as well. Mm -hmm. um, it corresponds on the machine, the letter that you should be using for that stitch. Is on the foot mm -hmm. as well, so that's on there. And we've also got quarter inch foot with and without a guide because not everybody likes the guide. No. The guide's only good if you're, if you're going down the edge of a piece of fabric. Yeah, if you're doing quarter different. inch in, in a bit, then yeah, you'll you be can't. stuck. And again, you? the quarter inch foot I've used for top stitching before now around the corners of things, around the tops of things, which comes down really well. Um, zipper foot, the button sewing foot, the little oh, this little like almost like a horseshoe foot is yeah. for the variable zigzag. One of these days we'll get round to demonstrate. Yeah, that. yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, and again, these the three feet here now are for free motion quilting. I think we've done this before. Oh, yes. We're setting on the machine, yeah. and they're brilliant because they actually float across, um, and you can alter the foot height off your work as yeah. well. Perfect. And then we've got the buttonhole, standard one-step buttonhole, but it's got the plate on the bottom, which is great if you've got slippy fabric, stretchy mm -hmm. fabrics, so or you're going over a seam. You can just sandwich it in between, and it just feeds it across. And you've also got the option... And making the buttonhole a little bit longer, a little bit shorter yeah. as well. I've got a couple of questions. Things okay. about the 680, actually. You know the box there that we've got, that you've just got all yes. those things out of? Do uh, do Elna sell that on its own, or is it only something? I'm trying come? to get some in at the moment. Oh, there you go, Sue. That's I'm trying your question. at the moment to get some in with Elna. She on. bought her 680 from yeah. us, and then Jackie also bought her 680 from us. Says, uh, do I have to get my 680 serviced by an Elna stockist, or will any machine shop be all right? As long as it's a reputable, say, machine shop, they will they pop go. them in for service, yeah. Okay, perfect. If she's not sure who's local in her area, if she drops an email and they'll ping it through to me and I'll see who we've got there you go. locally yeah. or, in the or area. Or the number. You might get Lucy Brennan answering the phone. You never know. You might go. too. Right. Lucy might be on holiday, actually, at the moment. I'm oh, is she? she? Maybe, oh. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so they're all the feet that automatically yep. come with it. That's not additional extras or anything like that. That is what Everything, comes with the yeah. machine, isn't it? So you've basically got all the feet you need to get your sewing. Yeah. So there's nothing that you need to start buying extra, which is great, because it can actually mount up. Mm, of course system. it can. Yeah, pop the stitch plates there. Yeah. The, little, the cleaning brush, the quick on pick, and the spool caps all come with it as well. And a pack of needles. Okay. So I'm going to leave this on here for the minute. I tend to pop my feet on there when I've got two or three that I'm using yeah, at yeah. the same time. So, well, I haven't done this for a while, going back to front. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll be all right. I'm sure I'll survive. I can't see anything, but I'm sure I'll survive. The, we can see, though. That's fine. That's yeah. lovely for us. Yeah. So, this is a screen that will automatically default to every time you switch on. Okay. So, it's the utility stitches, which, again, are in the top up here. Right. So, if we want, I don't know if we can... Yeah, there we go, coming in top. there. So you've got all your different stitches along the top right. and on the bottom as well. Do we have different zones? You've got heirloom, applique, quilt, decorative, long stitches, pictograph. Oh, okay. Play. So they're all, they're all in there. Yeah. But this is your first screen, and it's touch screen. So if I want to zigzag, I literally just touch the zigzag. Okay. And it's always going to tell me what foot I need to use. Yeah. And you've got the width and the length on the bottom, which you can change. And you can change. Okay, so I was about to say what's the thing on the left, but I can see now. So when you change the size of that, don't look at me, look at the screen. I look at when you pre click on the white width and everything, look, it actually changes on the screen, doesn't it? Yeah, if you can see, it's coming. I mean, there oh, we can. Here you go, look, there you go, there, there you go, go, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the stitch change. Because sometimes you don't know on the when you when you get when you get closer and closer together, mm. you don't actually know how close it's no. sometimes you want a satin stitch, but not a full on not satin really, stitch. Not really, so right? it's yeah. yeah. So it, and it is quite nice. So you can go on with say with your satin stitch, it's just closing it right up. Yeah. Um and always sample it as well on what you're going to stitch on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, no, no, you're sampling on calico if you're then going to put it on chiffon or something no, like that. No, not whatsoever. Or if you're that. using it on a quilt project or an applique project, we've always got scraps that mm -hmm. are left over. Just pop them together and try it out on that. Yeah. And take a note of what you've got it set on. Definitely. Which is always good. So, uh, yeah. Jackie says thank you very much. That's okay. <laughs> She's welcome. So, again, we've got the utility screen here. So, mm -hmm. if I press next door Let's on have a look. this one, this one oh, here, yeah. There you go, brilliant. Curly Willy was. It brings us up all the different categories that are inside the lid. Oh, I see. So if you want to go straight to decorative or So if I want to go to decorative, I just touch decorative and there yeah. I am. And it's telling me on the top how many pages I've got of that stitch. Brilliant. Um, and to scroll through, it's the buttons on the bottom. 
and it's it's so much easier to use again with these and again for putting a sequence together you know like with a six eight we go in memory which is quick and easy to do yeah, it's not, yeah. not an issue but with these if we touch the little hearts here yeah and then I can touch screen whatever I want on here. Oh, and it does it all for you. So you don't need to press memory in between or anything. No, and it's going to pop them all together for me. Excellent. And if I want to see what that pattern's going to look like, I can just touch on the bottom and it brings me up on another screen. Oh, brilliant. So it's worth if you're putting letters in, it's always worth checking. It's spelling, spelling. I did yeah. something recently. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it should have been years, but it ended up with ears instead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, it was a sample. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll take that off and yeah. again you can save this onto the machine or onto a usb stick if you want to mm -hmm. um equally they're so quick and easy to put together i tend to do that yeah. so and then when you finish with it you can just touch the little hearts again and it goes back oh okay you can you keep so you can keep, there's a save button if you want to save. there them, is so. you can save them there's a little folder here so you can save them onto the machine or onto a usb stick Perfect. either I um, yeah. what i will say when you're putting stitch patterns together if you want to do it as a continual new pattern, then just leave it. But if you only want to do, say, those stitches once, yeah. then just pop a lock stitch yeah, on. Yeah, so if end. you just want to write yeah. John yes. and not do anything else. With the alphabets, it stops automatically. Oh, okay, all right then. But so with, let's say we just want to do six spells, yeah. and that's it. And that's it. So you would do that, then put your lock stitch on, and it'll stop for perfect. you automatically. So we're going through here. So you've got mirror image as well. Uh -huh. All the stitches that are shaded in grey on the lid will flip four ways. Perfect. Vertically and horizontally yeah. as well. I'm trying to see where we are with decorative, what we've got on here. Um, oh, so if I go stitch number 20, I think is here, is it? No, we've got 21. Always the way, isn't it? Yeah. The next one along. Um, oh, I can't get my, myself focused. Of oh, 17. Nope. Next one. So we'll go 26. Here we go. Where's 26? There's 26 there. That one? Yeah. Yeah. So that will go that way. Yeah. If I touch this. It will go that way. Oh, brilliant. And it will also go that way. So again, you can build more yeah, patterns up yeah, using yeah, yeah, the same definitely. stitch. You're not tied. There's, I mean, the, the amount that you can put together is absolutely endless. You've gone forever trying to work all these out. Yeah, yeah. So but also it means if you're doing, an, if you're doing a, a decorative stitch like round mm. a cushion or something yeah. like that, it means you, you can keep it going like that all the way around. You yeah. don't have it going that way, that way, and then it's suddenly yeah because you've had to keep it, it so it's not the same yeah. way. Whereas you can keep it going nicely. Yeah. And the other nice thing on these machines, which leading nicely on from that, oh yes, is the we haven't rehearsed the <laughs> is, the, is the back to beginning or the start over key here. So say I was doing something like that and I got to the corner and stopped and pivoted. Mm -hmm. We've all done it. You sit there and think, right, where am I going now? Yeah, where do you stop? You, if you press that key, it will go back to the beginning of the stitch and start again for you. Oh wow. That's, that's available on a lot of the machines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you've got it on your machine, honestly. Have I? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, when we do the 680, when it comes I'll in, we'll you. do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just show you. So, yeah, so it's quite straightforward. So, again, we're going back, and you can just select all your different stitches that you want to. Brilliant. And they will all go the same. Uh -huh. Let's go back onto, oh, we'll go to a plique. So, again, all your plique, you can just select them. There's a, there's a feature on here as well. There's a couple of features in settings. I don't know if we're going to have time to go through it. Um, so you've got resume mode, which you can put, put on. So that if I've been sewing away and I've selected my stitch and I've set it all up and I switch the machine off. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, no, I forgot. Yeah. You can then, when you switch back on, the machine will say, do you want to resume your last stitch? Oh, So it will brilliant. pick it up for you. Or if it's a project, I use it on the plique a lot. You can go in and set it as a favourite stitch. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if we've actually got it on the machine. No, it's not been set on the machine as yet. The little button I've just pressed here. Come on then, here. So you've yeah. always got, that's always visible. This one then brings me up. So you've got your width, your length, you've got your tension, and the top foot pressure's in there as well. Oh, br that's good. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Got a couple of questions just coming through for you. Linda says, bought my 780 from East last September, still finding out new things. Are there other pattern stitches available to download, says Linda? No. You, you can't with more, those. You, Linda? you can't Come with those. I'm going to actually double check because we've got a USB on here and all the bits are missing. I haven't done this for so long. Um, and I want to see... You've got Stitch Composer. There's a disc in there called Stitch Composer. Right. Um, that enables you to create your own stitches. It's on Microsoft only. Um, so that's included, yeah. Yeah, that's all in there. So pop that on the laptop and have a little play, and you can create your own stitches. There you go, so then. There you so go. rather than download them, you can create your own. Yep. Next question very quickly was from 
Bernadette, do, uh, read 780, do you need a pen or can you touch with your fingers? Great demo from Bernadette in Bromley. Yeah, um, you technically you should use a pen. I have been known to use my fingers, though. And well, it's, it's only because you've got grease on your fingers. Yeah, and, and it isn't. You just desensitize. put bumps all over there. And again, you know, the stylus comes with it. Make sure you're not using a pencil or a pen or something because you will damage your screen. Oh, yes, yeah, you always use the stylus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And last question very quickly from Kate saying, is the stitch that is on the screen to scale and what, with what will actually be sewn. So the, the stitch it, down the side. Yeah, it's about, yes, that's all I can yeah. say. It's not precise. It can't be precise, yeah. But it gives you a really good indication when you're altering it of what it will look like. Uh -huh. And again, sample, always sample yeah. things. And does it have free arm? I can answer that one. Yes, it does have a free arm. Yes, yeah. it does, yeah. Okay, so where are we going to go next then? Oh, I don't know. Where should we go next? I Let's have know. a look. So you've got tapering on the machine as well. I think we've looked at this before. Uh -huh. So certain stitches we can taper. That is brilliant for doing borders. Um, around quilt labels and things like yeah, that, or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. You can just see, you can taper the stitches. So there's a variety that you can use. Again, it will tell us on the top how many pages there are, which I uh -huh. can't see, but I think it's six pages. Five, tapering five. five. Oh, right, I can't. I, I can't. can see, I can see it on and the you big can see, telly. Oh, from, yeah. I want to look at the big telly. Yeah, look at the big telly, you can <laughs> see it Not the small there. one, I might have a yeah. chance then, yeah. So on page two of five now. So I just select my stitch, so I'm going to go for that one. Yeah. And you can see the ends are tapered, but I can pop down here. And that brings me into another screen that's got all different degrees of tapering. Oh, okay. So I know 45 degrees is what I would use to get perfect corners. Yes. Um, and again, you can put in, you can just do it for as long as you like and then stop. Okay, so you're, you're, you're on 60 there, is that because that's the one that's not coloured in, is that 60? Where am I looking at? I look on the big telly. I'm looking on the big telly. Yes, I am, I'm on 60. Yeah. <laughs> So if I go 45, you can see it's changed the yeah. angle. Oh, yeah, then it makes the corner. It makes a perfect yeah. corner, like a yeah. mitered corner. It does, and they're great. So, and again, you can just go along, and then when you've got as far as you want, you can stop, and it will ask you, do you want to do that same length again? So if you're doing a square, it's perfect. So you just go, yes, please. Oh, yeah, but if you're doing an oblong. Yeah, then no. But you can actually select how many pattern repeats you want to put in as well. I right. just popped on that one. Touch a little calculator and say, <laughs> I want... Oh, 12 pattern repeats, okay. And it will do me 12 pattern repeats. Um, it's one you need to play with the machine. Yes, There's lots definitely. of features. I mean, we're all guilty. We just go on and, yeah, I'm doing a straight stitch. Yeah, you know, until you suddenly so. come to do a corner. Yeah. Think, oh, I didn't have a look oh, at what did I do this? So there are so many features on this machine. That's really handy. And again, you can save your patterns if you want to. Brilliant. So I'm gonna go, okay, we're going to go back. So we've got tapering. Next one is alphabets. So you have got the block script Broadway and the block nine mil. The block nine mil is uppercase only. Right. All the others are upper and lowercase. Mm -hmm. Has that got numbers in it as well? It has, yes. If we go on to block nine mil, and you can see the screen here. So it's telling me I've got three pages. So again, I can go through on the bottom. So it's got numbers, ex, you know, punctuation. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's got all, all those. Sorts. I was like thinking, where are they? Where are they? All there's a whole screen of, of yeah, them there. Yeah, there's a whole screen full of them there. Brilliant. And they're all, they're, they, are, they, are we in nine or seven? We're in nine, we're there, so they're off the case. If yeah. you're in seven, let me just have a little look. So we're going to seven. You have then got the option to go upper or lower case when I can find out where I've gone. Here. Little, yeah. Oh, I'm going. No, we're going. I can't, I can't see from here at oh, all. So okay. let's go again. There we go. So again, we've got the same punctuation marks. You can go up or lower. And I can't find my little icon. Is it that one? Is it in the, no, is it in the next row? I'll it? find it in a minute. Yeah. But say we've got upper or lower case right. with these. So, And again, when you finish, straight back onto here. I think if I go back again now, I should be able to. Oh, I just can't. I you really can't, can't if you see If you click on the big screen. A, would that make it into little a? So click on the, the dark blue one, the top row. Keep, and then that. down. Oh, there uh, you go. Hooray, thank you. That's right. I'm glad somebody's awake this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I really... No, no, because it's what you do when you get your machine is you go, what does I this know, do? What does this like, do? I'm so long since I've been on yeah. all these doing this. You just sort of, your brain goes. It doesn't take a lot. Yeah. And what's the t-shirt for then? The t-shirt is fabulous. It's sewing applications. What? Sewing applications. It's like having a tutor on board. Oh. So we're going to a little t-shirt and it brings you up all the different categories. So you've got seaming, over edge, oh. shelf tucks, rolled hems, zips, gathering. Yeah. And we can go across. So we've got basting. So if you're, if you're basting, are you basting automatic or doing it manually? And it will reset oh, wow. automatically there. Yeah. It's gone to free motion. 
So if you're basting your quilt or whatever, you can do it that way. And is it telling me to put my free motion foot on? Yes, it always tells you what to put on. And then will it tell me to put my feet dogs down if I need to put my feet dogs it down? It will, yeah. yeah, yeah, before you start. Yeah. So if we go back onto here, um, again, you've got patchwork, you've got applique, mm -hmm. you've got patchwork on the bottom here. Again, with the patchwork, you've got straight stitching or the auto lock where it'll do three stitches. And when you press to the end of the seam, and again, uh, the I same see. as the tapering, it will say, do you want to do that stitch length again? So if you're chain piecing, it's brilliant. You can just go, yes, please. Oh, and it wow. will just automatically keep doing that for you till you tell it otherwise. Now, right. we, get, we get a manual, don't we? There is a manual. The and manual is here. And we get a DVD as well. Um, there are DVD. The manual I find... I prefer, oh, I prefer the manual. I prefer a manual. Yeah. It's really clear. It's all black and white. And when it comes, it just tells you everything about the machine, yeah. all the different parts, what actually comes with it. You see, I think I'd have to, when I first started, I'd just sit there with a, a highlighter pen or some post-it notes and yeah, just I read through it with, the no, with, the, yeah. with all the things that yeah. I know that I want to yeah. go to quite regularly or yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah, or I'll say to them, just make like a fold up shopping bag or a cushion cover just to get used to all the bits and pieces yes. initially yeah. but it's a really good straightforward manual we've also got the semi-rigid red cover which is oh here it is oh yeah yeah, yeah. here's well, one it we made earlier that, yeah. he did bless him so that goes over it's a dust cover more yeah yeah because you're not it's not the kind of machine you're going to be taking to class or anything once it's in your workroom you sort of it's going to stay there but also because the lid closes everything tucks in and that right. just reminds me we've forgotten one really vital part on this machine what thread the light Oh, oh! So we've got the pull-out light. Did lights. you see that? Hang yeah. on, Emma's just coming round now. If I take that back in, yeah, and then we just pull out, and you've got an extra sewing light. I, you've got a little bit of room. I tend to tip mine up like that because it seems to bounce off. Right, and give you even more light. Yeah, even exactly. more light. Yeah, that's really handy. I almost forgot that. That's terrible. So, so it's got normal, it's got normal it's lighting. It's got your standard LED lighting, you've got lighting. loads of extra, you look at the lighting on these machines now is absolutely oh, fun. Yeah, I when I get that. my old Elna Quilting Queen out, it's got like a little yellow bulb in yeah. it, it's so old, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, oh. yeah. Oh no, that's brilliant, that's really bright white lighting are, there, isn't yeah, it? They are, yeah, they are really, uh, really So good. when it arrives at my house and I get it out of the box, yeah. it's ready to use, isn't it? It is, yeah. You I can just go ahead and do straight stitches on all my different sits of Yeah, just thread it up. It's a standard bobbin, the Elna Janome bobbins will fit. Same as the feet, the genome feet. Yeah. You've been aware that this is a nine millimeter stitch width, so you can't interchange, say, from the five fifty. Uh -huh. You can't interchange feet. No, Bobbins no, no. I say that. I say you say that all the time because yeah. you have to watch the watch yeah, the category. Yeah, you do. Don't things you? you're doing those, but they're quite obvious that they're so much bigger when of you course. look at them. But again, it's a quite straightforward book. It tells you through everything. Uh huh. And it's Anna, what do you want me to say? Sorry. Oh yeah, I'll do that in a second. Do it in yeah. Second. And again, another handy feature on these, we've got the lock. So I can lock that machine now. Yeah. So nothing, I haven't got the foot pedalling because you don't need it if you don't want it to start up. Nothing's going to work. The only thing that will work is our automatic foot lift. Brilliant. Um, so that's a really good safety feature if you're going to leave it and you've got children. Yeah, of course, you animals. Pets. Um, there's one button on there that I don't recognise. So I see the reverse button, I yeah. see the start stop button, I see the lock stitch, stitch. button, I see the need lock down. down. That's your automatic foot lift. Uh, so that comes in, I'm, I'm all threaded up, good to go, what have we got on here? So I need to unlock it. Yeah. And we're just on, I'm going to pop back to, straight back to a straight stitch. There we go. Yeah. So you've got the automatic foot lift, I'm going to slow it down. So when I press stop start, the foot will automatically go down for me. Do you, can you just push the top lighting, it's a bit bright for our camera at the moment. Is that any better? Oh, sorry, I, I just pushed it, there you go, there you go. Yeah. So if I stop now. That's always, again, always going to stop with the needle in. But if I want, I can go, if I touch the icon here, the little yeah. foot, so that's active now. So every time I stop now, it's going to stop with the needle in and it's going to lift the foot for pivoting oh, for me. brilliant if you're doing quilting. Yeah. Because then you haven't got to let go of you the... You haven't, your hands DK, free. So some people the prefer thing, the, um, and the lock stitch will stop. Yeah. I can go into settings as well and set it so it will automatically cut every time I press the lock stitch. Oh, yeah. Is it high or low shank, please? It's high shank. High shank. If you've got rulers, it's high shank. It's high shank, yeah. And then it just stops and cuts and you've just got a little time. It saves so much time and thread. Perfect. These machines doing that. Got a FIFU about somebody who's got it already. Beautiful machine, having a fantastic holiday, learning to use it from Anne-Marie in Aberdeenshire. Lovely, Ooh. nice. Very yeah. nice, very nice. Nice indeed. way to spend a holiday. 
Exactly. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to point out to me? Because I, I think we could be here all day, to be honest That's, with you. Well, yes, there exactly. are just so many features on it. I think at one point we did quite a long, um, in-depth thing. Whether it's available on YouTube or not, I don't oh, know. Oh, we'll ask Elliot. Yes, Elliot definitely. will know. Elliot's the fount of all knowledge. Just so, if you so. search Sewing Street and search the machine, yeah. then it should it should come up. And if Elliot pops in in the next hour, then uh, we'll yeah. ask him. Or there's other demonstrations where I've used it and we've gone into more depth yeah, with it. But it is, Actually, just, also, the other thing you could do is put in Sewing Street Jane Brogan, oh, no. because that brings up all of your it's films. Scary. It is a bit scary because the whole screen's <laughs> filled with her. But I know, it's very you can scary. go through all the Jane Brogue ones and it'll say what it'll be about. in there somewhere, yeah. yeah, yeah when definitely. we've done longer demonstrations on it and gone into it in more depth. There's so much on it as you're going through, you're just trying to remember everything. So. No, of course, right. Now, what we need to do is we need to go onto the overlocker. So while Jane sorts that out, I'm going to talk about the 550 so that Jane can set up um, her overlocker now. Right, now, you know me, I, I love the 550, 560, 570. Uh, they all come with a hard case. Uh, they all come with an extension table. Now, obviously, this is a completely different. This is a completely different um, customer. We're, we're aiming towards a completely different customer here. Four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. It's a fantastic starter machine, but with extra, with with more than you need just for a starter machine. Do you know what I mean? It's got because the five fifty, the five sixty, the five seventy, all exactly the same uh, machine, the same motor, the same everything. All the engineering bits of it are all exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> Hannah's very close to the edge of shot there. Um, but 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 uh, you get the more. Like we were saying earlier, the more you pay, the more bits you get. What I would like you to do is I'd like you to Yahoo, Google, or Bing. Not Hannah. I'm just saying to you at home. Just put in Elna 550, right? And you, the, we can't find anyone else that sells it at this price, right? We've searched high and low, and it seems that what happens here is we charge you for the 570 what everyone else is charging for the 560. We charge you for the 560 what everyone else is charging for the 550. This, if you look elsewhere for this, it's 579 pounds. 579, look at the split pay, look at the split pay. Oh, sorry, I was meant to pay, talk about split pay about that sewing machine, I'll do that at the end. Um, I've got a price comparison for you very quickly here. Look, that's it, and it's not, that's not, oh, Hannah's found the one that's most expensive. Literally everywhere we go, it's £579, this machine. I'll just tell you as well, what you get here is you get your lock stitch, you get your needle up, needle down, you get your um, go faster, go slower, you get your re reverse button there, you can just use the, um, if you don't want to use the pedal, you can just use the start stop button here. This is to choose your stitches because it comes with 50 inbuilt stitches. This here is your, the stitch width, that's your stitch length. These are shortcuts straight. Look at this, it even does the over edge stitch, which is like an overlocker but with, it obviously doesn't cut you off. And that will take you straight through to a buttonhole, right? You're thinking, well, how do I know what stitches it's doing? The stitches are all here. There's 50 stitches on there. Let me move it that way for you, so there you go. There are 50 stitches in built into this sewing machine. So you've got your straight stitch, your zigzag stitch, your stretch stitch, you've got some decorative stitches, you've got utility stitches in there and everything. And yes, you can play with the size of them. So if the size when you put this in, it's not the right size, it will come up at the biggest one, but you can make it smaller if you want to. It does have a needle threader. And it does have, I love this, right? So you put the foot down normally, there's your foot down normally, there's your foot up normal, look. You can take it up even higher if you are going through a quilt sandwich or anything like that. LED lighting, it's a really, really, really lovely machine. Now I'm thinking, if you thinking about buying for some, someone for Christmas, like a daughter or a son, somebody going off to university, or indeed you've got a big one at home and you want to have this for your classes, then if you start buying it now, 166.33 is all we'll take today, plus your PNP if you haven't bought anything else. Then there's two other payments of 166.33, Paid for by October, isn't it? Hang on, where are we now? August, September, September, November. August, September, no, August, September, October. So it's paid for in, well before Christmas, if you're thinking about buying it as a Christmas gift. This is a really, really lovely machine. Now, I know you can get entry-level machines, and you can you see them in supermarkets like that for £100, £200. You get what you pay for, basically. This has got a really solid, a fantastic, fantastic motor and engine and everything like that. Comes with a two-year warranty. They're in stock, they're in stock port, and they're ready to be shipped to you right now. Right, OK, I'm going to move back now, because Jane is up after coming to work with you now. Hello. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much indeed. Oh, and also I forgot to tell you, it's got a, it's got it's got a, a free arm and a gubbins box yeah. on there, and it does come with about five feet. It comes with a quarter inch foot. It comes with all. Yeah. It comes with a buttonhole foot, a quarter inch foot, all things like that. Please look on the website. I'm not going to go on and on about this because we're now going to look at the overlocker.
There we go. The only thing I will add to that oh, is yes. all our machines come with a metal subframe inside. They've almost like got a metal skeleton, so it makes them really durable. Yeah, and it's the weight of a big cat. Yes. Six kilos, so, I think. I don't is. know about my cat. <laughs> well, no, mine, mine were nowhere near that way, but yeah. That's... Right, okay then. So. so today, we've gone back. We haven't been on here for ages with the air thread, so it's the air threading overlocker. Many people are terrified of overlockers with the threading, and it's always the bottom loopers that they're frightened of. Um, so this one, it takes the fear away. Very easy to use. It's straight across, so normally you've got all the little bits and pieces in there. Yeah. I'm going to cut these threads. I did a quick thread earlier when I got in just to make sure it was still working properly. Okay, um, right, quick, quick question. Georgina yeah. says, can I buy the big foot pedal that's on there to go with my 730, Elna 730? Oh, you should be able to. I would phone customer service phone and customer double services, check with that's them. Fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then Pat says, a uh, few words need for 780. It's fabulous. I love it. So that's one from Pat. Uh, right, now, for an overlocker, what a lot of people are frightened of is the threading up of an overlocker. Yeah. That's what used to terrify Absolutely me. Absolutely terrified, yeah. But this yeah. takes away the fear. It takes it? away all the fear. It's the air thread. What I always say to people as well, when you get your overlocker first, thread it up. If you can see on here, I've got different coloured threads that correspond to the tensions. Right. So when you start using it, just have a little practice and it gives you an idea of what thread's doing what on the yeah. machine. So if you need to tweak your tensions, um, that's all done. Right, as always, press the foot up when you're threading because it opens the tension disc. That goes across all the machine sewing uh -huh. as well. And this one then, if we have a look here. So you've got the little dials. This is on sewing mode on the bottom. So I'm going to turn that back. That's threading mode now. Uh -huh. And the little dial on the top is for either the right or the left looper. But again, you thread the right looper first. Yeah. So I need to now set, if you can, if you can get in close enough to see, turn the flywheel, there's marks on it. And when they line up, well, it makes that big clicky noise. It pops noise across, thing. and you can see there's little tubes come across here. So that it's... That's so the thread can get through from the from hole so right the way through. When it whooshes it through, yeah. yeah. So again, underneath, down, through. I'm going to get that through the back, hopefully. Pull it down. Tweezers again. Tweezers are indispensable with an overlocker. Uh -huh. That's one of the most useful pieces of kit. You I do get a little box of um, with all your tools you in You do, but the little you? box appears to have... Um, Elliot's got it. <laughs> ...gone somewhere. where little boxes go. Yeah. I've got everything here anyway, so, yeah. Right. Again, I'm back to front again. It was lovely when I was sitting out there in a chair doing it earlier. Yeah. As always. So just pop. I don't know, about an inch or so down there. I think there is. So you've literally just taken the end of the thread I'm and pushed it into the hole. I'm just taking the end of the hole. thread and popping it into the hole here. There we go. That should do, I hope. I've got enough in there. Right. And again, just pop pop it round. Dial up. And through. Oh! And that's it. Threaded. That's a tricky bottom looper thread. Yeah. As easy as that. That's underneath. And again, if I take this across now, onto this one, and again through, down, through the back here, through the... Yeah. Again, make sure it goes to all the guides. It, it is very easy. So it's just not as easy doing it from the back. No, of course not. So. There is a playlist on YouTube. If you want to go to YouTube, there is a playlist there of all of Jane's films. And also, Kirsty just said, I bought the 664 last month and Jane's video on the Sewing Street YouTube site is brilliant. Oh, I've thank unthreaded you. and threaded up loads of times now with no fear. Thank you for the brilliant instructions, yeah. Jane. Yeah, they are excellent machines, yeah. I do love the elements. I thought you were about to say, yes, my, my seminars are excellent. <laughs> my lessons are excellent. Of course they are. <laughs> Would you expect? any less so again i've popped that down now this is the real one that you will really see threading if we can get in fairly close yeah um and it's coming should in do. there you go oh see it just shot out the side here and that's it that's the tricky loop of threads Done. which are the, the underneath yep. ones aren't they which are really yep. difficult and there are so many safety features on this machine if i've gone right that's great i'm ready to sew and i haven't turned it back it won't close so it's mm -hmm. telling me you haven't finished off so as soon as i pop that back onto sewing i can then close and um do you have to thread in any particular order like all over lockers right right side first yeah yeah, right yeah side, so if you're right looking at it, the one on the yeah. right first, then Always the next one, that, next yeah. one, And if you, one. if you break a loop of thread, then take them both out and re-thread them in the right order, because right. otherwise they're not necessarily laying in the correct place. To so if you do break a loop of thread, or your loop of thread runs out, mm -hmm. do you need to take both of them, do you need to put the, take the other two out as well and start all over again? I, not so much thing. with the needles, yeah. because they're both going through the needles, that's fine. But with the loopers, if one goes, I would always take them both, both out and re-thread on any overlocker yeah. that way. Or also, you will note on an overlocker, you've got four threads. Two of them went out much quicker yeah, than others. Yeah, yeah. So again, switch cones over. 
as you're saying. Yeah, um, yeah. And again, with the overlocker, you tend to, you can get away with like a, a beige, probably a black and a couple of different greys and they yeah. will cover most bases oh, yeah, totally. for you. So unless they? you're making yeah. a feature of it and then you yes. need to put your colour on. But on yeah. the whole, yeah, yeah. black, white, grey. Yeah, beige, and that yeah. covers most things for you. Yeah. yeah. So it does. And again, it's like with everything, you know, sample your machine as well and make sure that you're getting used to it because you will find, let me just pop that down there. I don't know where I've gone to with this now. I can't see. Um, and again, I don't know if we can see any better. Come on, am I going Which right? way are you go? Where are we I'm looking I'm going at? down here, actually. I'm going to come around the corner. Okay. Um, and oh, you, yes, yes, And yes, you yes, can see a lot of there, overlockers yeah. to change to to a rolled hem or anything. I mean, you can open the side for cleaning, yep. but a lot of overlockers then, we have to go in and we have to take things out and take the blade down for a rolled hem. You don't have to do that for this. So you can, there's a little dial here and it goes round. And What's that for then? That's lowering the blade. The blade has gone. I don't know if we can see it. Oh, yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. The blade's yeah. gone. So that's so if you, you don't want it to cut If you anything. don't want the cut in or anything mm -hmm. like that, and then you just take it round and keep going round. I've got the right way here. Yeah. Um, that and says it just pops it back up again. Yep. Brilliant. Now that's really easy to do. Yeah. Um, and again, you've got the cutting width here. You see it's marked for a 5 eighths. So if you're dressmaking, uh, use that as your hem guide as well. Yes, yeah. yeah, in my day, you just guessed where you were well, doing yeah. it. Well, yeah, I think some of us still do. What's the days. R and the S? That's your rolled and standard. Right, so, so, so it stays rolled, on S most yeah. of the time, so isn't it? So it's down the bottom. Where have we gone to here? Here we go. So it's on standard. Rolled, you clip it across, left needle comes out, and you alter on the stitch length to R. So if you're not using one of the needles, you take it out? Take it out, and I would take the thread right away as well, because you can guarantee, you think, oh, it's, I'll do it really quickly, and it'll get all tangled up. Yes, of up. course it will. And that's for doing rolled hems? Rolled right? hems. Do yeah. I, need to, I, don't need to, so I don't need to do anything else apart from do that and take the needle take out? Take the needle out and just pop your settings across so it yeah. goes from standard to rolled. And then on the end here, I'm going to turn it back round again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can see on here, we've got the, the stitch length here, and just take that round to R here. Oh, and hang on, I need to swing that, swing get, that round. Can we, we need to get to this. There you go, there it is. Perfect. There yeah. we go. And take this round to R. You can see the R there. Yeah. And you've got a little bit of leeway. Normally, it's your stitch length, same as the same machine. I would have it on about three. Yeah. And you've got the differential feed as well on overlockers. And what does that do? You've got two, it's a longer feed. If you look, the overlockers are really long, and it's two separate feeds, so they will work in conjunction with each other. So if you've got a really stretchy fabric, <laughs> It might start bowing out, so you can alter the differential feed, so it might feed it through a bit quicker or oh, a bit slower. Okay. And again, once you get to know your fabrics, you'll know where to put your settings. Of course, yeah, brilliant. We sample it. And what, because you can use an overlock, can't you? Four thread, three thread, or two thread. Yes. What would, what's the difference? What, what, what does a four thread, a three thread, and a I two thread I think it's just do? coverage. A lot of dressmakers tend to use a three thread yeah. because it saves on thread yeah. as much as anything, and it still does the same function. Two thread, I would say, is for lighter fabrics. We're doing something quite light. Yeah. yeah. So, so a three thread, you can still sew the seam. Because yeah. when I first started using an overlocker, I only used it to finish seams yeah, off. Yeah, so like that's what most people costumes, still do things. now, yeah. don't they? Yeah. But if you want to sew, like if you're making a stretch dress and you want to sew and finish off at the I'd same time. I'd use a four thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And again, I put quilt fronts together on these, like a basic one. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I, I've still got to try that. You because should be doing that. It's quite straightforward ones because so long as you're... Not trimming off loads, as long yeah. as you're literally just taking the little tiny bits off the edge, your seam allowance is all going to be the same. But can you set it to a, three, to a quarter inch seam allowance? How do you work out your quarter inch seam allowance? No, I just, I'm not a precise, precise oh, okay, person. Okay, okay. So it's, it's about just keeping it on the edge here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just have a little play with it. So long as you're consistently doing it, I've done like brick types of quilt, just yeah. using loads of scrap squares up, quite big squares. Brilliant. And just literally cut one in half and then go across and then fall one underneath. Very forgiving, you don't have to match anything. <laughs> uh, here we go, £849, that's five split payments for 106 so you could get this home today for your first payment of £169.80. They're in Stockport, ready to be shipped out to you. Again, they have the two-year warranty, yes. they'll know what manufacturer's mm. warranty. Um, and uh, th there's a customer service team there that you can ring, like Jackie was just saying, she's run several times. So anytime, don't feel thinking, oh, I can't ring, I can't ring, that's a silly question. No question's a silly no, question. No, if you've no. got any problem, not problems, anything you just want to ask about it, it doesn't have to be a problem. It doesn't have to be like, oh, it's not working, it's not this, it's not that. Uh, right, on the front of that one, I've got, have we got that one asked? What's that label on the front there? That label here, I was just going to say, it's a specific needle for the overlockers. Right. Okay, so it's not a standard sewing needle, it's got a ballpoint on it. Okay, so, and then what's this switch on this side here? What are we looking at? Standard and tight. So that yeah. is just different. It alters these tensions 
Okay. So you keep okay. it on standard. You start keep I, it on I standard. tend to keep it on standard, but some sort of trickier fabrics. If you start skipping stitches or anything, maybe pop it onto tight and just that little bit of tension on. They've changed so much. Oh, I know they, they have. They? They're not a machine to be frightened of, no. and it really is one of those machines where you think, oh, I don't need one. I don't need one. As soon as you get one, you think, how have I lived without this? Haven't they you? are so versatile. Yeah. I do a lot of soft furnishings, and I'll always, if I've got a fray fabric, I'll always run it around the overlocker before I start working yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, I've got some fifus for you to see. Oh, one is one fifu. There's lots. Go to the website to check them out. Uh, excellent service, delivery on time, package well from Linda in Merseyside. Well, that's oh, all yes. down to you, you and your team, no, isn't it, not really? Me, not me it, they are an excellent. <laughs> I do have an excellent yeah. service, right? Oh, there's one more, sorry, one more. Uh, good machine. My wife is getting used to it <laughs> and figuring out its full potential yeah. from Leslie. But that's it, isn't it? You're, you're going to get it. You think, oh, it's just going to finish edges. I didn't know you could do it when I first started to do rolled hems. I yes. didn't know you could do all these decorative stitches. You can do stitches. like a flat lock on it as well. Yes, Maybe yeah. when we do have more time, we'll do it um, with the flat lock. So you pull it flat and it's just a decorative top stitching. Then you can use fluffy threads in the um, looper on the bottom. Yeah. So if you're doing um, swimwear or anything like that, it just bulks up. Yeah. And you can use decorative threads as well. Oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. But just remember, the needles that you use, don't use your sewing machine no. needles. They are you do get a pack needles. with the machine and they are readily available. Yeah. They're the same price. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing Yeah, and, and if, you, if you can't find it, I don't know if we sell them, but if you can't find them, just ring the Elna hotline and they'll either tell you where to go to or, or, or buy them from, yeah. can't you? Yeah, yeah. Blimey, uh, well, what else do we need to talk about, Hannah? Right, we're just going to recap all three okay. machines slowly. So, shall we start with 550, because I'm over here, Right. Uh, 550, it's a, right now, the one thing I didn't say was it's a metal. It's a, they're all our machines have got a metal like skeleton almost. Me inside. Metal skeleton. So it's, but the thing is, you can tell as soon as you see it's yeah. sturdy. It's not, you know, you can say, like I said earlier, you can see some sewing machines at supermarkets. You pick them up, they're as light as a feather. They don't have any weight behind them. This is a really, really lovely machine. As I say, Google it, Yahoo it, or Bing it. £579 is where you pay, what you'd pay most of the time from most places. We haven't found anywhere that's different from that. What's the best thread to use an overlocker, please, says Shirley? It's just, it's like everything else, a good quality thread. Yeah. You, there are, they are available. I tend to use a great big cones because I'm industrial. Them. But do use an overlocker yeah. thread. Don't waste your best, I was going to say, don't waste your best orophils and things like that. No. Because Ooh, gosh, no. unless it's no. something you're going to decorate on the outside, don't use your orophils no. for it because you just want a good, you get high quality, you get really high quality ones. Yeah. I'm just looking at what they're called up on the top shelf there. We have the cones of the silver. You and the do, gray yeah. And I mean, it's like these, they are, they tend to be bigger as yeah. well. So you got yeah. a lot more. Well, yeah, yeah, you're gonna, you don't yeah. want to be keep chain thing. No. Right, this is £419. You split pay, three split pays of 166.33. It's a really lovely machine with the 50 inbuilt stitches, really good motor, nice and solid, good starting place with a ta extension table and with a, a, a hard cover. And it comes with about five or six feet completely for free. You can then buy other feet if you want to as you get do start doing different things uh, but you remember it's a, a B to C category. It's a category B feet. Category B. Category yeah. B fitting that one. Okay so that's that machine. Well done if you've got that. The 780 opposite end of the spectrum obviously it's kind of they're going to be two different kind of customers. Let's see if I can get the lid up for yeah. you. There we go. So here's the 780. There you go. So it does everything basically yeah, that's all we can say really isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's an excellent machine. Lots of inbuilt features. We haven't even skimmed the surface no. of them today. No. There's so much it can do. Go to go to the YouTube and look the, the playlist, Jane's playlist on there. Right, now it's £1,999, this machine. There are five split payments of £399 each. Now, when we do split pay, there is no interest charge. We literally take that price of £2,000 and split it five ways. So you're paying £400 a month, basically. Um, and, and you don't have to wait until the last payment is paid. It will be sent out to you the minute we, we get your first payment of 399.80. They are waiting at the warehouse in Stockport to be shipped straight out to you. Be with you in a few days' time. It's a really, really good buy uh, for the price. And you're, get, you're getting so much for your money. You are. Right? It's an excellent price for this machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent price. And then last but not least, the overlocker that we just saw. Now, this is an overlocker. Yes, you can get, like I, I see on the, on the Facebook page, go, oh, I've just got an overlocker from this supermarket. That's same one. Yes, by all means, by all means. But if you want one that's going to last, one that's got a reputation behind it, one that's got a name to it, and one that we all know works, and one that's so easy to thread because you've got the air, the air threading for the, the lower loopers, £849, split pay of £169.80. The what to say, Han? 
Yes, yes. The thing is, when this arrives, you'll get it out of the box, you'll be excited to use it, and you know you've got the support of Elna. Yes. So anything, yep. anything, if you just think, oh, I can't get a hang of this, ring them up or email them, and they will They will be there to help. Yeah, or sometimes I get emails sent through from yourself. Yeah. My customers have emailed in with queries, yeah. and I'm usually pretty... So that's good, £849, uh, uh, £169.80 split pay. Uh, Jane, thank you very much You're indeed. You're very welcome. It was nice. very quick, wasn't it? That I was know, like a this hour thing, disappears, yes. Uh, Christine says, love my overlockers and I love you, Jane, she oh, says. Oh, thank you. Uh, June says, all oh, the 780, can you ask Jane, if I wanted to buy an extra foot for it, what is the letter I need to look for? It depends what the foot is. It's a category D. That's what she means, is it? Yeah, it's a category, category D. D. Yeah. Because it's your 9mm yes. width, isn't it? Right, tomorrow's menu. Here we go, a brand new uh, guest tomorrow morning, Polly Dolly Doodah with Cheryl at eight o'clock. That's dolls. Please go and have a look at the website. Lots of people looking forward to that. Then Rebecca Harrison is in, and I will ask her if she was in that car park where somebody thought they saw her. The Sussex seems just Sussex skirt. There's lots of buttons. There's lots of buttons on that skirt. We've got some really lovely corduroy for that show. Then we've got fabulous floral fabrics at 10 o'clock. Then Rebecca's back with a shift dress. Now it's from a book, like a beginner's uh, dressmaking book. She's doing a shift dress. Then we run all the way down the road to Yarn Lane and we're going to be doing beaded shawls with Anakin Alice. Anakin, I think so. When she was in last time, I kept saying, Anakin, no, Anakin. I did, I'll find out tomorrow. Jane, thank you so much as always. And I thank you and I will see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock.